Hey, everybody. All right. Oh, Frank, there we go. All right. All right. Let me flip to a 5G here, and then uh, we're going to get this thing uh, going here. So it's going to get weird. We'll drop out for a second, but we'll be right back. All right. Or I'll drop out anyway. Is it weird yet? I haven't noticed. Unless Dave's froze. Dave, Dave's gone. Like yeah. froze. <laughs> Dave's not here, man. <laughs> if Trina was here, we'd already have a new stream name. <laughs> Doesn't feel right to have Dave not starting the show. Oh, now he uh, dropped off completely. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll. There we are. There's oh, Dave. We're back. All right. There's Garth. Hey, Garth. Hey, Garth. Oh, now there's sorry, not Garth. Garth. There you go. Frog. Hey, Hit the wrong button. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it it still doesn't flip over to 5G. I'm just having trouble hooking up to it. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, thanks, everybody, for joining today. I love oh. that camera angle, Frank, by the way. It looks really good. I know, right? I finally yeah. figured out how cameras work. <laughs> it only took me a year. <laughs> so anyway, I've, uh, I banned Dave because... I'm sorry. <laughs> this is now a Katrina out. show. <laughs> she yep. will be fashionably late. <laughs> Dave's in timeout. Dave, you can do it. Come on, man. So we're going to pull some money and buy Dave Starlink. <laughs> <laughs> Probably worse. I think it can get good. We're back Hello, again. Welcome to the beginning of the actual show. <laughs> it it's not hooking up to the five G here. I don't know what's going on with this oh, thing now. Anyway, so uh, we'll have to figure that out here in a bit. So anyway, yeah. So uh, we're joined today by uh, Frank for the Jedi, uh, Garth Garth Beagle with it. <laughs> Band again. Band. Oh goodness. <sighs> so it's Garth Beagle and also John, the big bad biologist. And it's big I'm bad. here. That's right. How is everyone this morning? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Poor Dave. Dave's just trolling us. They have better internet service in Africa. I don't understand what's going on here with Dave's. <laughs> Dave just likes There's to create Trina. a little suspense at the beginning That's of right. the streams. That's like a little drama. Bomb. It's Lego bomb. Oh, so this, this thing what is going crazy now? today. All right, let's see. I'm almost here. There I am. There we go. There, there you go. All right. There we go. <laughs> I start talking and you guys freeze up, so I know it's on my end, uh, not your guys' end. But anyway. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, Frank, what are you doing today? So I am building a retro chip tester pro. Hey, you got bomb. Nice. Yeah. And uh, it's coming along. I've got quite nice. a few resistors in here already. Cool. Nice. And when uh, you finish it, you can use it to figure out what parts you didn't get in there right. And test it. I'm hoping that's the case. <laughs> I, was one, I was wondering that. <laughs> the instructions were not the greatest. I had to watch other people's YouTube videos to try to piece things together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That always happens. And, uh, and John, what are you up to today? Oh, I'm working on this uh, analog board or whatever you call it from a CRT. Let's go there. And the CRT. Yeah, I hate CRTs. 
Yeah, well, yeah. They're mostly <laughs> relationship. Yeah. yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see during your stream here in a few minutes, Dave, if this thing powers up or catches fire. Uh, well, hopefully it doesn't catch fire. So there you go. And uh, Gut Bomb, what are you working on today? I am going to be doing the Lego stuff again. I got the new boards in. Um, I have not put any parts on them, so I got to like take them off the old boards with hot air and put them on the new boards and uh, Ooh. see if it works. Fun. So I'll be I'll be doing that a little later. Okay. All right. And then, uh, so I want to uh, thank the people that's in the chat. We have uh, Retro Vance. We have Retro Mac UK. Uh, we have Gut Bomb it's in the chat there. Uh, oh, and he's on the stream. Hi, Gut Bomb. All things <laughs> BG. Uh, uh, let's see. And Scarlet before I Cuda. All right. What? 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 Uh, Starlight. <laughs> he was there. Oh. Now he's gone. <laughs> hey, Starbuck. Long time no see. Oh. <laughs> I didn't touch it. <laughs> oh, I know who it was. Mm -hmm. After a few times, you eventually stabilize. Oh, sorry, my finger oh, slipped, yeah, Jason. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll show you a finger slip in a minute. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> too early in the stream for that. Dark. Yeah, yeah uh, that's right. <laughs> well, I haven't been here in a while, so we got I got catching up to do. That's my excuse. Uh, Trina you, says your sound's not very good. Who sounds not uh, very good? Gut bomb. None of us. Do you agree? Is it <laughs> no. bad? I it sounds fine to me. It sounds, it sounds it a little muffled. It doesn't sound like your normal, normal silky smell. Self. Yeah. Smell. Wow. <laughs> well, Trina, come come on the stream and fix it then. Oh, that's okay, Trina. Take a nap. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang. Oh. That's, a, that's a threat. <laughs> We love you, Trina. With this thing. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I'm going to uh, be working on this little thing that Frank sent me. This uh, He printed out a case for the uh, Cash 20 that goes into the back of the 512E now. And uh, so, yeah, I just got to put it together <laughs> and hopefully nice. it still works. Uh, nice. Yeah. And I'm gonna. I'm working I on need a floppy to, drives. I need to, uh, I need what to else would I be working on? Oh. <laughs> By the way, everybody, we have been warned. <clears throat> Trina will be on later. Oh, oh boy. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, thank, thank you. Oh yeah, hey, Rudy. thanks, Rudy. Rudy's in the chat Rudy. too. Thanks, Rudy. I'll and be Chris. Rudy. Hi, Chris. How you doing? Chris. Does sound like AM radio. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, so I'm gonna be working on this here. Gonna find the proper hardware to put this case together. So I better mute my mic because I don't want to make lots of uh, noises rattling Ooh. my thing well, around. Hello, here. Will from Florida. Hey, well, he's a Florida, Florida man this now. time. Oh, so you're you going to be able to join in, Will, from Florida? Da -na 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 -na, Florida man. I'm going to mute myself here. <laughs> Watch it. Uh oh, got bomb broke his camera. Now, if you make a slight adjustment in OBS, it drops everything. It's like, we know what you're trying to do here. Oh, right. cool. There's a ladybug inside this drive. Oh. That's interesting. Should have anything ladybug, to say? Ladybug, ladybug. There you are. <laughs> Good focus. Is it alive? Nah, it's dead. Oh, I was going to oh, say. Poor ladybug. Okay. Oops. Ladybug in HD. It's a lucky bug, says Retro Vance. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
So you're not working today, Jason? No, uh, I have a weird training schedule thing going on where I'm working a couple extra hours throughout the week. So I got today, or last week I did, rather. So I got today off. Okay, cool. I almost forgot, too. I almost went in. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wait, I must be off today. <laughs> oh, oops. That plus still recovering from the, uh, you know, the good old-fashioned kidney stone, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, you know, those things are never fun. No, they're not. So we got Retro Mac UK. I wonder who that guy is. I haven't seen him in a while. He says he's taking this time opportunity to say goodbye to everyone. My retro journey is over for the most part. The last few months hasn't been a pleasant experience, and I'm starting a new job soon. Well, oh, wish you the best. Yeah. Come back in and join us in Discord every once in a while and just hang out when you have time. Although the time difference in the between us and you is another factor in not hanging out. What? Good luck on your new job, sir. Yeah, no doubt. New job, man. That's tough. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll, I'll I'll talk to you later, Martin. Yeah. Okay. I wish it was a VW bug. Oh, we lost uh the Lego bomb. No. No, Looks he's like doing like ladybugs around here. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> okay. Hey, DJ. DJ Shores. Hey, hey, DJ. How you doing? Hey, DJ. I think I said that right. <laughs> oh. What you doing, Jinj? What are you doing? I oh, sent you gonna... a link uh, on uh, the Naboo th uh, thing there on the promotion. So if you want to join in, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, all right. So I got to find the right hardware here to put this thing together here. Rudy, if you're not working, come on in. Yeah, Rudy. Yeah. Even if it's for like ten minutes or something, just to say hi. We haven't seen you in a bajillion years. At least yeah. I haven't anyway. Rudy's like, I've got exactly four point seven seconds for my lunch. Oh, it's over. That's what it seems like. He has <laughs> Poor Rudy, I swear. He's like, he comes in, hi, I'm on, I'm on break. Bye, my break. Oh, but you just got here. <laughs> All right. I guess that'll work. Hmm. Oh, I hear hissing behind me. That's never a good thing. Hissing. <laughs> Is it a snake? Is it a cat? <laughs> a cat? Oh, it's definitely one of the cats. Oh, it's one cat was in the cat snake in the in the litter box, and the other cat was sticking her head in there, seeing what she was doing. That'll do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, what they doing in there? I'm... Smack privacy. Curious. They like to have their privacy, you know. No, my, my cat's not so much. Um, you know, they'll come right in there when, you know, because a couple of the litter boxes are in bathrooms. Um, and they'll, like, the, the bathroom upstairs has has litter box. And you go in there and you sit, you go in there and you do your business. Next thing you know, you get a cat staring at you while they're doing their business. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and I'm like, really, cat? I can't have any privacy? Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they make like it, kids. Uh, they make it tough. They're definitely like kids. When, it's like when, when, you know, when I was, uh, my nephew was around, when he was younger, he'd come running into the, you know, I'll be trying to use the bathroom over at my sister's place, and he'll be like, trying to get in and see what I'm doing. I'm like, dude, no, I'm. You can do it to your mom, but not to me. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Yeah. Okay, so DJ wants to know if any, any, who, basically, who is going to the VCF East, if anybody. I'll be there. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm focusing on uh, VCF West, Midwest. That makes sense. That's the one that's definitely closer to you. Steve says I can't go to East. Why? I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> you got to come to East. That's the one I can really go to. I know. It sucks. So East looks like it's going to be fun because there's 
my table is right next to III DIYs, and then mm -hmm. right behind us is Justin D. Morgan, and then right across the aisle from us is uh, Tech Knight and that mm, whole crew. Nice. Oh boy! And then right, uh, real close is Steve. Hey Jack. Hey, so where Jack. is VCF East at? Where's that at? It's in New Jersey. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, so yes, New Jersey is correct there, Retro Vance. Yeah, I'm not even sure if I'm going to make the uh, Midwest this year, but yeah, I was thinking oh, about yeah. going to East last year. Um, this just yeah. didn't happen. Just be careful, all of you all that go to these these uh, VCF things. Don't get the concrud. I'm going to be <laughs> I'm going to be touching everything and then touching my face and mouth. <laughs> poking, your, poking your fingers right in your eyeballs, rubbing them inside your yeah, ears and up in your great. nose. It's delicious. Oh, excuse me. Ah, Rudy wants to know if DJ is going to bring his Naboo. Isn't that thing rather large? It's a chonker. Yeah. It's... Uh, Retro Vance like says, a... lick it, Garth. It's built like, <laughs> like a tank. A case on that thing. Oh. Hope everybody out there in the old chat world and uh, in here are having a great Sunday. Everything's going good. Chilling, relaxing, all cool. We still lost, looks like we still lost Gut Bomb. Uh, I think he was having some sort of camera issues or something. Yeah. Interesting. <clears throat> Ooh, bringing one or two of Leo's Naboos. Cool. Mm. He's going to Ottawa. Ottawa. Actually, so I'm curious, um, and I'm sure you probably know this, DJ. Um, does anybody actually still have one of the original Naboo's from like literally back in the day, not one of the, re you know, the new old stock ones. I'm guessing probably uh, Leo, <laughs> if anybody. Yeah, I'm sure Leo's probably got the original. What if I don't want a Trina? If I don't want to look at the Discord? <laughs> look at it. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm saying that to it as I'm looking at ah. it. So Leo Schnecke and DJ all have original Naboos. That's kind of cool. Is there anything majorly wow. different between them? I'm guessing probably not, considering um, maybe some documentation or something. Oh, Trina, Trina said that we're awesome, basically, in that post. Look at that. Because we're a bunch of nerds and we talk Star Trek and computers <laughs> and things of that nature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now everybody doesn't have to read it because I kind of read it out loud. Oh, cool. Yeah, one of the Naboos is OG, and I have one, only four joysticks, joystick port prototype keyboard. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, wow. Almost hey, identical, Thomas. minus being hey, a Thomas. bit beat up. Oh. Where's the, oh, oh there's uh, Thomas. I'm sitting there looking at the chat, and y'all saying, "Where's hi, Thomas?" I'm like, "Where's the oh, he's in here." <laughs> what up? Um, <laughs> not can hear me today, are you? Yeah. Almost like uh, Don't worry, later you won't be able I'm, to. I'm a, uh, at least for one day, I'm back to t back to my chat duties. All right. <laughs> we we missed our chat moderator. There we go. <laughs> well, I was in the couple times I was at work and. Um, Listening to the chat or listening to the you know the the talk and discussion had a little low and I was like, there's nobody reading the chat. <laughs> well, <laughs> nobody yeah. stepped up and took my job. Did you sit there? The show needs a producer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. And other people were saying something in the chat, and I'm like, well, I can't read it off. I can't help you there today, unfortunately. <laughs> no good. No good. Yes, when I years ago when I used to work for the local uh, TV station, it was you. You had your producer, you had your technical crew, hey, your ed editing crew, your uh, interviewing 
crew. They go out and get talent and stuff. But yeah, mm-hmm. it was it was it was a lot of fun. Or oh, see, retro Vance, that's that's kind of debatable. Uh, I'm just gonna say that. I'm just kidding, Trina. He said that uh, Trina is awesome too. <laughs> Everything hey, is awesome. Jamie's hack I'm shack. gonna get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a pay endorsement. And tax cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I I was hoping I would have got that uh, that ROM uh, from Will. Uh, the socket, but uh, he, they didn't get it mailed out to me until yesterday. So I'll have, have a good later. lunch, DJ. Have stop a good back, lunch. Stop back yeah. by later if you have time and join us on, yeah. the, on the thing. This yeah. thing goes for like yeah. eight hours. You could be uh, playing with your NABU. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Or do be like me, just you know, sit here and chat. <laughs> I don't know how I ever got invited to this group because I don't really do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, don't, where my mind goes. Don't right. ask that <laughs> question when Trina's here, Jason. <laughs> I can hear Trina. Oh, Lordy. Of that. <laughs> That's what Garth is giggling about. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I know what she'd say. <laughs> oh, we all know what she would say. <laughs> but my, I wasn't, because she's not here, I wasn't, you know, I didn't go that route. Let your guard down. <laughs> yep. Oh, this motor Frank is seized. seized. He's back on camera anyway. God, I, I love that workspace. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm really messing with it. this AI camera here. Ooh, look oh, look at it. Even cool. says AI when you hit the button. Which one did you get, Frank? Uh, it's something on Amazon. It's a CC 2008-4K pan tilt zoom 4K webcam. That's this one. I'm working on your portable right now. Oh, awesome. Yeah, see? Look, it's following me. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> Creepy. I think it's hitting the uh, the arm yeah, there. Yeah, it's seeing the off. arm from this other yeah. one. Hang on. Let me yeah. take this one off and see what happens here. Yeah, I think you confused there it a little go. bit. Come on this way. Keep coming this way. Is that uh, USB-C okay. on that? Yeah. yeah. It's got an out. adapter. It's got an adapter though for the uh, for uh, regular there USB. You oh, you did yeah. that. I moved it. Yeah, what happens it was there. it was zooming and stuff a little bit. Well, eh, we'll see if it works. Hey, it's a toy. Well, it comes with two different remotes, so like I don't know which one does what. Are they not the same? Or why? Like it's backup one? No, they're different, and it even really? shows in the listing two different remotes. They have different buttons on them. Wow. So I'm not sure. Well, I guess I went and got new, I went RTFM. I'm just saying. I went and got new. Uh, <laughs> new uh batteries because i thought the one remote was dead and then i remembered oh wait it's got a second oh, one. Oh, and the hmm. lies continue in the chat trina says sweet and innocent ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh i believe you should not to worry does that I'm ai can uh what have oh wait it's just wider okay does that ai camera have a way to turn off autofocus I believe so. Uh, this is from Rudy. Yeah, you can turn off the AI feature and let it do its own thing. Because okay. I don't think it looks that bad. It's a little darker, though. I think the lighting can, isn't you, that can great. You adjust yeah. the, uh, can you adjust the white balance on that and stuff? Uh, I would assume so. Or exposure? Oh, yep. Right. Let's see. Bigger. It's got a giant yeah so i gotta download the software it says yeah uh, that way you can you get like you can have like auto white balance and all that yeah stuff on it. and it also has the ability to do presets so like predefined areas so yeah. like if you're going to go like from one end to the other or something you can save it as a preset so like if you manually zoom or focus to wherever spot you want you can save that as position one or two and okay. you can click the button for one or two and then it'll automatically move itself to that position. Okay, cool. So maybe you'll get more functionality out of it as far as tracking you and stuff. Well, that's what I'm hoping. I mean, it's something I'm testing, so I don't right. know. You using a new microphone too? Uh, no, this is the same microphone, but I did buy the Rode wireless ones, but oh. I have not had any luck at getting them to work. 
I was just uh -oh. wondering because you seem right now to me at least you seem a little loud, but it might be because you're talking closer to the mic. I'm closer to the mic, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got a blue yeti sitting on the desktop. I need to get a boom for it so that it's not Gut on the desktop. What are you breaking? What are you breaking, Gut Bomb? Yeah. He's got the Legos integrated with OBS. <laughs> yeah, Gar. That's not uh, okay. working, obviously. He uh, he he can't get those road mics to to. Uh to uh, sync up they won't pay yeah they neither one of them will connect to the receiver and, interesting huh yeah that's and, weird because yeah, I, I was talking to him yesterday about it and uh, yeah tried to, he tried different things and stuff but uh he, he's going to call him tomorrow to find out why it's not uh doing that because yeah, I'm, so I'm on the same version of software you're on too because i just updated my software 246 my, yeah. yeah 246 yeah. yeah and i tried david suggested you know like he asked what computer i was using and I told him I was using the Windows 11 one. So I switched over to the Mac Studio, installed the software, uh, ran everything again. Still the same problem. Yeah. Mm. Well, there's uh, there's definitely a glitch in the matrix somewhere, but I'm sure it's, yeah, uh, it's probably it's, just a small oversight somewhere. It's something with the receiver because if I – because their tech support, you know, like FAQs say, you know, like <laughs> perform a factory reset and everything on it. Um, mm -hmm. I do that with the software. And then uh, I run the diagnostics, and it keeps saying that there's an update flag on the receiver, and it says hmm. factory reset it again. And I've done that, I don't know, at least eight or ten times now at this point, and I keep hmm. getting the exact same issue. It's just the uh, receiver itself is having that problem, not the transmitters. And I think uh, Rudy, uh, he says, could you post a name thinking of getting one? I'm guessing that he's talking about the oh, camera. Oh, yes, the camera. Yeah, hang on. It is uh, – hang on. I'm going to have to switch over to the YouTube so I can post it. Oh, that's right, because he's not here. All right. Uh, hey, is my uh, audio fixed now? Or does I hear it you. still sound like yeah. crap? Yeah, it sounds good. Okay. Yes, I had to redo just, all of the OBS filter settings from scratch, so I went through be, the whole uh, mic, might be a mic smidge, calibration again. It might be a smidge loud, but it sounds good. I'm right, stepping away from my one levels. Look back. okay here. You look yeah. good. It's good. Yep. This is the one that I bought right here. Where's the share button? Uh, copy link. Paste. Is that right? Snips. Yep. Yeah, it must be. Well, I told you, Frank, not to buy those. I know. <laughs> what the heck? I should have listened. Uh, but no, yeah, I literally it's, said. It's, <laughs> oh, wait, it's no. It's something weird. It's something weird uh, with the receiver. Yeah, I bet you something screwed up. Um, yeah, because uh, there wasn't any trick to it, really, other than the, getting the yeah. stupid <laughs> To, yeah, to uh, like, not do it in uh, separate channels for me. Oh yeah, oh, and I yeah. went through. I went I through like, hey. the FAQ thing several times, and it said, you know, manually pairing. It said, you know, um, press the pairing button once to select which channel you want, one or two, and then it says hold it three seconds, and then that wireless signal flashes to let you know it's in pairing mode for that channel, and then it says just click the button on the wireless uh, transmitter once. And then it'll start syncing. I've done that dozens of times it, on channel one and two, both of them, nothing. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's, it, it's something with the receiver. Yeah, it, and like I said, it's probably it. something ridiculously simple. I'm sure it's something simple. Yeah. 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 I just have no clue what it and is. Hopefully, it's not just just you know that you know may come down to the fact that it's a faulty um, receiver and they may have to send you another mm. one. Well, that's or, fine. Which, I mean, it's just which comes to shove. Yeah, because I. Uh, I made sure, like the instructions say, make sure all three are plugged in, all three are on the same firmware, which they are. They all say 246, um, 2.4.6. So I tested it. Uh, like I said, everything seems to be functioning. I charged them fully. <clears throat> I factory Knowing reset Frank, all three pieces. Knowing Frank, th they'll feel really bad about them. Just send him a brand new set. Just, just keep the old one, whatever. And then That's he'll right. figure out how to fix it in like a week. And then he'll have two sets. I'm like, oh, what do you know? I fixed it. I was like, oh, gosh. It's, it's gotta, what, what stinks is, is there's no way to remove the battery. Because I really wanted to just, you know, reset it, reset it by like taking yeah. the battery out. But you can't. Yeah. Um, so like David suggested, you know, leave them on and let them run dead. So I did that and then recharged them. 
Um, oh, same yeah. thing. No difference. Yeah. Did you post the uh, the link to the camera yet? Yeah, I did on the oh. stream. Hmm. It didn't. It didn't show up. Yeah, it didn't show up. People are still asking for it. Hang on. I yeah, I went on YouTube and did it. Are you a are you a, uh, are you a mod on, let, on his channel? Me, uh, yeah. Oh no, nope. It's my fault. I was on Old World Tech Friday instead of myself. Give me one second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. There you oh, I go. forgot I was on the other YouTube profile. So now up there it works. That's why I only have one YouTube profile. I don't wait, but I don't, I don't do anything, so I don't yeah. need another one. Yeah. Like hey Thomas. I know I'm a mod. Do you do you and Big Bad Biologists have the same barber? You mean my clippers? <laughs> <laughs> I pay to have mine done. No, I'm, I'm too lazy. That's funny. Oh, uh, I, I don't. I definitely just go <laughs> like like that. Yeah, exactly that noise. Yeah, except yeah, me too. I'm having trouble getting this yep. thing to actually uh, suck properly. I don't know what's going on with it. Like, I can't get it to clear holes. Is it dirty? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh, I was trying to be nice. People are giggling again. Now, now, uh, family friendly show. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Until Trina gets Trina, here. Trina's not here yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it Eight is winces. the Wawo W A A W O uh, 4K camera, and it comes hmm. with its little tripod and dual remotes and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm it, looking. It, it seems that looks, looks pretty cool. It's pretty neat. How much cheddar does that bad boy cost? That's uh, cool. one forty no. on Amazon Prime. Oh, that's not yeah. bad. That's, that's no, not bad no, for a four K no. camera. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's not bad. You just get a nice little swivel thingy majiggy there, so I can when it follows yeah. you. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. So, like I said, it looks pretty neat, and it seems to work it's got, okay. It's got a uh, gimbal on uh, it. Ah, yeah, so cool. one yes. of the remotes. One of the remotes looks like it has presets, which is why the one and two is there. So you have preset, <laughs> um, and the other remote doesn't. That looks like the big difference. So is that? Is that like a PTZ camera then? Yes. Yep. Oh. Nice. It's supposed to auto follow. Hey, Jake. You how you doing? While you're walking and moving. Hey, Jake. Oh, I don't know. Nope, don't, don't click that. That's bad. We don't Jake want to auto remove farm? Yep. Exactly, Jack. It's in, and it sends. It'll send your video to the Chinese government. <laughs> well, everything else goes there anyway. You might as well have all. Yeah. The I mean. But the, the 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 um the thought of privacy is definitely an illusion. Well, what's funny to me is like <laughs> if you have one of those Roomba robot vacuums, mm -hmm. it connects to Chinese servers in order to vacuum your house. So like, why? I mean, I mean heck, smart TVs with their microphones and. Oh yeah, know. well Roku just went through that huge ordeal where they were forcing people to accept their terms, or your TV doesn't work. Really. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's crazy. They changed. They ch they changed something yep. in their terms and conditions in regards to arbitration, and uh, they made you click you accept, otherwise your TV would not function anymore. Well, I mean, really, uh, it's so never they, your TV anyway. You're just they went a, from them. Yeah. No. Well, I don't use I don't use <laughs> the built-in Roku stuff anyway. Like I have an Apple TV plugged into all of our TVs, so like I don't use that functionality. I have a I have a better solution. I don't have a TV. Hopefully your TV lets you sweat some inputs without logging in. Hey, Retro Tech, Chris. <laughs> hey, Chris. As long as, I can, as, going, as, long as I can watch all my hey, circuits, I'm okay. Yeah, it's true, Chris. Anything can be subpoenaed. That's true. And especially if they, if, I mean, if that's something like that went to court with Roku and you're signed, you were forced to sign the documentation, they'll, they'll, they'll be able to find a way around that in court, I'm sure, because that's kind of like, I, you, you said I couldn't use my TV until I signed it. Yeah, a lot of these things are just legally untested right now, and as soon as they get challenged is when you find out if they're actually actionable or not. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and the things that, it, I mean, depending on what your activities are, that they might pick up. Uh, as long as you're not doing anything illegal, I mean, that was a matter. Get nothing to fear as long as you're not doing anything illegal. Exactly. It was a matter. <laughs> and, 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 and hopefully you're not using your TV to access your, you know, your bank account information, that type of thing. I mean, come on, really? Hey Frank, check Discord. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, Careful, Frank, it's a trap. Slide back over. There That's we go. Way too much. <laughs> Ooh, oh, cool. uh, hang on. Let me look. Uh, I'm sure I have it here somewhere. It's probably on the network storage. Give me one second. 
I can trap Frank for <sighs> business things when I know where he is. That's right. Yeah, nothing is pure if you're doing not doing anything. So just be mindful. Nothing is private. Exactly. You don't go on it. I see people on their phones, like I say, Starbucks and all that. You know, they're not necessarily on the Wi-Fi, but if they do join their, the, you know, the Wi-Fi, and I see them like doing bank account information and all that kind of stuff, and I'm like, no, on laptops, mind you. And I'm just like, no, 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 not on public places. You do never do that in public places. That's why you sign up for Surfshark VPN. Yeah, but these people are. I mean, if they're going on to a, uh, Gosh. into a. Uh-oh. Oh god, those VPNs! Don't even get me started. Well, I had What's, that. There's that Russian one in there. I had that in my signature line of my email for the longest time in the auto reply. Uh, email like it's going to be read aloud in the deposition. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, anything you send, whether it's text or email, it can be used as evidence. Yep, that's true. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to need a new VPN, or I'm going to need to get a VPN soon if the TikTok ban goes through, because I can't live without my TikTok. I think it's this one. Yeah, my wife, my wife said the same thing. She can't goes, what am I going to watch? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is it, Gupon. Let me know. Is that right? See, that's one thing that I have actually, one site I have actually never logged into. Which, you know, don't that even is have right. Account. It's TikTok. Thank you. Sweet. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you're best to ask me when I'm actually in the position to do something. <laughs> oh boy, that that it would have been a train of thing right that. there. I'm just saying. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Wait, you I'm one guys. of those. I'm one of those. You guys, row row. Feel like the you guys ever remember the skit? You probably don't on Saturday Live <clears throat> in the '90s with Phil Hartman as the anal, anal retentive um, carpenter. Don't remember that uh, one. I kind of remember nope. that. It's super. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> that was back in the Chris uh, Farley days. Yeah. Oh, good old yeah. Chris, Chris Farley. He was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, he was he, great. He, he was. Oh my he was gosh. So funny. Same thing with like John Candy. Uncle Buck was hilarious. Oh yeah, Uncle Buck. Oh yeah. my god. One of my favorite John Candy ones is he played Barf. Oh yes. Spaceballs. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, I love that. Uh what was it? Uh one of the ones I enjoyed with uh him and Dan Aykroyd with Great Outdoors where they go to yes. the cabin. <laughs> yep. Uh, he was just a great, great, great actor. He was and hilarious. Comedian. Oh, he was great. Really, really funny. There's that movie Neighbors, the old one from like the Probably early '80s with uh, John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. This is so ridiculous. You know what's funny is Liam is obsessed with uh, Harry and the Hendersons with John Lithgow. <laughs> he's, been, he's been watching that several times recently. The original, or like not the Saturday morning cartoon no, no. show? No, the original because he was he was telling uh, my, my mother-in-law, "Metma, they hit him with the car and took him home." Then he broke their <laughs> stairs. Oh my gosh. That was like uh, one of the very first movies I ever watched on a videotape. My parents oh, rented man. a VCR along with the tape. Uh, rented a VCR. Listen to that, folks. Back in the day, you had awesome. a rent So the, the earliest movie I can ever remember watching in the movie theater was Muppets from Outer Space. Wow. Oh, I God. can't remember watching yeah. anything before that. <laughs> Dave's like, I remember seeing old... <laughs> <laughs> Abbott Costello stuff. Which He's like, I used to watch <laughs> silent videos. <laughs> Black and white silent movies. Back when I went to the theater, they didn't even have sound. They had a piano <laughs> in the front. I went to the premiere of Metropolis. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a bit before my time. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit, though. Oh, man. Too funny. Uh, Too funny. My parents should take me to like horror movies when I was a kid. I saw Cujo. I saw oh, Texas geez. Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, I mean, really? some of the worst. I mean, I, I don't know what they were thinking. Well, that explains <laughs> things, Garth. That so. explains a lot, Garth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm just fascinated though by the idea of ripping the skin off. Okay. You're, you're Walt, you're Walt Disney. Uh, you're Walt Disney like. Uh, yeah. Uh, excitement with the squawkers with the animatronics. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Garth, can I see that thing again real quick? Yes, yes, yes. Show us again. 
Oh, great. Now I've woken it up. <laughs> oh, God. The nightmares. Furby. Yeah. Furby. Furby. <laughs> It was a Furby. Now it's a right, throw there and be quiet. zombie fur- Furby. <laughs> quiet, you. Oh, which one of you is going to buy the Ami- boxed Amiga 2000 I have for sale? Ooh. It's nice. I've seen it. I'll give you 50 bucks. Uh, you might need to multiply that by a few. <laughs> the Amiga's me- nice. I've, I've seen it in action. I'll make monthly payments of 50 bucks for many years. <laughs> it comes with a monitor, comes with a keyboard, mount. Wow. I believe it's got a SCSI card in it. Definitely has a SCSI card in it. I don't know which one. And the original boxes for the monitor. And the system. It'll be available. <laughs> wow. Oh, gosh. That was a good one, Retro Tech Chris. He says, "Just oh, uh, poor Dave. Just because he saw Model T's on the big screen, go easy on him." Definitely, definitely miss these. Uh, miss being on here. <laughs> you got the day off today, or something, or are you no longer working on Sundays? Um, no, just just one day. Uh, so basically, what happened was, one, I'm still recovering from the kidney stone thing, and yep. then I did extra hours um, during the week um, for tra- doing because I went in early for training because the trainer's only a morning shift and I do night shift. So uh, I got my hours already for the week. Nice. So they gave me they gave me you know I'm off Fridays and Saturdays. So they said you know you you, you what day do you want off? I said well, well you can get Thursday or Sunday. I said I'll take Sunday. Because Sundays are the end of the week for us, not the beginning. It's weird. We put in our we put in our request for our time cards on Sundays. Well, hello. You gonna come visit there, Billy? Huh? My my two thousand dollar cat. I found out ragdolls are expensive cats to buy. If you want to buy that cat, it's anywhere from eight hundred to two thousand dollars. Jeez. And I got it for free. Because yeah. I rescued Chris it. says, yeah, he's wondered where you've been. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've uh, been working Sundays. Um, I'm off Fridays and Saturdays. I mean, I could stop in on Sundays for like an hour or two because I don't start work till 2.30. But I'm usually getting, you know, cat stuff taken care of and doing all this other stuff. I'm always running around. I've got so much i got to do in the mornings that by the time I sit down, I just just want to chill, relax. and. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be, be, be in solitude until before I start taking people's tech calls. Dave, what is that a pile of there on your uh, on your silicon silicone mat? Looks like screws. Uh, screws. screws. Okay. I I'm uh, supplying the hardware to uh, uh, put this thing together. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's very very tiny screws uh, for this for this cash twenty that goes in the back of the five twelve here. Well, they're yep. not as small as glasses screws, but they're small. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, they're uh, get it all crazy. Tightened. Get this board tightened in oh. here, and then I'll do the case screws on it. You getting her all lubed up there, Garth? <laughs> he said lube. Yeah, it's not all right. not great, but not terrible. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how that. I'm gonna goes. go have lunch. But I will be All back right. later. Bring, in, okay. bring, enough, right, bring enough back okay. for everybody. Yeah. No way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One down. Only one cheese gear so far. Yeah, so right now it's 1145. And if I was Glad working to today, I would be leaving probably about two. Assembly of something. <clears throat> we only had seven hours left today. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, Chris, that's right. I, it would take me a month to figure out where all these went. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you, Chris, that there are no screws out of any compact <laughs> computers. Okay? So don't worry. All right. <laughs> How can you be so sure? Because uh, all the ones that are in there are the ones that I put in from different PCs that I've uh, that were junk, and I just tore them all apart just for the hardware. Ah. 
So anywho, let's see. That's in pretty good. Let's tighten it down a little bit more. Dave, you're like me. You find some screw and you're like, oh, I'll keep this. Might need it later. Exactly. And you yep. end up with a yep. giant jar of screws. Yep. I mean, we have that up in our computer room. We don't, you know, I don't do the retro stuff, but we build modern computers. Mm -hmm. And um, we got a the workbench. We got a drawer that we just plop stuff in as when we're done cleaning up. And you, somehow you always end up with extra screws. I don't know how that always works. Yeah. Um, and then we bought some, like, you know, we bought a big thing of mixed screws for, like, you know, standoffs and stuff like that. And, mm -hmm. you know, you got to have spare parts when you're building oh, yeah. stuff because you lose them, you drop them, and you can't find them. Mixed nuts. So, um, yeah, we got a big bin of those up there. I got to go clean that. I got to clean that room up one of these days and organize it. And <sighs> I'm, a, I'm a person that likes to be neat. My brother, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're we're pretty much exact opposites. Like, I have things like you know, organized over here, and I have bins and I have things, and I have boxes in my closet with all the like cables and stuff that I have, and mm -hmm. all labeled. You know, his stuff is just, and, and he opens up the upstairs and the third floor is a laundry room area where you put the wash and dryer, but it's that that's down here, yeah. uh, the wash and dryer. So it's just a storage spot, and you just open that up and say blah. <laughs> Cables and boxes and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Billy Butt. Yeah. I saw a vertical wish. line there, John. Yeah, that's not good. It's something. What are you What are you working on, John? It's an Apple twelve twelve monitor. M twelve twelve monitor. Oh, you're working on fixing the monitor. Oh. So uh, we have high voltage. Yeah, yeah. I can feel it. You you can feel the static on the front yeah. faceplate yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Good. And I saw a raster for a minute. Okay. Well, you're getting there slowly, but slowly but surely. Yeah. Hmm. Monitor that I uh, that. Uh, what is that noise? Three thousand does a similar thing, except it's got no raster. So like someone's going through an earthquake or something there. All right. Your, uh, Neat. Different. Your uh, portable is all done. All right. Nice. Not only recap, but repair. Needed one wire. Were you, were you able to check that uh, chip on that thing too, John? Or no? Not yet. Okay. Whoa! That sounded like something broke. He's got. I just noticed that uh, Frank's got this ginormous dry erase board. That's cool. You got. The you got the ceramic, ceramic adjusters, adjusters or no? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, it's funny. Frank's gigantic whiteboard. <laughs> it takes up the entire wall. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that magnetic, Frank? I have a there. feeling he's not it, is it? Oh, he's not around. Yeah. Did you guys see that link that Ryan posted? <laughs> uh huh. I didn't yes. look at for, it. For Raven Wolf Tech. Yes. It's pretty cool. I haven't watched it. I though. just, I just watched uh, the opening part that he edited. Yeah. So the That's story cool. was this: uh, Raven Wolf Tech had donated an Amiga One Thousand that he restored on a YouTube video uh, to uh, Geek with Social Skills who was raising money for a um, humane society. Ooh, yeah, and uh, come to find out that actually didn't happen at all. There was so, going to be an uh, auction, but there was no auction. Yeah, yeah exactly. So uh, he pocketed the money. Uh, Raven Wolf reached out to the humane society to verify, and uh, they said, nope, the only auction they had at that time was uh, gourmet cakes. Interesting. Yep. So uh, people should go and uh, watch it, uh, the video on Raven Wolf Tech, because he goes over the details. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was. I was thinking about 
doing another follow-up video of that one that I did on that. Mm -hmm. um, just, just you know, events that's been happening and stuff. Yeah. To kind of keep keep the public in the know, you know, because I have a lot of exactly. people that say, that hey, hurt. I mean, I've had, <laughs> I've had so many people, uh, you know, saying, you know, hey, you know, we, we had dealings with this guy. We got screwed yep. too. Um, yeah. That's the thing is, you know, when it's a one-off thing, you know, people don't like to admit that they got ripped off, you know. So right. uh, I think everybody doing videos like you, Ron, uh, and others that posted videos, I think it, you know, helps encourage people who've had similar issues to actually finally say something because they don't feel yeah. like it's just them, you know. Exactly, yeah. And I and I put all the links of all the other uh, Raven Wolves in there. Yeah, exactly. And all, all that, that helps out. Tech. And that way they can go and check those out too. Plus, it uh, also gets more subscribers to people because I didn't, I wasn't subscribed to Raven Wolf. I didn't know him until he posted his video, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool!" So uh, yeah. I subscribed to his channel. Oh, same so, here. Yep. Tide rises all ships. So it's nice to. Uh, Nice to support other people in the community. Yeah. All right. Doing testing on your uh, portable here. Sweet. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Your you your video is not working, Tom. Oh, hold on. I got. I had to restart OBS. Yeah, OBS is a well, I, I love, had a hate, love hate relationship. The camera was unplugged. <laughs> I just it in. So there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, magic power button. I have a speaker connected. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but. No whammies, no whammies. <laughs> okay, got time. I see hey, a cursor. See, ooh, back. Yeah. So, I don't have my blue. So the SD card. Mm, SD card. So yep. I have no way to actually boot this, but I'm sure it works fine. There's no other. Way. If we were having yeah. issues with SCSI, we'd have issues probably with uh, the system booting as a whole because the swim chip went, but there we go there you go flashing floppy nice now Ooh, fix the other good. portable i have that uh doesn't work i don't know why well i'm glad you figured out that via uh issue yeah well uh, that's awesome uh the way i figured that out is i just took my scope looked at all the traces on the i start with the video because the video uh -huh. doesn't work won't do you the system won't boot properly and also the video is uh, i have a photo of what it looked like the video was all like interlaced. Uh, yeah. So I started there, and I found uh, one pin just had no uh, no one uh, address line had no activity. So that and uh, I and then I just uh, thankfully I have a schematic, uh, not a schematic, but a board view that someone's made uh, as they were working on like, reproducing these boards. Uh, so I had I could just click on it and figure out where it went. And, That's yeah. awesome. That helps out tremendously. Yeah. So here's your display. Uh, pack everything up, and it's been ultrasonic cleaned. I just oh there sweet. Was some, uh, there was some electrolyte, a little concern. I wanted to make sure uh, there was nothing that I didn't uh, know about. So awesome. So that's no, I really cool. appreciate it. I'm trying to get, I got a little PCF's gonna kill me. I swear. <laughs> Between I uh. I uh, ordered the battery delete from Androda as well as the he made an adapter to be able to put the Blue SCSI V2 desktop into the portable. Yes. So I ordered that as well. Yep. And oh, last I'm year. Scared. Oh, cheesy. Uh, last year I ordered the 7 meg card from him. So uh, to bring it up to 8 meg. You can do 9 megs on this, but you're going to need to add a jumper wire, which it. Uh, be right back. Actually, okay. it depends on what kit you have, now that I think about it. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I think 7 will be what his supports. And now to recap a bunch of uh, SE30s. Oh, boy. I should turn off the autofocus on this. By the way, if anybody's looking for solder, um, this stuff's like 20 bucks. Uh, it's Wayunwe or something like that. It's uh, leaded solder, and it's like 20 bucks for a pound. Um, huh. So far, I buy that Kester. Yeah, well, Kester is like $36 a pound. Yeah. This stuff rivals Kester. Huh. I'll have to check that out. I got that link for the flux that you had said. 
So I got that already this saved. Stuff's really good. I have it right. I have it over here somewhere. Here. Yeah, this stuff right here. Uh, you have Sweet. to, you know, smear it. I think you can melt this and put it into a vial. Um, huh. I just didn't, but I've heard people uh, say they have. Interesting. I got lucky. A guy sent me three SE30s. All of them were. They're all unknown. Oh. I'm mad. I got a uh, Sharp 68000 I'm working on here. And oh, I'm pretty sure neat. the main crystal is there. And of course, it's 69 point something or other megahertz. So I don't have a replacement. It's an oddball. Yep. That's the issue. It, they're an oddball. Uh, and I don't. I'm, I was thinking I could use a function generator. But I'm wondering if the fact it's so high in the frequency range, like, if that would even work. Nice. Mm. I don't know if my uh, scope has a frequency generator. Because I don't know if the system as a whole work. I apply the power to it, and it draws amperage. What's weird, it draws, like, two amps, but nothing's hot. So <laughs> I don't know if that's, that's really weird to me, but yeah. like, nothing at all warm. Like I have one of those uh, FLIR guns, the heat gun, that I use to look at uh, stuff. I have, a, uh, I have one that goes on to my phone. Um, I just don't think it's here. But again, nothing is hot. Like I've touched the whole board, and it's all like cool to huh. touch. So yeah. I don't know if it's just a combination of all the chips drawing power. Maybe like the CPU is in some weird loop or something. So I'm to sure. But yeah, nothing's hot like at all. So hmm. I don't know. It's weird. Today we're going to use the wind capture book. Ah. Oh, there goes one. Hmm. I gotta order parts for a project that I'll soon be able to reveal, although it's not that secret. It, it's that big of a secret, but it is a secret until, until I officially can announce it. But man, I am not looking forward to the bill for that. Play the Calgon commercial now. Because that every time somebody says the word secret, I think of the Calgon commercial with the ancient Chinese secret. What? Yeah, the laundry commercial. <laughs> ancient Chinese secret, huh? Uh huh. All right. Yeah. That dates us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or sure Madge Palm Olive. Remember oh, yeah. Madge? Yeah. They, they're soaking their finger, their nails in the Palm Olive. <laughs> <laughs> Likely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. Why do I have one extra resistor? We got like a. What was it? Uh. It was like a collection that was on a DVD of all the old commercials. Oh, my God. Some of them are just absolutely hilarious. Uh, Garth crazy. collects commercials. Yeah. What's that? Garth collects commercials. <laughs> like Wilkins <and> Coffee. <laughs> Does anyone remember Sanka, like, when it was actually in the can? Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I got Sanka. <laughs> <laughs> you got com companies coming over. Bring out the Sanka. Yeah. Have you never seen uh, Wilkin coffee commercials? Huh? <laughs> the only commercials I can remember for coffee growing up was the Folgers ones in the Maxwell House. Go yeah. uh, go look up the Wilkins coffee. They're they're made, they're made by up. Jim Henson, and they're hilarious. <laughs> yeah, they have all kinds of crazy <clears throat> commercials. You want remember, Wilkins don't, coffee? Remember, don't squeeze oh. the Charmin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, the plot of the Wilkins coffee commercials are the there's a uh, there's basically what would become Kermit the Frog asking a uh, another character if they want Wilkins coffee, and he'll respond like no I don't uh, want Wilkins coffee and like he'll just point a cannon at him and blow him up. 
<laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen that actually. Now, like that's just what exact, or he'll literally blow him up or drop an anvil on him, and like he'll have some weird punchline that relates to the whole scenario. They're hilarious, and the irony is apparently Jim Henson hated coffee, so like have a good one, Will. The joke. Okay, Will. Have a good one. All right. I still haven't finished my text yet. You building one? I have one like ninety five percent complete, and I just need to finish some of the uh, the mm -hmm. the, uh, the bird seed. I'm just lazy. Oh, did did you uh, get all the the things that were missing <laughs> for that? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I I think it. I think I did get them. I don't know. What they are now. I put them. I either put them in the bag of other parts, or I have lost them. It's one of the. Two. Oh yeah. So Tom, I was trying to think of what that was called the other day. You know, the bird seed, and I called it the chicken feed. And I thought, oh yeah, that's what it is, chicken feed. So I'm glad I've heard someone else say that now because I probably would have just casually mentioned that. Did you get the chicken feed on there? What? Yeah. It's, uh, bird. <laughs> I would find it's, it's just it's called bird seed because it's so cheap. It's like the cheapest part of the uh, process. Now Frank would understand that because he he was raised on a farm. So yeah, yeah. Yep. I had a friend. My friend that uh, uh, used to have like uh, competition chickens, and it got eaten by uh, foxes. Awesome foxes ate them. <laughs> yeah, he was very sad by that. And I'm like, like they were uh, like actually competition. Uh, like they would go to competitions apparently. I'm like. Didn't know that was a thing, but sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. How many caps? Let's see. One, two, three, sturdy. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need another 40, no, 30 caps. I don't even know if I have that. Oh, I wish I had the right side cuts. Here we go. Three, four, So it's funny because I order uh, my 47 micro prepared caps by the thousands. Um, I have like maybe 50 left on this side. This used to be all like a thousand micro or uh, there was a thousand 47. Uh, this is a new batch of 100 that I'm almost out of again. Uh, so I'm like, I gotta order another uh, thousand. Time to put another order into console five. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Bye bye money. <laughs> Actually they're not too bad. They're pretty reasonable. No, I, I don't buy my I buy uh my No, own. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I buy my own parts, uh mainly because I know what to look for. It's funny, I was watching no we're not watching. There's somebody on Twitter that's like, I just recap my Xbox and I go, Yeah, I use the wrong caps. And they put basically put audio grade like eighty five you know degree caps, and I was like, Yeah, you you should have used low uh, ESR and they go, Oops. <laughs> Caps are a mystery. Nah. Mm -hmm. Nope, hundred percent mystery. <laughs> They're the Meeseeks box of electronics. <laughs> oh, Frank, very cool. I can see the lights on it as it's booting up. Hey, look at that, John. Getting better. Yeah. Hey, thing. John. All right. Blinky blink. Do the blinkity blink. So oh yeah, I have... I don't have. But Dave, remember I talked to you about this like a week or so ago or something about a possible Mac Plus. No, I don't have one. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> because the one I had, I've been trying to repair the analog board on it. And speaking of yeah. like you know that stuff, and yeah, it's a nightmare. So, uh, you need I had I had it almost working, and then yeah. you know no. <laughs> Dave, you need a Mac Plus. What's that? You need a Mac Plus. I have a Mac Plus. I have a perfectly good board because I fixed it last weekend the the uh, logic board on it uh i just need a a, a case to stick it in yeah do you have an analog the, board dave huh do you have an analog I, board i have one that's uh missing uh the power connector but other than that it's fine oh yeah. well maybe i'll just send you this one then what's right. wrong oh, maybe i'll send you this one we could talk about it because it's got a, it's got a crt it's got a good case it just needs cleaning up and uh, there's issues but hey why not free right yeah, so it's up yeah. to you. We can talk about it yeah. later. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll put it to good use. Yeah. 
I'll send you my I'll send you the analog board that I quote unquote fixed. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually, you know, it had a bad flyback, so I had another flyback and I put it on there and it got way better and then it didn't get better. Got much worse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Why do I find that crazy? I, I could always take the fly back off of this other one and stick it on that. So. Oh, no, no, don't bother. I, I think the flyback's <laughs> fine now. It's uh, it's uh, one of the other million things on it. Uh, What's it doing? You know, the old flop, 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 flop. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, yeah. so it's plus a reboot loop. The, uh... It's actually an original 128 um, analog so board. It's probably the diode right next to the flyback. Okay. There, uh, and I could give you a, a replacement part number that I use for that. Uh, just check. You probably have a short right on that uh, diode. I, I fixed one for somebody, uh, and it, that was the issue. It's pretty common, actually, apparently. Uh, from oh, really? Uh, Interesting. That's good to know. Mm. Yeah, it's actually so the original 128s, uh, according to the uh, Dead Max scrolls, that diode is like under spec. So it's funny is that I'm not entirely sure. I've actually might have replaced that already, but I don't know for sure. I'd have to go look at my notes and which one you're talking about. I'm not sure. Because I was actually going by the dead. I was literally going step by step dead max scrolls. Of course, the problem too, I was pulling parts off another board that was bad. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I will say absolutely the flyback was shorted. It was absolutely float shorted. And, um, and it was really funny because, okay. This is what was really funny. I, this, I love the stupid Dead Max scrolls. So I'm going through and it's like, okay, you know, replace the flyback. And it's like, I was like, okay, do that. And it's like, and it would turn on and it and it would um it was getting uh it, it was actually um bonging finally, but I wasn't getting video, I think. And um and the voltage was low. And the the description of Dead Max scrolls is okay, you know, the next thing is like, okay, you can turn on, you get no video, it bongs, and then you might see smoke coming out of it. And I saw smoke coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I'm like, hey, that's it. They're like, replace this part. And I'm like, okay. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's that was like halfway through the mm. the journey. It was smoke, fun though. It was lots of fun. Smoke does not sound like a good thing. It was expected. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'll send you that one, Dave. It has a very nice power switch in it. <laughs> it has a very nice smoke smell to it. <laughs> Well, uh, I the only let's see. Uh, um, when I did Ron's uh, TT, uh, T, uh, TTC board, or, um, uh, when that blew up, it definitely smelled like smoke. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, right. uh, thanks, Frank. Uh, I like that. That is really cool. It looked, the case. That looks so. That looks so much nicer than that thing just hanging off of it. You know. Yeah. Is there? Hey Frank, you built your uh, RGB to HDMI's yet for your Amigas? No, I got them on the list of things <laughs> to build. Right now, I'm building the Retro Chip Tester Pro. Oh, I built two of those. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, the, the instructions are not the greatest. Um, they weren't too bad. Just follow the bomb. I was worried about. That's all I did. I think is follow the bomb. It wasn't too bad. Uh, most of the diodes are all the same. Like, you're going to find that, like, entire banks are all the same. Uh, the transistors will be the only thing that's a little bit uh, tricky to, you know. But otherwise, it's really not too bad. I'm just trying to I won't out. buy, though. If I had to do it again, I wouldn't even buy one. I would have just bought that uh, other chip tester that came out. Oh, yeah. The smaller one. Yeah. I have a friend of mine that has one. If I did it again, I would just not even buy the chip. The, the retro chip tester is nice, but it's too much. It's so expensive. I built two of them, and I w the price just for the PCBs, like that, it's crazy how much that costs. It's funny. So I built two of them. I built the power just the power boards, the converter boards. Yeah, and it, it worked for a while, and then I went to use it one day, and it stopped working. I'm like, well, what the heck? And I'm like, it's got to be the power boards. I swap power boards. It works. I have two. And apparently, at some point, uh, the 5-volt buck converter. The buck back. converter? It's shorted. I've had that happen with other projects that I was building because I, I have a bunch of uh, buck converters that I bought for some Adreno, 
Arduino projects. Um, and uh, I got like a bad batch of them where, I don't know, I would say like three out of five were crap. Given how much the uh, converter was, I was kind of annoyed. They're, they're, yeah. They were like six bucks, I think. They yeah, they're not super cheap. What I did was I, I went online and uh, on Thingverse, and I actually got these. Uh, I was showing Dave this morning before we started. I got these uh, 3D printable uh, benders, the bending yep. guides. It's yeah. exactly so I 3D I 3D printed a bunch of them, and that's what I'm using to, yep. to bend I did all the these. Same thing. It helped. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, those Although, are really cool. When I did mine, I didn't know there was supposed to be a top to it. I only did the bottom half. So like I was doing it manually, and then eventually I saw somebody uh, that had one and had a uh, top. I'm like, man, that's that would be really a lot easier. Yeah, well, uh, that's what I'm doing is manually. I didn't know there was a top. I might have got a different project. Yeah, there's another one out there that has a top. <coughs> basically, yeah, because that that would be convenient. You basically you could do like ten of them at once, and you just like squeeze down on the top of it. Yeah, that's okay. That's uh, uh, hey, Thomas. You. Because now I'm super curious. Which which uh, diode are you talking about? You're talking about CR1 up here at the very top? Uh, hold on. Give me oh, no, that's second. not it. Uh, oh, hold on here. I'll make, I'll make you big. Uh, let me see. This isn't actually the board. This is just another no, 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 yeah, the same. It's the one right next to the flyback. So this one? That big one right there. No, no, no. no. That's behind the flyback, next to the flyback. Oh. The one on the right of my screen. The so sucker? The, yeah, that one was bad on mine. Okay. So, uh, really? yeah, I mean, obviously, you would just measure if it's shorted. It, it's yeah, that's... Be like, it could be any, either of those diodes. Yeah, I actually replaced both of these on the board and uh, obviously this and then this guy just because. And, um, and, uh... So, <laughs> I don't know if you know, because I didn't know. <laughs> that white one, you don't need to replace. Yeah. Well, this is the one I had on there. It was the original version. This, because remember, this isn't the board. This is the good one. Yeah, yeah. No, um, I was thinking if it's that one. I didn't know those are metal oxide or whatever. So yeah. I've been replacing those with the polypropylene. Yep. And then I, I found uh, uh, James Post. Uh, and I'm like, wait, I'm not supposed to replace those? Rip. <laughs> I'm like, oh well. I, I pay a dollar for those caps. That's not in. Yeah, the one on the one on this board was the original one. I can't remember what it was like. Twenty five volts. It was the way under spec one. You know what I mean? But that's the one that'll break your. Uh, uh, horizontal uh, yeah. frequency stuff. So anyway, but yeah, I was curious because yeah, these are the two I replaced and, but again, I'll say I was pulling them off a bad board, but I, actually when I'd pull them, I'd test them and they were actually testing good. And I'm like, okay, whatever. But, um, but the flyback of course was bad on it though and stuff. So, okay. I mean, yeah. The flood basically means your board, your, uh, so the other thing is you reflowed the header, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I mean, I know it's a dumb question for you, but no, yeah, I, I believe me. I, I totally, yeah, because yeah. Uh, yeah, mm. normally that's either the voltage isn't making it back to the analog board, so yeah, it could be anything in that circuit. Uh, it could be you know, again, it's shorting. Although, yep. now that I think about it, when my dial is bad, I think or I think it was ticking, maybe I don't think it yeah. was flubby, I think it was like a like a very, very faint tick compared to the actual you know flopping noise yep. maybe i don't remember yeah i was laughing because i what i was ending up doing i had another board that i worked on like three years ago or something and i just stuffed it away and and then i had this other newer board but it was like again the original 120 board so it's like all the horrible spec parts on it apparently <laughs> and so I'm, I'm pulling off stuff from the other board. By the time I got through to the point, I'm like, you know, this is basically behaving like the other board was. And I'm realizing that probably the other board, which was newer, probably should have been working on that one. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it was fun. It was a good time. So that's yeah. what I'm sending you, Dave. I All right. Not okay. a, uh, Do not fire that one up. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am not I an expert at analog boards. Uh, John, oh, yeah. uh, you know, would be better uh, suited for that. But, uh, you know, I... I talk to uh, Tech Knight a lot, and I ask a lot of questions to people, and I've learned more and more how things work. You know, it's one of those, like, power supplies. I am not, by any means, somebody. Like, I have a, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with what an A-Alchemy is. Uh, uh -huh. It's a 3DFX. Uh, basically, it's a 3DFX. Okay, John. Powerhouse. Okay. It's got, like, eight uh, 3DFX 6,000s in it. And uh, oh, wow. somebody gave me a power supply, and it wouldn't work. But I took it apart, 
I replaced three, uh, four uh, 3,300 uh, low ESR capacitors. It originally had a short. Ow. Measure, short's gone all of a sudden, even though all I did was change those caps. Reassemble it, and it works. And I'm like, what? ow. So you're a wizard. <laughs> you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Uh, John said he had to step out for, uh, he had to do plow some snow. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, but he said he'll uh, try to join him back later. So, I'll be right yeah, back. I, I, I know very. Hmm? What's that? I think he's going to have to go and get some meat. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I know very, very little about anything to do with power supplies, and I'm just trying to learn a little more. And, and honestly, it was like, I was kind of enthralled because I was reading through the uh, the stupid, um, the two Larry Peanut books recently, and I'm like, I kind of love the way he read, does his writing too, anyway. But um, I'm like, I just want to go through literally step by step um, um, for like his descriptions and stuff and start doing it. And sure enough, like the first thing was literally like, oh, check the flyby. I was like, oh, this is broken. I was like, all right. <laughs> anyway, I got very far. But, but the problem is I'm realizing is like, and he literally says in one of his books is like, you know, you realize you replace one of these parts with a newer spec, properly spec part. You're just putting stress on the entire rest of the system. <laughs> so sure, it's like, absolutely. That, that, I mean, that's I why it's literally when, something smoked, uh, I'm sure. So. Yeah, I remember when when I used to work on TVs back in the day. That was the thing, is you know you you uh, analyze it, you replace the part, and it does. It stresses all the other parts that are not far behind it for, to fail. Yeah. You know, I've never yeah. really been a believer in that. Only from a perspective of the same amount of voltage is still going through, right? Like so. From my from that view, there's not any new stresses introduced, but you could have where something else is already starting to fail, and now you right for that circuit. Mm -hmm. So I mean, obviously the part probably failed due to some you know circumstance to begin with. So I think that's a lot of what that comes down to is you're saying, okay, you know, you're, what? you fix this thing. Why did it fail to begin with? Like somebody was asking about, like, oh, you know, why? Did, you know, what diode is this? And I'm like, well, here's what diode it is, but you should be wondering why it failed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, like on the older TVs, even Heat. you know, like, you know, when I, when I was, oh boy, when I was working on them. All right, so <laughs> there were still a lot of tube TVs out there. Okay, so this that was more toward the tube TVs because those things got so hot. Yeah. The, uh, the wiring got so dried out on those things. Um, and the capacitors would blow on these things all the time. And what you do, like if you had a horizontal sweep problem is you go to the horizontal section and you take your freeze spray and you'd spray it to diagnose <laughs> it. And God, you spray yeah. it on a certain component and it works fine. So you know what the problem is because Back in them days, all we had were these Sam's photofacts yep. uh, on the schematics. Mm. And some of those weren't very good at all. So, That's amazing. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, you could do that work to begin with. Like, yep, free spray. You could do the same thing with uh, uh, canned air. Just yep. turn it upside down and do the same thing. Yeah. Very common. But uh, it worked quite well. And so that's how you would diagnose a problem after it'd be running a while. Wow. So then it just started like you could do the like inverse crap. too. You could use uh, you can use uh, the heat. Yeah. Like, you know, you can do yeah. that direction. But yeah, no. Yep. Could, a lot of times, things once they start stop working because they got warm, it's a pain to figure out what it is. But yeah, that's yeah. a really good strategy. To use uh, freeze uh, can or compressed air or whatever. Yep. All right. Finish recapping these yeah. and give them a test. Then I got their analog boards to do. What you looking at there, Jason? <laughs> um, I got a baseball going on over here, and then some, oh, okay. uh, <laughs> some uh, what you just social media up there, Discord stuff. Uh, Alex, this is a 512. K, but actually it's a 512 E now because I replaced the ROM. I put Mac Plus ROM in it. So now uh, all I'm waiting from Frank is an 800K drive, and this will be able to, because this will be able to read, it has the original 400K in it, but we're going to put an 800K in it. So yeah. 
but yeah, but it is a it is an original 512 though. I I have the original. I have the ROM out of it on a in my drawer over here. But yeah, oh, in a drawer, good spot for it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Dave, you've refilled uh, the analog board, right? Oh, I uh, I retapped it. Yeah. No, no, no refloat it. It's the very, analog it, board. That's probably more important than capacitors on those. So what you want to do oh. is you want to. Go oh no, to well, well, you can look. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I checked the voltage. The reason why I recapped it is because the voltages were kind of off on it a little bit. So well, the voltages. So every one twenty eight plus five twelve whatever on the mm -hmm. same analog board. Uh, all of them that come through, you want to. I go through and I remove all the solder on any of the connectors. So that's uh -huh. the yoke, the the neck board or neck connector, and the uh, harness that goes to the main board. You want to yeah. remove the old solder and apply fresh solder because uh -huh. they always have solder flaps at this point. All of them. Okay. I have not ran into one that doesn't have some ringing. If you want to really know, you just basically take your magnifying lens and look, mm -hmm. you'll see a ring around the connector and you'll know. Yeah. It's called ringer on the rosy. Yeah. So, <laughs> what will happen is, is I just had a, a 128 analog board came in and the guy was like, yeah, all it does is like it starts and turns off, starts, turns off. And all I did, I recapped it, but that, really wasn't the issue but it while well, it's here uh and yeah. all of the uh, main headers cracks on them yeah like that is so important on those if if nothing but that gets done yeah uh on the analog board uh when i did recap it i did reflow a lot of the joints just for uh, on the basically on the connector that goes on that board because yeah those, were, I would do those also the had cracks on them so i yep. did all that yeah, all the connectors generally you want to do. It's, it's like, it goes back to what you were saying, the heat. That heat really does uh, a number of Oh, yeah. Them. It cooks it, yeah. The SE30 suffers just as badly. Yeah. I spend 20 minutes alone on that, on every SE30 that, and, and analog board that comes in, all of them. Yeah. They get that treatment. I go through, remove all the solder on every connector and reapply it. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's why I like to say I don't recap I restore because when you get it back it's going to be in a far better shape than when it came in. Yeah, that's the way we like like it. You know, we like them to be like new again. The case I'm sending you, Dave, has drawing on the bottom. <laughs> has drawing. Don't worry, I'll send you pictures. <laughs> You can decide if you want it or not. Actually, I haven't. I, it probably comes right off. Well, if it's off. on it's like, the bottom, then nobody's going to see it anyway. I know, right? Yeah, nobody's going like, to see that anyway, Garth. Yeah. It looks like it's old marker or something. I'm like, what the heck uh, is this? It's like, uh, yeah. it's funny. Oh, no worries. I mean, worst case scenario, he retro brights it or something and gets rid of it. It's actually a pretty nice Mac Plus case. It's actually a Plus case, right? So it's a real Plus and everything. So um, Yeah. But it's uh like I said, there's there's a bit of spot rust and corrosion on the metal parts on the inside. Um, the tube is pretty good. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll I'll throw. Uh, I want to make sure that everything's working with that. I'll throw my good analog board in it first to make sure that exact setup is still working fine. And then um, <clears throat> anyway, yeah. But then I'll I'll send the bad analog board with it though, so you can have that for its power switch. Cool. Thanks. I think I'll have a life. Yeah, I gotta. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this apart, Thomas, and and look at those connectors. Now, now you now you got me uh, worried now. <laughs> yeah, it, it really does. Uh, I kind of just do it anyway. Yeah, take this yeah, solder yeah. off, and then yeah, that's what I, I know. I did. The, I know I did the one on the analog board. An, an analog board is basically it's all. I ain't worried about that because uh, that's a lace. I, that was all taken apart and everything and recapped and. I touched up a lot of those solder joints and stuff. But. The, the logic board generally doesn't suffer from that problem. Yeah, maybe just the main connector thing. Yeah, that's why I was thinking the main connector. Oh, did I not put the screws back in there? Oh, I guess there's no screws on there. Okay. Right. Okay, this poor floppy drive. This thing works, it'll be a miracle. Oh, I am going to be on Retro Repair Roundup on April 7th. Oh, cool. very good. 
so you can learn all about my uh, history of breaking things and learning how to work. And, uh... Oh, I can't believe you broke anything, Thomas. Uh, when I was a kid, I knew nothing. Uh, <laughs> but I, I always wanted to know... Uh... Look, man, every there is no such thing as a, per, a person that has never broken anything. Oh, you show me oh, one, and uh, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll call him a it. filthy liar. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I can say I've never broken anything, uh, retro Mac, Mac wise. Oh boy, that is bad. I'm gonna send this floppy drive to Dave. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I broke this one. Oh, this is Dave's. <laughs> I'm going to send you a pile of trash, Dave. <laughs> as long as it's so screws, easy. He needs more screws for a screw pile. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, no doubt. There you go. I probably have a few scrap pluses that I've gotten. Actually, no, I think about that. I know I do. Get that little sucker go. Uh, All right. As much as I don't want to, I need to test this lot over... Uh, okay, old fashioned water. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Got bomb. What? Oh, yeah. Mac Plus with art on them. Yep. No, the Mac Pluses, no, I have no problem with those. Oh, yeah, I see, uh, I see a couple cracked joints right here. Son of a gun. Where are you looking? Uh, on the analog board. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've, done, I've, done, I've done so many of them. Yeah. I speak from truth. For this. Hmm. Yeah, there's... There's two of them that's uh, cracked. The yoke is the yoke, the the neck board, and the main connector are your main uh, spots. Hmm. And gut bomb, that is that is the my point exactly. Have I, I haven't broken any retro stuff because I haven't fixed any retro stuff. <laughs> <laughs> my closest my closest to fixing a retro stuff is uh, repasting the. Um, you call that the, the Mac, uh, my, my, my uh, classic Mac Pro, my CMPs, repasting the, the um, CPUs. That was the only thing I did. All right, these are ready to be. We got like a lot quieter in here when uh, Garth muted himself. I guess he has some feedback going on. Like a little hum or something. So soldering iron here so if possible you want to remove the old solder if you have the ability yeah i'm gonna lick it off yeah you know lick only, it off what we only do that so <laughs> that you don't run into issues with like weird alloys yeah is it necessary no you probably could just add flux and reflow it but old oxidized solder i like to get rid of and put fresh For the extra like three seconds it takes. Yeah, yeah. So 
just waiting on my iron to heat up here. So I was really surprised. They restored a uh, TAM for somebody. And I did not get as much uh, feedback or, like, reception on that as I expected. You, know, you would think, like, given, like, we did a full restoration on it. Mm-hmm. But, no, didn't really get much of anything out of that. I was really surprised. We did brand new uh, uh, connectors, recrimped everything. Like, just didn't get much. I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest, but the owner was very happy, so that's not matters. That's good. You get it all back together and everything, and it's working fine for him? Yeah, so, like, it was originally buzzing, so if you know anything about the TAM, the uh, the Bose system. So oh, yeah. Uh, buzzing. Yeah. So, like, he was like, oh, could you re, uh, could you solder over the old connector? I'm like, no, it's just not if you bought my new one. And so I bought a brand new connector, put that on, recrimped his connectors with plated, uh, you know, spade connectors. You know, yeah. did everything properly. No. Uh, yeah. I actually no, uh, recently, I've been doing a lot, a few, um, a few Mac uh, Color Classics, and people want to do the VGA mod, and it's really weird. Uh, Every, every document goes, you need to cut the PCB. And I started looking at it as I did more, you know, a few of them. And I'm like, why? Like, hello, uh, Eric. Both Eric's. Hey, Eric. <laughs> I found you can literally just desolder the pin on the board. And the pins are so stiff that if you bend them out of the way, so they're yeah. not touching the side. You, you don't need to cut anything. It's reversible. It's my brother. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I've done like three of them. You do not need to actually cut the PCB. You can literally just desolder the pin. And if you're if you're very if you're more well, I don't want to risk it. You can if you have small enough shrink wrap. Just put the shrink tubing over the pin. Yeah. And it, you know, but I found that the pins are stiff enough. They really don't need to cut it. Yeah. Cool. Hey, brother. Your brother off today? Yep, he's off today. He's in chat right now. Okay. I'm not. I'm not looking at the chat. my solder hmm. no. that's kind of important to find when you're trying to do stuff with it you know yeah <laughs> it's always laying up here where the heck did it go uh the cat took it always blame the cat uh she's sleeping right now i can't blame her uh, nah she well she hit it she's just underneath her that's what it is <laughs> be right back all right so my wife calls me on Friday and she's like, so my car ran out of uh, of uh, antifreeze or coolant. And I'm like, uh, what? And like, she explained it to me. I'm like, great, great. Your car probably has a bad head gasket. Gets it to the dealer next day because uh, she brought it overnight. Dealer calls, blown head gasket. You know, there's times in my life I wish I wasn't right. And that was one of them. <laughs> And, but luckily, we got like the third party insurance. And yeah. from what I found, they actually cover things. So, you know, if they cover a $3,000 bill, it was worth the 900 bucks they spent. Or whatever it was. I'm, all, I'm making them yeah. up there. But uh, the head gasket definitely going to be like 3000 because apparently they're also doing the timing chain, which is good. They should, given the car's got 70,000 miles. But at this point, we're like, all right, once that's fixed, we're going to buy a different car. <laughs> we're going to probably go with like a Subaru Legacy XT. You know, get it, get it. Uh, she liked the Subaru. Uh, for, uh, we used to have a WRX, and she really liked that car. And she kind of feels like she downgraded with the Honda. And I, you know, I can understand that. Oh. 
All right. I just did a recap four SE thirties. Nice. Probably not going to be here all that long. Probably leave like one one thirty. Uh, I just wanted to come in the you know because on uh, Friday I didn't get anything done at night, and I'm like you know I can get a few things done and yay. Especially with he's trying to be a, trying to be efficient on Dave's stream. Good lord. <laughs> Good lord. As long as you don't break anything. That never happens here. Speaking of breaking things, that uh, CD-ROM drive is back with the donor and working. Nice. nice. That laser. That's right. You're saying that that cable fit on that other one, huh? Uh, well, wasn't well, just I needed the whole laser assembly. Oh, okay. And thankfully, I had a bad Apple CD like 300. Uh, apparently, they used the same assembly for a while, so I just ripped it apart and stole that assembly out of it. Took me 10 minutes to swap it. Didn't need to adjust anything. I mean, it's a one-up CD-ROM. What do you expect? Mm -hmm. All right. I should probably go ahead and test all these. But I really don't want to, I don't well my problem is I don't want to swap the RAM. Oop, I had voice text going the whole time. <sighs> oh, I found my solder. What's the heck is it doing down on the floor here? I where I couldn't find it. Oh, you lost it? Yeah, I was looking for it. Down underneath the the uh, bench here. Blame your kitties. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe uh, now I'll work on the. She side. wouldn't admit it if she did it anyway. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that one's reflowed. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna work on another one. That'll encourage me to actually leave relatively on time. Right, this drive is stuck in this case. I've never had one be this hard before. Really. Yeah, I mean, usually it's just a little trick about because they're kind of stiff, but this one's just jammed in there. Hmm. So now, I've never done a, never had to do the yoke cable. Hmm. Let's pull it off of here. Let's see. There it goes. There it goes. It's getting there. that one let's do this Yay. here so which one is that that is a little bit dusty okay let's be the table Ooh, boy that is stiff let's see which one it is here Oh, I didn't know Eric's mom was in the hospital. Oh, sorry to hear that, Eric. Darn gravity, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, it's funny. Last week, I dropped a cap on the floor. And if you remember me digging around the floor looking for it. Yeah. And I couldn't find it. I'm like, that's a dollar loss, whatever. Not really. But um, um, and then, like, a couple days later, I moved my chair and something click, click, and on the floor and it fell off or something. So I don't know if it was somehow stuck in my chair for like two days or something. Oh, <laughs> found it, though. <laughs> uh, Got my cap back. 
That happened to me when I was make, building the tech step. I dropped uh, some really small <laughs> diodes, and uh, yeah, but it was important to find those, though. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, now you got me wondering, actually, Dave. I don't know where the uh, parts I got went because I did get them, and I brought them here, and I don't know where I put them. <laughs> They're in a, I think they're in the bag it came in, but I don't know where that is. Oh, my wife, it, it's, we've all done it, but she does it a lot. She, she'll she put something somewhere and she just gets in a raging fit trying to find it. She goes, I know it was there. <laughs> yeah. Listen, my desk is such a mess. It's not even like... It's probably like right in front of me somewhere, and it, I'm just never going to find it until I'm not looking for it. Of course, that's the way it usually works. Hey, one bit. Good to see you. It's really hey, short, thank you. one bit. How are we going? Hello, Jim. Jim's retro stuff. All right. Yeah. Ooh, how convenient. A bag is used for garbage. Guess I'll do some cleanup. Wow. Over here finding polymer tantalum caps is laying around. How's the heating working in that building there, Frank? So originally I used just a small electric space heater and it was okay up until the temperatures got like super low outside and then it <laughs> yeah. was a little chilly. So I went to uh, Home Depot the other day and uh, down at the far end, you'll see like that white rectangle back there. Oh yeah, yeah. I bought a uh, 4,000 watt electric uh, heater that goes into the wall Yeah. and nice. it is nice and toasty. <laughs> <laughs> that thing works way better. Right, aren't uh, you gonna get? I'm, you were gonna get make a mini split or something, weren't you? Yep, I'm gonna put it in in the spring. Yeah, because I want because oh, okay. I want heat and air conditioning, and yeah, the mini yeah. split's the best route to go. Yeah, um, because that boy, the heat out there, I can't imagine running a few computers yeah. in that summertime heat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm gonna end up. I don't know if I'm gonna end up getting too many splits or if I'm gonna see if I can get a dual zone one because of me adding that extra side. Yeah. I want to heat and air condition that side too. Even though it's storage, I still don't want stuff to get yeah. too hot or too cold. Yep. Yeah, sure. So I'd rather uh, do it for the whole the whole thing. So either I buy one giant one, but the only drawback to that is I feel like I'm going to freeze my butt off over here. Yep. Uh, given that I'm only going to have like the doorway that goes into there, so I, I think I'm better off doing like a dual zone or two separate units. Yep. That All way right, I can I control both. Right Bill called and it's screaming. Oh yeah, yes, yeah. that's nothing <laughs> out of the ordinary. So you should have seen when I was running the UCS blade servers like full time with the Cisco Nexus stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah, <laughs> uh, that really uh, really <laughs> ate through a lot of power. Um, so yeah, but things are a little, a little bit better now. Like I don't have any of the regular servers and stuff running right now. I. Uh, bought one of the uh down there at the far end i bought a small um hp micro server so like it's running the vms and stuff like that right now mm, vms fun and i've got two different nasas down there the drobo out down there has almost 100 terabytes and the uh other one is 16 terabytes dang i thought i had a lot of space in my little tiny rinky dinky server yeah, and I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I have a big <laughs> nest at the house that uh, making me feel a little. Uh, although that thing's got probably 200 terabytes of potential storage. I'm yeah. Half of it. 
Well, I'm also recording the video here and remote. Oh yes, yeah, so uh, for the cameras and stuff. So that that really eats through a lot of space. Especially if you're oh, yeah. if you're uh, recording it in 4K. Yup. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really need a whole lot of space, but you know, because I don't do the the recording stuff, I just do like, you know, mostly backing up files and things like that. Mm -hmm. And um, so on the the server. Um, has, uh, I think this thing has, I want to say it's got the one terabyte NVMe, then it's got the eight terabyte external. I think internally it has like eight, eight to 12 terabytes or something like that in there. Not bad though. It's handy to have it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I upgraded the one recently I bought. They were either 12 or 14 terabyte drives that I put in it. One of the two. And I just noticed that my server was actually, was actually turned off. And then somehow uh -oh. the power, I have a lot, one of those really, really long um, surge protector things oh, over yeah. here. And, it's, and the power button faces the wall. So that's not like oh, that's so the cat. Right. So the cat must have stepped on it and slipped her paw down there and hit the switch or something. Yeah. <laughs> so that's I, got more, could be off. I got more done on the electrical. So like I I did finish all the outlets, installing all the outlets and wiring them in. Um, oh good. Under these workbenches in the front wall. So the only thing I have left is like the wires are already running the walls. I just didn't put the actual outlets in on those yet. So I have all of the circuits turned on now, except for the two that run along that wall. They're still turned off in the breaker box. So, so you're about ready to put the paneling on the, the yep. at one side. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the two. So I'm I'm ready to do the wood. So they're one by ten by tens, is what mm -hmm. I bought. Uh, the rough cut. So yeah. uh, I'm gonna. It's the same as over here. So I'm going to close that wall in next because I have the rack to mount up there on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. And now that that heater's in the wall too, uh, it's ready because I wanted it as a backup heat, really. So like, if I mm -hmm. don't run the heat pump, I can at least run that. Yeah. You know, if I'm on generator or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I still have heat. So uh, that's all ready a, to go. So. You have a whole house generator. Now. Yeah, it's big enough to do both. Um, oh, cool. To do the house and the shed both. Nice. So uh, that's all wired in to go across. Uh, let's see. Put these diodes in on this thing. There we go. Um, but yeah, so uh, the next goal I would hope to do it this week, but if it was so cold and snowing and raining and yeah. back and forth that I couldn't cut any of the wood out there. Oh, yeah. Um, outside to, to get it for that wall. So hopefully this week's going to be nicer. Um, supposed to be back in the 50s again. So I'm okay. hoping to get that, it, you know, that wall finished first and yeah. covered in because I want to get the rack and stuff put up over there and then I can start doing the patch panels because the rack and the patch panels are here. I just got to put them in. Um, so uh, get that wrapped up and then this long wall over here. And then once it's done, then I'm going to go ahead and do the ceiling. Yeah. The ceiling is, is, is insulated that, and everything. Yeah, that's good. Is that white, that white board in front of you? Is that, that, uh, is that magnetic? Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. So this, this whiteboard, I, I got it for 10 bucks um, from the university. They sold it at auction. Uh, yeah. It's a new one, and it's steel case, so it's it's a real oh, heavy geez. duty one. Yeah. Yeah, like it, it's, it's built well. This sucker was heavy getting it up here. It took three of us to lift it to get it up here on the wall. <laughs> there's there's uh, a new name great. for your your uh, your thing. It's called the Frodo Jedi Data Center. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, Eric. Um, I plan on so once I get that other side, the storage side built, and I can close the door for that side, then I mean I mm -hmm. can put a regular 
I have some floor racks, you know, that I can put in to put computers on, but there's no way I'd run anything over here. It's just too loud. Yeah. Because uh, the old setup, so when I had the full-size rack um, with the UCS uh, servers and stuff running in it and the Nexus switches, uh, yeah. you could hear it in the driveway. Like, with wow. the garage door and everything closed. Like, <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was, it was pretty yeah. loud. <laughs> yeah, and I looked at modifying it and putting Noctura switches and think there um, fans and yeah. stuff in it, and yeah. Uh, yeah, it was just loud as all get out. Terrible. So yeah, there's no. I'm not putting those in here. <laughs> oh man. Cleaning up the dust. But yeah, back when we had the, uh, they just upgraded this year, the electric meters on the house to the digital one. Uh, uh -huh. Before I had the spinning dial and that thing went oh, so geez. fast. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. yeah. The smart meters. Yeah. Yeah. We finally got smart meters now this year. They just put them in there uh, right before fall. Hmm. They swapped them out. Oh, I thought that was funny. So one of the last couple of times we lost power because, you know, we lose power all the time. I um, <laughs> I go to the pg &E page. You know, they basically report it and also just to see who else is out. Look at the yeah. edge map, etc. And um, <clears throat> so, like, well, the, you know, for the way, put in your address, etc. So I put my address in. Like, you have power. I'm like, okay, I get it. And I'm like, you know, because it, it had just happened. To be fair, right? Yeah. And they're like, okay, well, do you want us to check your meter? I'm like, oh, that's a that's new. And they didn't have this before. I'm like, sure, yeah, totally, yeah. not gonna do it. So it's checking, 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 like, yep, you have power, so you should call an electrician because everything's good on our end. It's literally, they're like, well, you should call an electrician. I'm like, what? Oh, <laughs> like, my gosh. Not even like, you know, if the power just went out, wait 10 minutes and try again because that's yeah. what it was, right? And it's like, no, 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 call an electrician. <laughs> yeah, Great, waste guys. your money. Dumbass. It's <laughs> on right. you. Yeah. I know, right? Um, but uh, that's, what, that's what the whole, I guess, the whole push, I mean, obviously, it's so that meter people don't have to come out here yeah. and read the meter anymore. But they're saying, well, now we'll know instantly when you have no power because it won't be reporting in anymore. Yeah. So then my next thing is, is like, okay, so how are you connecting to the internet to, to know that I have no power? It's selling it, doesn't it? Don't they use cell? Yeah, they use cellular. Yeah. yeah but we have such crap piece. cell signal uh, <laughs> that I have a uh, Verizon booster in the house yeah. um, that gives us full signal. Uh, but like walking around like you have no cell signal so i'm like are they are, were they pirating off <laughs> my connection oh that's funny probably to, re to report they probably are i thought it was a mesh network or is it cell well out here in the boonies i don't think they can do that <laughs> true because it would require a lot of additional infrastructure for them to get a signal but I believe in the t in town, yeah, they use some type of of uh, like a LoRaWAN almost technology. Yeah, um, that it does the reporting because they have like they have like um, Wi-Fi antennas almost, some type of antennas you see in town on the poles for the electric yeah. that they installed this past yeah. year. But out here in the boonies, I'm sure it's got to be cellular. Hey Ryan, what's up? How are you? Oh, you know, fighting with everything. Uh oh, what's well, not working now? Oh, the blue yeti I purchased yesterday. Uh, the the blue yeti plague, I guess they call it, is affecting it, so I had to fix it. USB port? Uh, no, no. The uh, if it gets like a power spike, it it flattens the ROM on the uh, oh, audio device. <laughs> oh, that's nice. weird. So you need to. Yeah, so the only downside is you have to use a USB 2.0 port. So I was running around trying to find one of those because everything I own is 3.0. <laughs> nice. And you need a, um, you need like an original Blue Yeti or compatible cable. And all the ones I have are just not enough wires, I guess. So anyway, I had to order it on Amazon. Well, tomorrow you'll have one. Yes, yeah, true. I will get a new one tomorrow. But That's right. I wanted to. I wanted to have two: one for the garage and one for the house. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, well, then you don't have to hoof anything back and forth either. Exactly. Yeah. You can just leave it set up. Exactly. So that's a reason to never buy a Blue Yeti then. Exactly. No, no. Blue Yetis are really, really good. Uh, are good mics. It's just, well, they were. They're not anymore. I, I don't think they're as good as they were because now Logitech owns them. They feel a lot no. cheaper. 
Yeah, like, uh, we have a, we have a couple of new ones at the school, and they're like really light compared to the older models, which had a bit of heft to them. Yeah, uh, helping. <laughs> same yeah, thing with I, the, yeah. I have the pre Logic Tech version. Yeah, me yeah. too. <laughs> uh, they also did the same thing with uh, Me Mevo, the cameras that I used to like. Yep. Uh, Logic Tech bought them out, and they're not as nicely built anymore. Uh, so. anyway. But that's what happens when the accountants get in church. Oh, yeah. It's built to a yeah. to a dollar. Yep. Yep. So what's everybody working on today? I am building the retro chip tester pro here. Oh, fun. It would be going a lot better if I had the right pair of cutters. For some reason, I can't find my the right pair of side cuts that I usually use. And uh, I'm fiddling around with the uh, 512 Mac here. Nice. And I uh, got the um, case that uh, Frank sent me for the uh, Cash 20. So I got that all nice. buttoned up in there. So it's not all dangling like it used to be. Always and, a good thing. What's that? The, oh, yeah. yeah. So and that's then, always uh, a good thing. Yes. And then uh, the other thing is uh, just uh, reflowing some uh, joints on here. Because Thomas said that, because uh, I already I recapped the, the analog board because you, know, you need, need to do all the connectors too, which I did the one, but it's kind of funny. I noticed that uh, there was a crack on one of them, so I went ahead and redid that again. So I just got to do the uh, power connector over to here. Just double check that. You've yeah. got the power. Power. Of course, you can't get at it because all the uh, old double sided tape is all petrified on it now. So, oh, of course. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> so funny. Petrified. Okay. You just need a little bit of mandrake root on that. There you yes. Go. Wake that right up. <laughs> how's the uh, how's the snow at your place there, uh, Ryan? Not bad. Uh, slowly melting. It's been yeah. fairly warm. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's above zero degrees, so okay. every day That's above zero awesome. degrees means, to, uh, you know, it's getting warmer and stuff is melting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, just preparing for the the spring projects here now. I just ordered a mini split and all the tools to install it. So. Oh. Or as I like to call it, adult Lego. <laughs> adult Lego. There you go. Yeah, yep. Plumbing and electrical is just adult Lego. Yeah. Except I'm, hoping, uh, I'm hoping uh, <laughs> Gut Bomb's Lego thing works. Yeah. Yes, that would be quite cool. He made some modifications and got the new boards in. Nice. <clears throat> I guess he said some transistors were backwards. Uh, oh, really? On the one he was doing last week, yeah. So we'll see that what happens original to today. the kit. They were backwards? Were I they... think so, yeah. Oh. Well, he did say that he may come back. When he comes back, he may work on it on the stream. So we'll see. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All righty. Are there any good 4116 chips left? Mm, sometimes you'll find Eric uh, Rangel, uh, Angle Rangel said only one fourth of the of them worked in the two plus that he got. So I'm building my retro chip tester, so I can see what works and what doesn't. <laughs> like, yep, those are work. Well, there you go. Yeah. I like uh, one bit's comment. He said I could construct construct some sort of ceiling rail thing <laughs> and make the blue yeti move between the house and the garage. That's true. You yeah. could even do it by train. Set up a model railroad. Yeah. That's that more of a Shelbyville cool. idea. I'm thinking of the uh, opening to Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Monorail. <laughs> so he, one bit also says uh, 
near here near Q, uh, QC City, where ca we're catching up on the snow. We didn't get several snowfalls in the last week. Weeks. Yeah. Yep, you guys can have it. You guys can have it. You're yep. welcome. That's what I said to my <laughs> sisters because they're up in Maine and Maine's getting hit with some snow right now. I was like, you guys, that, that's what you get for staying. <laughs> oh, I, watch that main, I watch that main cabin masters every once in a while. But after a while, it's the same thing over and over. And I get yep. bored. <laughs> <laughs> so you can kind of see part of my lawn. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right Did you see your walkways clear at least? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. I do have to still take down my Christmas decorations. The side of the house there. Hang on. I set this up for Frank and he doesn't know how to use it. Come on, camera. No, I clicked it. It's just not starting the stream for some there? reason. Wow, it's very dark. We're, we're in the eclipse. <laughs> well, Total eclipse of the heart. Early. Oh, the, the full solar eclipse is coming. Come on, what's the deal? Yeah, it's going to be pretty what visible where you are, Frank, I guess. And where I am, it's coming right across the island. It's going to be awesome. It's be crazy oh, yeah? Cool. Wow. Excited, yeah. For some reason, cool. it's just not uh, not going. Well, yeah, it was on a second ago. No, that was a different if I pull one. Up, if I pull up the camera on the real link uh, software, it's working fine. It's just maybe for the some IP reason, changed? it's not pulling the stream. Oh, maybe. The IP I may have changed. That. Hang on, let me check that. That's why you got to make sure you lock these things down. Oh, so I did reboot things. I did reboot Garth, everything. Cheese gear. Cheese gear. That's, correctly. <clears throat> he's adding Bluetooth. That's what this pile of broken gears is here, the cheese gears. Uh, 195. Give me one second. You're I'm going to ask you if you have any cheddar. Nope. And if you don't, if you say you don't have cheddar, I'm going to shoot you in the face. <laughs> it is, uh, it Python. is the same IP. Javier. Hey, Javier. It's not connecting. Hear me? Yep. Hey, there we can hear you. Hello. Hold on, hold on. Are we in Dave's stream or, or yes. in one? Tech or Fridays? Because there's Ryan, there's Frodo. Wow. <laughs> Train is asleep. We're, we're still missing <laughs> Trina. <laughs> so it's normal. <laughs> That's normal, uh, though. Missing okay. Trina. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't on the uh, last Friday, was she? Nope. <laughs> nope. She's not you, here today. You still have her photo you can throw up on there? <laughs> yep. Oh, I do. Hold on. Hold on. Gosh. Let me hit my. Let me hit well, my. She was in chat at least. She was in chat earlier at least. And she claimed. There's my train of oh, there, there, there you go. <laughs> That's where That's she is now right Trina's now. Here. Double, double. <laughs> we done trouble. Oh gosh. She claims she's coming in that, later that or little, later on tonight. So we'll see. with the Z's and that said, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Javier, you've asked for it, so here it comes. Batman. How's it going, guys? More of a Shelbyville idea. Oh, it's going, you. Oh, my God. I, I, I hate you, Frodo. That place is looking better and better by the minute. Yeah, it's I know, there. it's awesome. Yeah. Hey, Sophia. <clears throat> and I've used my 3D printer more in the last two days than I did all of last year. Uh, were you making things that... <laughs> Making things for your room, huh? I, yeah, I've been printing for the last two days like crazy here. Well, that's yeah. good. Get some use out of that thing. I know. Yep. Use it. I didn't even know it had a camera till the other night. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> it, mine doesn't have a camera. <laughs> that was funny. I, I swear, that fun. I, thought it said that I thought it was an extra fifty dollars for the camera, and I'm like, oh, oh, gosh. that's awesome. Yeah, and then you look, look. Oh, well, that thing. There is one. Son of a gun, it's in there. Now you just gotta figure out how to use it. No, it works. <laughs> uh, Joe helped me get it set up to the OBS, so it, it actually does work. Well, what are we talking uh, about? I, I, I disconnected for a second. See? Look at it. We got yeah. a camera and a printer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> That's nice. awesome. What are we printing today? Fancy. <laughs> I, so I printed. Um, a case for the um they call it a plip box for the amiga it's a like a wi-fi dongle for the back that gives you uh wired ethernet and you're still I'm playing with that amiga what's that you're still playing with that amiga oh yeah <laughs> yeah i uh i play with my amiga all you're, the time <laughs> you're not getting it heavier 
<laughs> Any, he was okay, trying. That he was comment trying. just went over, but you know, um, I'm not saying he was trying. Trying. Trying is not but, here, uh, so there's no. <laughs> but I'm getting ready to print uh, the uh, Nabu joystick controller. Oh, ooh. Uh, so this is what is this? Frank's Retro Temple. Yeah. That's right. We've got the Jedi in there for the Jedi Temple and the. Retro. Oh, that's what I'll use. <laughs> Legend of the Hidden Temple. Oh, there you go. The old TV show, <laughs> Nickelodeon. <laughs> Data center. There you go. What was it? All Mac? Was that the guy? The head? Yeah, yeah. All Mac. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Joe. Hey Joe. Hey Joe. Where's Joe? Where's in Joe? The chat. Oh, in the uh, chat. I, was, oh, I thought he popped cool. on the stream. I'm like, I don't see him. Better. Hopefully, he'll, hopefully he'll join and say hi. If I start playing my random pictures, there'll be plenty of Joe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's what. Now that I have a place to actually put one, now I'm gonna get a uh, one of the ultrasonic cleaners because I, I do need one. Um, yeah. I really didn't have a place to put it before. Guess what? Now you do. Now I do. Frank, I need you to come <laughs> and help do. set up my office because boy, it's a total disaster. <laughs> oh, mine was all over the place. I'm finally getting set up. I bought a bunch of the. You can see those plastic storage bins. Mm -hmm. I, our Walmart, I our, our Walmart had a clearance, so the the normal three bin ones down there were seven bucks a piece on clearance, and the wider ones were ten bucks a piece on clearance. Definitely, Joe. World. And you're yeah, definitely so going to fill like, those that suckers awesome. up. Awesome. Oh yeah, I've already started sorting sorting stuff into them, so much better. It's definitely getting there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I need to get stuff off my floor. Yeah. I only have. I have one of those big bins, but I use that for keyboards mostly because of, uh, uh, you know, that one Bella cat that likes to rip the keys off keyboards. Uh, Hang on a second. Still doing that, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, the other night I walked away, I literally walked away from the desk to go to the bathroom. And I came back and three keys were off my keyboard. And she oh, was wow. behind me when I left. So in that, you know, minute or two that I was in the bathroom, she jumped from there to over here, popped off two keys, jumped back, and was just like, I didn't do anything. Thanks. Yeesh. Little bitch. Yep, she's Trying a pain in the booty. Like but she, she does it because she, she knows she's going to get a response out of me. I'm like, really? Really, cat? She's like, yeah, got my response. <laughs> <laughs> and they and they say the cats are, you know, cats don't know what's going on. Come on now. <laughs> they know. Oh, they, I'll send you a link, they're, Joe. They're smarter than people think. Isn't that right, Billy? Huh? Yeah, I just woke you up. Now I'm going to get you in my face probably. Ah. <sighs> I wish I had a linky. It's in the Discord. Um, shame of self promotions, Joe. Try that link, Joe. Try it. <laughs> oh boy. Yep, that's that's Trina to a T right there. She's sleeping. Yeah, there you go. She is yes. a sleeper cell. Uh, okay. So yeah. Did you I send him a Garth, did you send my link? I did. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, I was in the Macintosh <laughs> Friends. So. Yep. That's how I got here. Yeah. Well, sometimes the link changes. Yeah, it does. And that's, then it gets that's, confusing. That's that's what I that's why I do it like an hour before I do the stream. Yeah. I do it right right from the yeah, studio. Right. That way, there's no problem. Makes sense. Yeah. Directly from the studio. Yep. Live from Hollywood. Yep. It's Saturday night. Oh, wait, yeah, that's, that's what I got to get. I got to get a live sign over here. A live yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have a live nerd sign that just got me. <laughs> live nerd? Up, up here on the wall, it says live nerds. It lights up. Oh, yeah. how funny. <laughs> yeah. Careful. Live nerds. <laughs> Gosh. Man, he's got to find a place to plug it, it in. <laughs> oh, he's got Well, that's of the thing. Is up here. Don't I got outlets out. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, you gotta have if, if it's a um, you know like a computer shack yeah um you need to have definitely have to have outlets yeah yeah outlets everywhere and then um i'm guessing that you ran you know, you oh, run the, uh, i just didn't hey, see Joe. the link i looked there at it is, six times and didn't see it that's okay it's all right Joe. but guess what How you're you doing hey, oh there it is i see it now 
Classic Joe. That's awesome. Hi, everybody. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Joe. What? Hi, what? Hey, Joe. <laughs> what? No Chick fil A sauce? Uh, Frodo, are you printing something? I am. Yeah, yeah. I heard that when I was in it, when I was watching, just watching the chat earlier. Uh, I, I got, heard uh, that, and I'm like, but my printer isn't doing it. It's like, oh. I'm yeah, printing. He, uh, he showed us his camera controller. too, Joe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Speaking of cameras, I have a new bench cam. Ooh. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh cool. And it does things like this. Oh, proper lens. Oh, it moves. Ooh. Yeah, it zooms and it focuses. Auto zoom. And you say why cable? Zoom, it dices, zoom, it zoom. slices, it Julian's. Apple nice. e-card. My cable replacement diesel. Oh, goodness, it's, it's that, sharp, Look how good that is. We can read it. What, ca what camera did you get, Joe? Um, some cheap thing that Sloopy found on Amazon that he says, I'm going to get it because it's 50% off. And then I went to look at it. It was 50% off. And then they also had a 30% off coupon. So it's a $122 oh, yeah. camera I got for 40 bucks. Oh, nice. Yeah. What? What? Uh, Better go focus. check and see if it's still there. The focus is manual. The focus and the focus and zoom are manual, but that's okay. You can just that's you good. Can do it. Yeah, I'd rather Sometimes do it. Manual. It doesn't mess up. It's, it's yeah, so you come in here and you add something in. It's not going burp, 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 burp. right. Yeah. Very cool. Where do you get blue tack? Is that something on Amazon? Amazon. Right. Dollar store. Need to get some. Get it anywhere. What is it? You can get pretty much anything you need on Amazon these days. That's true. No, found a printer. Yes, printer ASMR. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is somebody cutting something? Or is that a printer? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. Someone's sighing. Yeah, I think it's Hav. What's up? Are you sawing I'm something? You're sawing. Yeah. There's a saw. There's a wood. Okay. I was like, I hear this noise. And I swear it's not a printer. <laughs> that sounds like weird. a coping saw. Or, uh, no, we, we thought it was <laughs> Trina snoring. <laughs> 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 but it was me. <laughs> Is that Trina snoring or it's Javier? <laughs> The world may never know. Wee 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 wee. Yeah. She's gonna she's gonna have some words for us when she finally gets here. <laughs> Lots of words. Colorful ones. Well, let's see. She was she was uh, MIA on uh, Old Tech Fridays. Yeah. Uh, not now. Uh, She's MIA today. There you go. Yep. <laughs> Dave's asking for and it. She, and she's sleeping. <laughs> she's always sleeping. I think I think because of her, I think she needs some Geritol or something. You know? Geritol? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Geritol. Oh, wow. Lord. That's amazing. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, Dave, now you're really asking for it. Dave, <laughs> you're my hero. <laughs> oh lordy! What, Gigi? What, Kitty? How you doing? Oh! Or she could have uh what is that? Um. Uh, oh yeah, Vita Vita Vegemir. There you go. Yeah, have that too. Vita Vita What's that? Vita 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 Vita
We just uh, don't have the technology. I got the Apple II working. What was wrong with it? Do it, Captain. First off, it was missing a ROM chip. No, well, yeah, I told you the socket was bad. Yeah. So I replaced the socket. Then all the ROMs were in the wrong sockets. Wait, right? They were all labeled. I put them in the label. Uh, they're, they're labeled like 6E. Like... They were in the wrong socket. He said socket. <laughs> the third thing. That's a, that is a that is a Apple II that is before Rev Seven. On Apple II before Rev going? Seven, you have to use an old school composite monitor. If you try to hook it up to any sort of modern digital TV that's got NTSC input, it's highly likely it won't lock to the video. I was using an old CRT. And um, that's it. It's got bad RAM still. I got to figure out bad RAM state. What happened? So tell me when uh, when the ROMs are in the right spot. Even though I swear I read the ROMs yeah. and put them where they were labeled. So how that happened, I don't know. It's that game oh, Sasquatch. Yeah, when the ROMs are in the right place, it goes beep and it's up. Yeah, but would it even with bad RAM? It depends on what's wrong with the RAM. Like it, it never like beep. this machine. Sometimes it'll beep and boot, but sometimes it'll beep and dump to the monitor with a hex. Yes, yeah, even like when I first got it, it never did that. So it's Joe. Uh, what? Can I can I send you that two GS motherboard, the one that uh, won't detect a a boot drive? You absolutely can, as long as you understand that I am very, very behind now. Yeah, no, it's fine. I just, I, I checked a few chips and uh, swapped them from a working one, and that didn't do it, so that's the extent of my ability. Mm -hmm. You're going to hear <laughs> Rina sleeping again, okay? <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. Long log. Uh. Joe, the, the labeling on the ROMs, is that accurate to the board or is that not the right label? It's accurate to the board. They were in the wrong sockets. Um, Trina says know. she's going to join when she gets back home. She's not home right now. Right. No, she's not home. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, she's, she's in the land of dreams. <laughs> blinking and blinking a nod. I was just I thinking know. that. It's one of my favorite uh, bedtime stories. We're going to slice a plate, and we're going to print plate, and we're going to undo the MS. Why are you busy with another print plate? <coughs> but, Joe, you don't need the rest of it, just the board, right? Huh? You never know. You just want just the board right correct yeah because i even tried another power supply just in case it was like a voltage issue i got all that stuff. but yeah it for some reason like even the floppy emu it just it didn't it was there <clears throat> ow Ron's going to be the proud owner of an Image Rider LQ. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Somebody, somebody posted on Facebook that he was he was giving it away. And uh, it's here in Miami. So Ron immediately said, Javier, can you <laughs> pick it up? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Come on. Hey, so, uh, be yes. Javier. I can pick it what? up. I just don't want it. Did you see Ron's video this morning about the color ribbons? No. What? what what's that? He posted a video this morning about the, uh, the image writer printing in color. Uh, oh. 
But I need to see. I don't know if they're still available because uh, he had referenced uh, Mark uh, getting. Um, Mark, ribbon, yeah, Mark sent a, a bunch made. of them. But like, does he still have them or no? Like for sale? Mark. Ask him. I think he 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 sent another another um, batch. Oh, I hope so. Oh, is he having these made, Javier? Yeah, in China. Okay. Made in Japan, assembled in China. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know. That's what that's what the uh, text had said on the original listing before of his. Yeah, yeah I'm not aware exactly uh, what to deal with them. I don't know, know. That, they, that he did it. Do I have what, what are those? What are they? What are those going for price wise? I think they were twenty five bucks. Okay, that's fine. That's 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 that's. that's, that's I would pay it to print and color. I think that's yeah. cool. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I have Mark's Discord. I, I'd pay. i pay more now. Tip, know, if, tip, if more of the things we could tip, get. Tip, dip, dip. I'm not you weird. Pay Nabu. Is your question? Is your Apple II only boot with F8 installed? I can't hear you. You're muffled, and somebody else is making noise. I said, should the Apple II boot with only F8 installed? The ROM F8. I think that's the monitor. Um, it might, but it depends on the contents of F8. Because um, F8 is the monitor, but it's got calls into um, the other ROMs for BASIC. And depending on which BASIC is installed, the BASIC calls should be the same. But auto start and other ROMs may have, like, it depends. Do you have an auto start ROM that then has basic in it and blah, 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 and all this? So maybe, I don't know. Probably, it would probably, if, if it only had F8, it probably just crashed to, to the monitor prompt. Uh, yeah, because I uh, I tried it with just F8, and it did nothing. So you must be a magician or something. And I have a photo. Showing F8, so I know I have the right ROM in, so I'm very confused. I'm not like I'm not I'm not making a movie. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying Sarah to just understand how I fucked we're up. We're in the wrong that. socket. That's all I can say. That's, I don't know why, how, what, when. Because the last photo I have shows everything in the right spot. It sounds like somebody's uh, like in a tunnel or something. I broke it before fixing it so I can lie to everybody on the internet say Bro, no, 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 that's not what I'm don't even uh, put that No, up. I'm saying it because it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I'll, 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 I'll just for poos and laughs, I'm going to show you the last photo I took. You can see like F8's in the right spot. Like it just doesn't, I, I'm so perplexed how I fucked that up so bad. That's fine. Things happen, Thomas. I'm not perplexed anymore if I messed up with anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like another. Yeah, they're here. in the right order. That they're in the right order in the picture you sent. I don't know, buddy. I don't know. I mean, it's because it I'm, was the it was the gremlins. They they switched I mean, them. It's very possible I took him out after that, but I'm pretty sure that was the last photo before I went, I'm done. And it just did nothing. Mm. I burned. What's next? I've got lots of things to build. Oh, God, oh, send cool. help. Send help. Right. Yes, I, I've been trying to support your cause, Joe. I, I ordered something from you last week. So. Thanks. Hey, Dave. Yes, sir. Did I owe you something? So I remember you, you asked me to send you something and, you know, Alzheimer. <laughs> Did anything of what he just said make any sense to anyone? No. No. <laughs> no. Like send me a stack of 20s, remember? Uh, Tell me something, Alzheimer's. Yeah, I, I am. <laughs> I am. Oh, I'm pot calling him Kettle Black. <laughs> Yeah, I got to think what it was, Javier. I was, oh, let me know uh, and send me a message if I owe you something, please. Uh, well, if, uh, if Dave doesn't remember him. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's the Well, you know, we talk about a lot between, of stuff on these streams. Between Dave and me. Stuff, you know? so. <laughs> Let's see who, 
who loses who forgets faster Ooh, <laughs> i think it's a tie at this point <laughs> i forgot my name yesterday who the hell am i hey buddy hey mom <laughs> What you doing, old boy? What? That was my ten-year-old cat. Oh. My knees hurt. Oh, I'm so. No comment, Joe. No Mark. comment. Look at me. Oh, baby. <laughs> I look handsome. Oh. The only thing. Uh, I have this... responses to your no comment, but I'm on the extreme, so I'm not going gonna... <laughs> to. <laughs> Discord is okay. later. How about that? Joe, you know that MD is bad? A local woke up in a Soho doorway. The policeman knew my name. He said, MB You can go not a good thing, Joe. You have to walk away. Okay, uh, Frank just ordered some of those uh, ribbon inserts from Mac Effects. Cool. I stumbled back to the underground. The breeze blew back my hair. I remember throwing punches around and preaching from my chair. Okay. Oh, my knees. Oh, I was talking and I was muted. I do that all the time. <laughs> I, so I bought five new old stock uh, color ribbons on eBay, and then I cool. just went on Mac Effects and bought the ribbon inserts for the color. Uh, now I just got to figure out which um, roller uh, Rod used for to rebuild his. Because I'm pretty sure they were foam. They are. They fall apart. That's why they, yeah. uh, the old, you can't use old ones anymore because they're all yeah. disintegrated. So I need, um, oh, this damn printer. Hang on, something messed up. <laughs> I just happened to look over at it, and it's spaghetti. How rude. Spaghetti, spaghetti. Stop, yes. Spaggle, flaggle, bedaggle, meggle. Bolognese, spaghetti, bolognese. Garbage parts. Hey, Garth. Garbage. Oh, I'm not weird. He's got a mic. Okay. No, you're not. I'm normal. I'm here, Dave. Yeah. Oh, no, let's check his face. Hey, do you uh, do you have any of the uh, you know on this on the side of the analog board that plastic panel oh, that goes nice. on there? Yeah, I'll sign one with that. Yeah, because uh, th this one's missing one. So oh, I, it, when I got it, it never had one. So I've only I just have I just have the one though. that will come with the one system I'm sending you. So really, yes, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. But yeah, not really. No, I don't have like an extra extra one. Oh, okay. actually, no, that's Great not true. Picture, I'm sorry, that's yeah. not true. I do have an extra extra one. I will send you an extra extra one. <laughs> extra extra. Read all about it. All right. Uh, all right. Frank. Just, uh, uh, yeah. Eric is saying. Oh, you saw it already. Was say, Eric said you could 3D print the. Uh, the rollers. The rollers. That's awesome. Yeah, Mike from Retro Tech or Die, he did a tutorial on how he did them. He did it for Retro Tech Chris also. Um, but he got O-rings. Nice. It was pretty, pretty good. <laughs> so I've got cartridges, I've got ribbon. So I just need the uh, I got rollers. Rhythm. And, now uh, you need a, a printer. You could ask for anything more. I'll have to buy I one. could ask for anything more. I've got ink. I've got. Who could ask for anything more? <laughs> My uh, actually, hey, uh, I I was Javier. looking on eBay on uh, Image Rider twos, and uh, actually, you can get some pretty good deals on them. Uh, <laughs> now, yeah, they, them. It, it's just it's just the shipping's the killer on it. What's the there? It's the way oh, eighty-seven okay. pounds. It's like shipping a small child. Yeah, Not that so, I would know how much that yep, costs. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I never ship one? a small child, but I will leave you. What's that? Did you want an image writer? Uh, uh, the image writer too. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a, like a dozen of them at the storage unit. Do you remember yeah. when I first got that Apple haul where I I got like a dozen? Yeah. From that one guy. Yeah, I got them all at storage still. So. Yeah. Except, yeah. Uh, that'd uh, be great. Frank's just, uh, storage unit actually exists. Uh, That's true. Just yeah. Let me know yeah. on the show. All you gotta do is send him a, uh, a, 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 a you know non-transferable traveler's check of some sort. Western, 
Oh. Yeah, Western Union. There you go. <laughs> send it to the Western yeah. Union office. Not send send it it Dave, I'm going to need you to send me some iTunes gift cards. I yeah. need you to send it via the Wells Fargo <laughs> wagon. <laughs> the Wells Fargo wagon is up and coming down the street. Sorry. Music man. You let me know, Garth, on the shipping on that. Okay. That's what's in my head every time I think of that. Oi, oi, oi. You guys are all using image writers. I'm going to get my style writer working. Oh yeah. Well, I you know I I like to get this this um, you know the old classic Max because I used to have. Okay, so when I got my 128k Mac originally, I had the old original image writer, and then when I got the uh, the SE30, then I got a um, image writer too. And. Uh, because I gave that other image writer to some uh, somebody else because they didn't have a printer. And then I don't know what happened to that. It's been so many years ago. But like I said, I've supposedly got... it's in my it's in my uh, uh, my son Drew says it's in his grandma's house somewhere there in the garage. So, and he, he's been looking for it. He can't he can't find it. So yeah. <coughs> with the SC thirty. <laughs> So I got from my other friend Ryan a brand new uh, the Laser Writer PS4 slash 600. So I finally unboxed it and uh, hooked it up to the Quadra 700, but I haven't had a chance to set up the um, networking yet. The uh, Global Talk. Yeah. Because I was gonna put that one on the Global Talk laser mm. printer. Did anybody here on the chat know anything about Neta Talk? What are you trying to do? Uh, use talk in combination with an old Mac to be able to print to my old Mac from a modern Windows PC. Uh, you don't have... Well, yeah, because I was going to say uh, the best one to ask is uh, Gut Palm. Because he, he did a setup for his uh, HP uh, from his machine that he can print from the any of the Apples. Yeah, but no, I'm saying, you got that backwards. He's printing to a modern HP from his Macs. I want to print yes. to an old printer from a Windows machine. Oh, um, I would imagine mm. it's got to be similar set up, no? Like it's got some sort of like driver interpreter and it can present it to the to the Windows network? Yeah. Well, cups, cups will talk to old like yeah. standard printers and it'll just be like a PS or a, a yep. you know, what's it called? Generic script. Yeah. Po Postscript Post printer. Yeah. So you can use cups to do that. Because the cups brings you back. Oh, that you can be like Have a love-hate relationship. I love to hate it. it. When it works, it works. And when it doesn't, it's terribly annoying. What, my voice? No, cups. <laughs> cups. My cup always works. It's My cup's great. Love the cups. Plural. Like athletic supporters? Yeah, exactly. Cups? Let's see your cup again, Joe. I didn't I didn't see it. This side. Because eight bits are all you need. You, there's an asterisk. Because eight bits are all you need as long as there's coffee. Ah, uh, <laughs> smart. And you can Is get that what this on JCM dash. Is that what you were going to have to have pee in the other day if you couldn't get out of that meeting? Hush. <laughs> no. Wait. Not on That's a street. trade secret. It's a trade secret. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, you can go to jcm-1.com and buy now. There you go. For all your cup needs. All right. Dave, you got some real nice mood lighting over there. You like that, huh? Yeah. It's like you're assembling yeah. a, a Mac in a club. The same actress that <laughs> played Miss Trunchbull. It's called Club Mac. There you go. Hey, uh -huh. played um, Marge Dursley. Really? Yeah. So Miss Trunchbull is Mar yeah. is the, is Ma is the same as Marge from Harry Potter. Oh, that's oh, hilarious. Cool. The more you know. The more you know. 
<clears throat> do, 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 do. Where was that? Okay, so we have to go to here. Do this. This is that's this has got to be bright red because that's low in stock. So what's all involved in getting when you get the uh, the blue scuzzy with the with the Wi-Fi, which I have a couple of them. So what's all involved getting a thing on the internet? On so the uh, step one is to um, have a like a system seven operating system is usually the best. You can do a system six, but system seven like seven one or seven three seven yeah. seven five three seven five five. Um, those are the best operating systems. Then you have to, um, there's instructions on the Blue Scuzzy docs page, but basically you have to install um, to the uh, Dana Talk or a Dana Port uh, Ethernet driver, which okay. the Blue Scuzzy emulates Dana Port. Okay. Um, and once you install that, it'll get to a point during the install and it'll have like a goofy error message that is like full of garbage and just hit okay. Once you do that reboot, um, then that driver will see the blue SCSI as a data port. Okay. Um, and then there are two additional steps you need to do after that. You can either do step one, which is get an INI file or edit the INI file on the blue SCSI and with your Wi Fi information. So every time that that, that disk is in that blue SCSI, it'll connect to the Wi Fi automatically. Uh, yeah, or you can get, and it's on the Blue Scuzzy uh, docs page, there is a cool uh, desk accessory for System 6 and System 7 um, that allows you to select your Wi-Fi network from inside Mac OS. Oh. Cool. So you just pick it, and there you go. So you can pick it every time. You have to remember every time you reboot, you have to specifically select. And then there's one final little step that involves putting a specially named file on the blue SCSI to reserve the SCSI ID that you want to use for the network adapter. And if you don't want to do any of that, you can just take the pre-made image. You can do that too. Oh, there's a pre-made image? Yeah. For example, the um, Global Talk uh, image that's floating around right now that's pre-made at System 7.1 has yeah. all of the Dana Talk stuff built in. Oh. So okay. if you boot to that with a blue SCSI with Wi-Fi on, it'll just be ready. All you have to do is do add the one the, the the one special least named network file that tells the blue scuzzy to mount or to provide wi-fi presence to the mac so the mac knows it's there and then you just set your wi-fi um username and password hmm. so you don't have to do all that install stuff hmm. does that make sense okay. i hope so because i'm not yeah. saying it again um <laughs> that's done. This is printing. Damn it to hell. Uh, universal keyboard. Yeah, uh, yeah, on all all my machines, I think I have. Uh, they're all System Seven Point One or Seven Point Two, I think. I have to look on the. Uh, I was going to do it on the. Uh, on the on, well, I was going to do it on the Mac Plus to see if they'll do it. When I get when I get that one. another one for you, Garth. Hit your button. Ah, <laughs> it's so blurry and out of focus. It's perfect. You look like uh a... Oh my God, that is just disturbing. Hold it, hold it. Be Beavis and Butthead. Got it. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is this is why there's about a hundred pictures of John. <laughs> Performance is art. He's just so <laughs> easy. It just just keeps it rolls off the okay. tongue. All right, cool. All right, thanks one bit. Yeah. yeah. You got your pet running there, uh, Ryan? Yep. Yeah. And what's the screen to the left that keeps going batshit crazy? Sorry. Just just a monitor that's got a weird test pattern that I leave on, so there's just something on in the background. Gotcha. I mean, you got to warm that room somehow, right? Exactly. It's that's set deck, right. but it all functional set deck. I am printing. Those are made. Just need to be made. This needs to be made. I need to make I this. So I need to make this. Those are the things I need to make. So, 
I'm a doobie. Great. I'm naming this file Joe again with the shirt. Because <laughs> I probably have one called Joe with shirt over his head, but you know. <laughs> You're going to have to create your, a single slideshow that's just me with doing weird crap with the shirts. So Great. 40 years ago today, you know what happened? What? What happened? The kids in the Breakfast Club had detention. Oh, yes. I saw that. You know what? That was just a movie. Yeah, it just was a shitty. movie. Emilio Estevez. It was a good movie, That was cute. During the uh, pandemic shutdown, okay. some right. friends of mine, or Thanks. people I went to high school with, started posting a bunch of pictures this one day. We all dig through our pictures, apparently, and we're, everyone's posting pictures from like high school and stuff. And I actually got some pretty cool ones I'd never seen before. And uh, <laughs> elementary school as well, but it's funny. Did, did, did you I, put I it up didn't... on YouTube as a video? Uh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I'm like, uh, so I went and found a picture of the uh, <laughs> Breakfast Club kid sitting in the library, and I'm like, here's what I found of us. <laughs> Like they saw through it. Though. They're like, wait, is that Ali Sheedy? Yeah. <laughs> what class was she in? Do you guys, do you guys remember uh, uh, reunions? Yeah. And how yeah. we used to do those before we had Facebook and other social media. We're, we're planning one right now for my uh, 20th anniversary of graduating high school. I went one. I went to one in 2011 for my 20th year. It was 20 years ago today. <laughs> Sorry. Also, just dated myself badly. Um, how long <laughs> ago did he drop out? Huh. Our class, uh, hmm. our graduating class, was so. I don't know. We hated everybody. Hated everybody else so much. I guess you would call it that. Yeah. We never. We somebody planned a fifth year red uh reunion and like there was not enough uh critical mass to get it going <laughs> and so then there was never one again oh that's too bad yeah well we all hated each other so it's fine there were there were like a hundred little uh, uh five friend friend groups and that was it basically very quick there wasn't you. like one large thing where like 50 of us would get together and hang out or anything, you know. Like, ah, shit. So. See you all things, DG. All right, have a good one, all things. All things, goodbye. All, right. all things considered. Beep, 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 beep. And boom. Please watch me while I boop. Rob got you the joy of joys. When I squeeze you, you make noise. I said, Ducky, I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> Javier, you must, you must, Facebook must know because that uh, image writer you mentioned is now showing up on my feed. Oh, is he not there anymore? He disappeared. Yeah, uh, he's yeah. He that's what I say. He he must have dropped out. I didn't hear. Didn't uh, okay. see him go. He went to go get anyway. it before you did. Yeah, free <laughs> image. Apple Image Writer LQ free local pickup only. South Miami. Yeah, yeah. What a beast Watch out for Dexter. What a beast of a printer. Yeah, that's humongous. Ugh. I need Bluejack to hold that to the flip notch. <clears throat> okay, I, this is four floppy drives in a row. I'm starting to get sick of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a whole lot of cheese, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm running out of gear. Let's hope so. Joe never says the same thing about Blue Skulls. Those uh, auto-eject, no. Garth, or manual? or These are all uh, manual, or auto-inject, yeah. yeah. Two 800K and two 1.44. No, I'm going to drop out for a little bit. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. Adios. See ya. Poopy doopy doop. Poopy doopy doopy doop. Poopy doopy poopy doop. Poop poop. I promise I'm normal. Being normal is vastly overrated.
care what you cut. Oh, that's my there. husband. Can you tell that to Graham, please? We'll put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> my best friend in elementary school had a t-shirt that was like bright safety green before that was a thing. Oh, man. Um, and it's <laughs> I'm not weird. Everybody else is. <laughs> I like it. I sing that. I've been singing that kind of as my motto ever since I saw that shirt. Nice. I don't always use flux, but when I do, flux. Use all of it. The more flux, the better. I don't usually do use it on through hole stuff because my solder's got um, rosin in it. Thank yeah. you. I'm so tired of seeing uh, videos where it's like, add flux for through holes. Um, however, if I'm doing fast drag solder, the flux oh, yeah. makes it go better. Oh, yeah. So, the flux is the force of solder. <laughs> no, I agree on the drag soldering, but, I mean, my flux has got enough solder. Or flux. My solder's got enough flux. There we go. I can speak. Uh, what the flux? You, sir, got flux in my solder. May the flux <laughs> be with you always. Oh, this is gross. There we go. That's difficult to get on there. Okay. Come on. Okay. Besides, so it appears I did lose the pieces I was sent for the uh, the uh, tech step. I have no idea where I put them. Oh no. I know. I looked. I cleaned my desk and everything. I'm like, where are they? That was your oh, first mistake. Uh, Oops. They're right over there. The first place you look. Hey, Francois. Well, I'm glad the board meeting's over. Frank boys. More than likely, it'll be right in front of me. That's usually how stuff works. I don't know why I didn't just put them on as soon as I got them. Oh, right, because I'm stupid. I mean, I'm the same guy that apparently put Ron's on backwards. <laughs> In my defense, when they were on right, it still didn't work. So who the hell knows? I think Joe's just magic. Hi, Betty. Hi, Boo Boo. Are you blaming me? Yep. Hold on, sweetheart. Joe's, no, I'm just saying they're magic. Hold on. Because I had those wrong. Get you, get you, I had the yeah, F8 on you. their right, and it still didn't work. So I don't know. You did something. I'm special. Had to be. I'm, I had I'm learning. F8 was in Joe's there. Magical. All the vertical bars. Yeah. Okay, Joe has <clears> magic. <throat> I think Joe doesn't want to tell me what he actually did. <clears throat> Joe's a wizard. I replaced the socket. I mean, it's possible Check maybe the ROMs, put the ROMs in the right places, turn the machine on, it didn't work. Then I spent a day and a half figuring out that, oh, it's a ROM zero, therefore it doesn't work on anything but an old school monitor. Then I was mad for about an hour. <laughs> oh, man. So when you say like old school monitor, like a normal CRT work or no? This, one of these things. It has to be an old school like CVBS style monitor. So you couldn't use like a, an old CRT TV? This guy up here yeah. does not work. Okay, that's actually pretty close to what I was using too. It was so, a, I used the Sony like 13 inch. Could, were you getting like vertical bars or? I was getting nothing. Because I was getting vertical bars or garbage. See, that's different. So you were getting video, which is fine. Yeah. Um, I really don't know. I wasn't like, even getting video, but that's, again, because I was using Yeah, because uh, I was talking to uh, John uh, Alder, I think it is, and he was I, he, I, he's like, just put F8 in, or I found that you could just run only with F8, and it still didn't work. It just did nothing. I got vertical garbage and it never showed anything. So the fact that you did is very, uh, very weird. That's really where I'm just kind of lucky. That's all Sometimes you Sometimes I just look at stuff and it just works. So I'm like, all right. Joe's yeah. a wizard. 
Look, all I cared about is that the guy's stuff got taken care of. I don't care who did it. It's not done yet. I still got to do some RAM testing because it, it just randomly crashes on, on power-up. Yeah, I told you, two of the RAMs are bad, and I stupidly didn't mark them. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's fine. I just forget things. Is there a diagram for those or no? Nope. You got to pull each chip, right, test the chip. And when you test the chip is bad, you replace the chips. Once you get the machine the machine to a point where it's like it, it's somewhat bootable, then you can uh, run the Apple II Diagnostic or the Mac um, Computer Inspector, one of those things to do a random test. I can tell you one of them is one of, is a ceramic. One is ceramic, uh, the metal, and then the yeah, other one, I don't, I think the other one is, uh, if, I, if I could look at the photos and tell, that way at least don't test all, that test all of it again. Because one bank was good. What the hell just happened? What was that? I asked that question all the time. Didn't use enough flux. That's always the issue. Oh, actually, Joe, got a question. Um, flux is like the astro glide of soldering. Anyway, what? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is there a difference Sorry, between Dave. different shipping methods with JLC? Like, there, or should I just go with whatever is the cheapest? Um, <laughs> DHL is always your best option. Okay. I usually use the two to five day shipping because it usually gets here in the same amount of time as the two to four day shipping and costs 10 to 30% less. Okay. And is there any, any other, all, all the other ones cost more expensive with the exception of the global shipping as they call it, yeah. which means they put it on a, they put it on a pallet with a whole bunch of other stuff and it gets loaded into a, sorry, container. Right Laid it in a container, and it arrives when it arrives. Uh, like eight, eight to forty-five to days. Like, it's like all right. <laughs> do I have to worry about like import fees or anything like that? Um, good question. As long as you keep your order under about four hundred dollars, it'll usually just sail through. Uh, is that before or after shipping? Before. Shipping. Oh, okay, then I'm good. Because I have about. I think three hundred dollars worth of. So I have yeah, a few other. Sure. Another thing too is to make sure you classify it correctly. If you don't classify it, JLC may classify it for you. They may classify it wrong, and then you might get dinged with fees because they think you're importing like military processors or something like that. So uh, I'm classifying it as SSD. Uh, you might not want to do that because it doesn't actually have any storage on it. Okay, uh, what do you usually use? I use Office Supplies Other, and then I give it the code 847180. Since I started doing that, I haven't been charged any import duty. All right, I'm going to write that down. Eight, four, They're just paper clips, big paper yeah. clips. 847180. You do have to classify it somewhat close to what it is because, believe it or not, every single box, everything that comes into the United States is x-rayed. Yep. All of it. And by X-ray, I mean they use a gamma ray, so they can see through metal. So, yep. yep. If it like if you classify it as a peripheral board, and to, it looks like through the scan to them as a peripheral board, they'll just kick it through. That was eight four seven eight one zero. Eight four seven one eight zero. Oh, eight six seven five three zero nine. Yeah, don't use that one. Okay, eight, so I, like, seven, I have it, five. I have, like. I have it written up here so I don't forget it. So that's automatic <laughs> data processing units. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. I appreciate it. Accessory for automatic blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The bulge to the left. That's okay. I'll go because I was talking. I, I asked and Eric was like, "Yeah, I use uh, I use SSD." I mean, if you want, to, uh, do whatever you want. I'm not telling you what to do. Just, I'd rather go uh, go I'm with you what you've had experience with. I don't, I don't know uh, anything. I, mean, I order them in batches of 120 at a time, and I never have to pay any sort of import duty. So I'm going to make the assumption I'm doing it. Oh, it's 
because I'm in the par. It's a lightweight. It's funny, I also need to know that for shipping things out to international partners. International. I also need to know the code for 3D printed items because when I send like a color classic uh, mystic backplate to like Japan, they're like, we need to know the code. And I'm like, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I actually hate that when I have to ship to Canada. I have no idea what to put. Um, ze all zeros. Other. Meat. Meat, yeah. I'm kidding. Don't Summer do sausage. Summer I don't sausage. ever actually <laughs> put a uh, declaration code. I, I, I've never had any issues. I just Very put, cheesy I just, there, like, Garth. I just put like old, unrepaired hardware or something like that. Yeah, like it's a good one. If it comes through and it's obvious yeah. that it's if it's repaired, I mean, nope. there's there's a different code for for a product that you like is a warranty repair or something because you're not selling the product. The value is in the labor you provided, so the product itself doesn't actually have a tariff value, right? It's something that came from their country to come back to yep. their country. So. Yeah, no matter what, custom sucks. I like to deal with. Yeah. And it, to some extent, it has to suck because yeah, sure. there's a there's a fine line between having things have shipping efficiency and having things be classified correctly every time. So, yay! JLC doesn't let you update uh, what an item is. You have to redo the whole order. Yeah, their process is not. Yeah, you can only they have update, lots of little glitches in their process. I'll you can that. update the PCB, but you cannot update the assembly step. You'd have to, yeah, you have to kill it out and start all over. Yeah, I'll do that later tonight. Uh, My yeah. favorite thing is I can is when I forget to log in and I get through the entire process of uh, <laughs> I get all the way to assembly, and then then it throws a whole bunch of effing errors because oh, you're not logged in. And then if you don't, re it doesn't look like you need to restart the process. But if you don't, the order like gets all jacked up and doesn't work right. Yeah. I do that. I do that on jcm-1.com. I add stuff to my cart without being signed in. And then I go to check out and it's like, oh, start over. That is on purpose, though. <clears throat> and by purpose, Joe just I hates mean, you. it's WooCommerce. That's right. So I have control of it, so. Joe just hates you, yeah. I, I'm an I'm an evil hater. That's what it is. Speaking of JCM-1.com, guess what just came in today? I need What's to order more gears. Parts for me to build more Clipper pluses. Oh yay! Now so I can I order can... one before uh, Frank buys them all. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ship that out. That was a clerical error. <laughs> nah, I guess, Joe, I'm on your was, mailing uh, list when you get those back in stock. So. Yeah. Because when I, when I get this other plus going, uh, I'm going to do the clipper mod instead of the other one that I did. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, already time to come back on off. camera. I think I'm going to head out for the day. and uh, Don't leave us. Uh, I, I don't want to. But Hi, uh, Trina. Oh, she's awake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm just eating lunch. I'm going to turn off my camera. For, okay. Uh, right. I just I got done just got done doing that myself. I had some chili cheese tater tots. Yes. I am having I'm having potato salad and salami. Yeah. Sounds good. Oh. All right, Thomas. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks, today. Thomas. See you, Thomas. Bye. And, and if you have time, stop back in later today. If you don't have time, make don't time. encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you might put ROMs on your board backwards this fight. Oh, no, stop. The crap happens. It's fine. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to let myself live that one down. That's anymore. fine. Well, you considering that you're, you're you're picking on yourself, then, then that's that's fine. That's that's legal. Well, I literally have photos of them in there, right? So I'm. Oh, just... I saw him too. He's right. He has. There. He. It's the Gremlins. They're in there correctly. 
What it was UPS. Like, did he go to Las Vegas and have a party on his? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Those can be doctored. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, no, no. What happened was he sent the wrong board. That's what it is. No, I think <laughs> we only have he goes into Chat GPT and he's like, "This is a or uh, Dolly." He's like, "This is a photo of a Mac of an Apple II board. Make the ROMs match the sockets." Enter. <laughs> Once they were in there, like that was like I said, late in the process where I was pretty much done. But even before that, I had the uh, the monitor ROM and it just never booted. So I just don't know. <clears throat> Yeah. Maybe it maybe just didn't like me. It, it really could have just been that. But I <laughs> could, have been, could have been the monitor too. If you're using a monitor, didn't like because apparently it doesn't like certain ones. Yep. Well, that wasn't his problem. He was he had stuff on the screen. Wow. Oh. It's just that it was like being dumb. You like I'd hit reset. It would change a bit. I never got a monitor prompt. You know, especially if you're saying you got it with the RAM the way it was. That's even weirder. So, ah. all right. Well, uh, hey, at least it got fixed. And uh, I'll let the guy know. Uh, Got to get you his information. Um, I'll have him. Uh, by the way, do you have an idea of, like, what that's going to cost for time-wise? Oh, I'm not, well, I'm not quite done yet. That's going to be, like, somewhere between 80 and 120. All right. I'll let him know. I'll give him What's a his name, mark. Richard? No. I think you asked that before. It's uh, uh, Blake, I think. Okay. Because I'm working, this guy. Are you sure? Yeah. Yep, it's a uh, Blake something or other. I have Blake a, Stone. I have a message from Richard, asking me if Thomas sent the package to me. It's. Possible. Hold on. Let's see. Um, it's possible that somebody. That's the only thing that I have in my records that <clears throat> you sending something to me from somebody. So. Uh, Hi everybody. Yeah. We're conducting business live on the internet. Yeah right. <laughs> okay. Just just don't start sitting. Sit, you know. Just exchanging What's the guy's social security credit card numbers and stuff. E-commerce. <laughs> Hold on. Let me ask him. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Blake K. Not gonna give his actual last name, but uh, Blake Klingon. Just Klingons off the starboard bow. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Honestly, that's interesting. Uh, that could be maybe what he goes by on Ultron. But I'll let him know either way that you've gotten it and it's being sorted out. Oh, shiza. Yeah, I hope I don't have, like, people mixed up here. That would suck. Yeah, remember, it's the one with the black power supply. What? It said it's the one with the black power supply. Yep, that's this one. And it's got the Datanetics keyboard. Yep, and it should have had a little bag with, like, the, uh, I think, the capital, the lowercase mod. Uh, I didn't see that in there, but okay. Yeah, there should be like a little. Uh, a little and that's what he. The, yeah, and that's what he. This this other guy was asking me about. He sent me pictures of it. It's got like a missing pin or a broken pin on it. I don't think so. It, okay, that, yeah, that's a very weird. Uh, I'll, I might call him and just follow up. <laughs> All right. But uh, I'll I'll, t I'll message you. All right, I'm out. Thanks, Thomas. All right, oh, bye, Thomas. I know why. All right. His, he changed it. I just realized it just as Thomas left. He changed his name to be uh, to be Rick of Rick and Morty. What? His profile oh. pic picture is, is Rick, and the name is Richard Daniel Sanchez. Yep, there you go. So that's why. All right. Rick yeah. Sanchez. We got <coughs> Morty, Morty, we got a problem, Morty. Never seen that show. <laughs> Our show's oh, jumped the gun. It's, it's jumped the shark, Morty. Right, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. Then oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> God's <laughs> going on? <laughs> I had definitely never seen the show because I have no idea what that reference is and stuff. What's going on there? I thought it was funny. Oh, nope. Ooh, nice greasy pepperoni pizza. 
Where? 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 On the on the webs. Oh, somebody posted on the Twitters. Pieces. Yeah, somebody posted on the Twitters. I just got done with the old, uh, you know, good old fashioned chili chili cheese tater tots with some ranch dressing on top. It's not the crusty crab pizza, is it? No, it's just it's New York pizza actually. And PSA fifty six. So it's right, a little bit the little pepperonis and very uh, very um, greasy looking. Chunky. All right, I'm going to be right back. Oh, no. Are you even really here, though? No. Yeah. <laughs> Came in, waited, yeah. off off camera. Okay. All right, she just ate. She's going nappy now. Yeah, she's back. Guess who's back? Back again. Trina's back. Tell a friend. <laughs> Trina's back. Warn a friend. Warn a friend. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, now I'm back as a moderator. So, oh great, oh great. Everybody PC. behave. Look how her voice. I have, I have said nothing. Changes. Hi, Kitty. <laughs> yeah, I. You know what? <laughs> F and U. That's all I get to say. Yeah, right. I have to bat. <laughs> <laughs> Trina is here. Let the swearing begin. <laughs> oh, I got a message off Gutbomb because he's busy working on Frank's website. And I said I would. He can't do him. both. Well, he, when he gets focused on your website, he's in the zone. He just he doesn't want it. distractions. Um, All I do is kill things. How difficult can it be? <laughs> do <you> kill things. That's <laughs> 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 too funny. <laughs> I, I mean, I maybe, I would, I, maybe I, you want to kill only the certain things. <laughs> but I said I would message him before I showed off what I picked up. Fifty-six. You will have oh. to wait then, I guess. No, Bella, you do not get <laughs> my leftover chili tots. It's not good for kitties. Ah, I know. At least I would assume it's not good for cats. No, kitty. That cheese appears. Oh, it's got onions in it. It's not. No onions, um, but it has a uh, you know ranch on it. So I don't, I don't ranch and beans. I don't know. I don't still give my cats. You want to know unless, the people food unless it's like turkey or something. You want to know the weirdest fact about my house? Yes. Okay. So. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Is it how it's electrical everywhere? <laughs> That's not no, the weirdest. This, fact. <laughs> no, I've got another weird fact. This is weird okay. fact number two. So, in my basement, I have a floor drain. This floor drain. Does it connects to the sewage, right? Uh oh. I have to keep the floor drain filled, and that's fine. Or you get a smell. Yeah. yeah. But Ugh. I keep it filled so it's not an issue. Now, oh, with the guy. exception of specific days of the week. Now, Graham and I very frequently I eat black bean burritos <laughs> two days every oh, God. week. <laughs> now, mm, no. That seems so, gastronomically redundant. Yeah, it, it's a thing. Just, just, just listen. This is I have science behind this story. It's fascinating. Oh God! It's gonna be bad. <laughs> so, when we make oh, black bean burritos for the first time a week, but only the first time, only in the first time, the basement down here, after dinner, before anybody's, I'll just say before anybody has used any other facilities, ends up <laughs> smelling like farts. <laughs> and we couldn't figure it out. And I came to this, this conclusion. When I make the black bean burritos, I rinse the beans under the water and get all the bean oh, juice. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The bean juice gets into the pi pipes and be because the pipes have at <laughs> periods of times some of the same contents a human gut would have in it. Sure. Those contents That's convert funny. the bean juice into farts. Literal <laughs> human farts. And it comes out of the drain. That's so awesome. on Tuesdays. My basement so smells like Joe. Taco Tuesday. So, <laughs> that's Taco my disgusting day. little story. I'm sorry if you now have no sponsors, Dave. That is funny. <laughs> it's all I don't know, Dave. Must be Tuesday. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is Joe House on a Tuesday. Oh, yes. It's definitely Tuesday. <laughs> okay, so that. let me. Beautiful. All I can see is Joe and Graham selling their house in the future, and the realtor comes over and he's like, "Don't come on Tuesday for showings." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Pretty no nice. Tuesday showings. 
Yeah, Francois says, I think Joe's gone too far. Too far. <laughs> oh, no. I think we've That's... gone too not far enough. Been That's there, just... done that. We've, we've gone beyond plaid. <laughs> All right. So, anybody want to see what I picked up? Yes. Nah. Right. <laughs> uh, Wait, gut bombs in chat. So I don't, is he gonna? Oh uh, yeah, no, no, no. Because he's he said I'm not gonna join the stream, but I'll watch. So I picked up this. Oh. A okay, a box. box. A yep. box. Great. Is that for your cat? Yeah. Hey, Bella. Boxes All right. The best. Let's start taking them. All right. I'm gonna make myself big because haha, I'm a moderator. Power. Quick. Somebody make her small. <laughs> Somebody quick, da quick, uh, uh, kick Dave out. Daily's Garage. Love it. All right. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah. I heard that. All right. So these are all <laughs> Super Famicom games from Japan. Oh. Nice. So we have Space Invaders. Uh, you should send all those to Retro Techie. He's asked for game, them, I'm sure. <laughs> I can't quite read what it says. That. Namco racing Nam of something thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, some kind of racing game. Oh, and these are all, by the way, these are all RPGs and action games. No sports games. Except for the racing. Nice. Mm. Uh, we also have... Hold on, i got to put my finger over this. That's a JRPG. Um, <laughs> Dragon Quest <laughs> 7. That's 6, but all right. Or 6, yeah, 6, 7. Trina can't know. read. I don't she know can't math. Read. Um... We have not only one copy of Dragon Quest V, because that's what Beast ah, for. Ah, we ah. have two copies of Dragon Quest that, that, That's actually a four. Not the Toriyama on the front. No, it's me. Yeah, I know, I'm teasing you. Oh. And we have another copy of Dragon Quest, either six or seven, because, you know, depends on who you uh, Oh, and another copy of Dragon Quest V. Must be popular. Well, clearly. Cool. They must be like combat for the 2600. Romancing. <laughs> um, we have Romancing Saga. 3. Is it Saga? Okay. Saga 3. Uh, oh, yes. We have the original Romancing Saga. Because there's nice. no number. Um. We have this four. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play it? No, not <laughs> they are, right? Oh, yes. We have Earthlight. Heat. Earthlight. Do you have Earth Dark too? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, there's a Game Boy. Oh, cool. A little adapter. Super Game Boy adapter. Cool. Play your Game Boy game on your Super Nintendo. That was my nickname. Game Boy? Super Game Boy. Oh, and hey, it's a me, Mario. Mario Paint. Dude, Mario Paint is great. All right, what else do we have? Where'd you get this stuff at, Trina? I uh, missed it. Facebook Marketplace. Oh, okay. Oh, awesome. Uh, RPG, I think it's Maker. The first episode of Dr. Cat's Professional Therapist was animated on Mario Paint. Was it really? Yes. Oh, we have another romancing saga. Saga. You're about a cat that's about to fall in the back of your chair. Kitty's going to freak out. Spazzy. Kitty's Kitty's spazzy. Spazzy. I think it is. Gonna oh, my gosh. If he's going to give her some Be wild. things. <laughs> oh, super dog fight. Oh. That's why she's going crazy. It was a dog. That's why she crazy. Yeah, she knew the word dog was coming up. Um, a oh, really I, some kind of super Mario Kart, but like really bad on that one. Might and Magic Two. No, no, no. I've heard of that. Indeed, indeed, And then we have Super. Super cats. Let me see. Dun, dun, dun. Sim City 2000. This I knew I was getting. Oh, I don't know nice. what the games I'm getting. So that's a good one. I only saw like literally a handful of them. Um, number two. 
Who does number two work for? The toilet. Joe. Uh, another Mario paint. Another romancing saga. Nice. Uh, and we have still have <laughs> 40 more to go. Uh, another this? Super Dante? Oh, that looks cool. R it's oh, RP shit. RPG Super Dante. I don't know what that is. Right. Uh, Japanese culture is very different. We have this. That's all I can say. I don't know the title. Uh, <laughs> we have Dragon Quest V. I guess. That's pretty cool. Romancing Saga 3. <laughs> Again. I have Wonder Project. Wow. I love these names. They're awesome. Another Dragon Quest V. I'm not going to show it. Might and Magic 2. Magic Mike 2. No. Uh, Might, Might and Magic. Magic Mike. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> well, we know where we know where Frodo's mind is. Um, uh, yes, thing. breathing solder fumes. <laughs> you see that kitty? Hold on, what are you Oh, what are you Oh, oh, uh oh, 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 oh. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's terrible. Kitty strikes what a mess. again. <laughs> Night magic two again. Romancing saga again. Space invaders uh. again. Um, some kind of big run. Big run. That's what happens when you have Taco Bell. You have the big run. Uh, great strategy. Okay. Oh, combat. <laughs> That's your favorite really. game. <laughs> um, this. I don't know what this is. Your guess is as good as mine. It's a game. And by the way, thanks, Opie, for knocking off. And there's no, oh no, okay. Good. Okay. Um, this is special two. Special two. I did a special two. This <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Three by three by three eyes. Two by two hands of blue. Yeah, not quite. These are three by. I only have four more to go. Uh, Romancing Saga three. And you're giving all these to Retro Techie? Is that what you said? Uh, no. Another <laughs> Earthlight. I'm another one Romancing Garth. Saga and another Wonder Project. So. Uh, there we go. Forty-four games all total. Uh, and uh, awesome. Gut Palm says most of the games are actually right around the seven and ten dollar mark. Dragon um, Quest V sells on eBay for eight to ten. And so, how, uh, did you get these for free, Trina, or did they? No, I, I paid money for them. She paid lots of money for them. I did not lots of money. How much money? Oh, uh, that's between me and my account. Thank you. The fact that she's already said it once. Sorry, Trina. I won't tell anyone. But write it down. <laughs> Put it in the chat. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's guess. Somewhere between one and one hundred, right? Yeah. Actually, uh, more. Sure. Okay. It's, it's tax deductible. Yeah, right. So now I get a cost of selfie. cost of goods sold. Now the now the goal is. Now, do you have any way of testing these to make sure they actually work? No, are there any else games? Though they usually just work. It's not That's like true. it's not like Blow floppy games it. where you're like, will the floppy actually work? Just blow on it. Yeah, exactly. Just oh, give it What's hey, up? Hey, Javier. Hey, Trina. You finally woke up. Did you, Javier? Right. I was, I was about to pull a Says the lady who just woke up. I didn't just wake up. I just got back from being... Uh, up Trina, I, I, Trina, you missed I, it. He made a great Geritol joke about you. Oh, no, wait. That was Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you throw someone under the bus. Gosh. <laughs> Not me. That would be Dave. <laughs> Excuse That's me. Awesome. 
Although between Dave and I, I just I, I just made the comment that I think you might need some Geritol because you're tired a lot. So you know. Yeah. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> Oh I don't need Geritol. Why do I need Geritol? Because you're always tired. You're 67, <laughs> right? Well, I mean, you, you're at home all the time. You must be retired. That's right. Sleepy. That's what Sleepy. we all think, but we don't want to say it loud. Wow. Oh, wait. I just did it. I'm sorry. Sleepy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We love, love you, Trina. You, you know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bada boom, bada bing. Yeah. Forget hey, about it. it. You're gonna be asleep in with the kids. Oh shit. You going back to sleep, Trina? No, I'm not going back to sleep. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Yes, we, we, we had your cameo on earlier. Uh in, my cameo in natural state. Yeah, okay. It was yeah. awesome. Somebody put a picture of you up there up on uh oh. on their oh. thing and you're sleeping. Oh. It's, it's, it... <laughs> but excuse me, I was in the chat. Most of the morning until I left to get these games. So, right. yeah. Well, we banned you from the chat. That's why we, we know it was a bot. Oh, banned you from the chat. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. I think it's time to do some banning of people on the screen. Uh oh. Uh, Hammer's coming happens. down. Give her power, Dave. Gets all quiet. I mean, yeah, right? Everybody's like, I have an immunity oh. idol. I have an immunity idol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm touching my nose. Not me. Not it. Not it. I got my immunity idol right here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I got an immunity <sighs> idol for you, all right? Oh, <laughs> oh, boy. Can't show that on television. Now, now Trina, when, when I see you at VCF Midwest, okay. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll bring business. some vitamins for you, okay? If, just if, keep you, if you just to keep you well. going for the event. There is no if. Well, it, so I heard back about work this year. Do or do not. There is no choice. What? I heard about work. Uh, oh yeah. Oh that that oh that thing that you took over. Gotcha. That thing. Well, I have yeah. no no. I didn't take over. I. I just... Oops. Anyway, it's taking place the weekend next. It looks like. Oh, the well, <laughs> go or not to BCF? Well, so here's here's and here's my rationale. Yeah, she's preparing us, guys. Here's my rationale for not going. If I want to pay a dollar for something, I go to work. Why? Because my dollar is worth a dollar. Whereas then, if I want to pay a dollar American, I got to give you what, like eight Canadian? So in other words, what she's saying, she'd rather you know spend money and get stuff and then see all the people you meet all those people. You can't help that your gotcha. prime minister screwed up your economy. Sell more milk. Well, she's telling Turkey. us that she values our friendship in dollars. Yes, yes. And I since do. you can't, and she can't, and since you can't spend those dollars, you know, and get the actual value of quote unquote dollars, friendship is nothing. She'd rather spend yeah. the money. And so get our friendship sure. is valued. <laughs> so Canadian. friendship so is Trina. magic. So, so is your work magic. So, so is your work the she week of the event? Uh, it's, the, it's the week after. And the she week tells after. One dollar make you holler. So she can only go to one based off of her <laughs> other work, aka job job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but she must she just make the and, right and, choice. And financially, what makes more sense for me to go to? Uh, of course, VCF, absolutely. The Canadian one that we're no, trying to get off no, the ground? No, 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 not the Canadian one, the American oh, better, one. Because Trina, American Trina, you better one, look you at steal what, all your friends. Trina, you better look what Gut Bomb just put on the, in the chat. All right, well, I'll take this while, though, because the items that cost a dollar in Canada are 67 cents here. Oh, oh. yeah. Jai ho. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on, hold on. I she's only starting with Canadian money. I got a rebuttal on that. Uh, CAD uh -oh. to USD. <laughs> I, oh no, sorry, it should be USD to CAD. USD. Oh. Okay, so one dollar American cost me cost me a dollar thirty six. So no, yeah. So the conversion ratio is spending more money to actually buy the stuff. Right. But there's one thing that you're not factoring into this this value is the fact that you get to see your friends, and that is does that you can't put a price on well, that. Well. She doesn't value our friendship. That's what she's trying to say. Oh, she values your friendship, but just less than actual stuff. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Friendship, unfortunately, is less than the cost. Our friendship is devaluated. 
<laughs> it, it would be it would be fiscally irresponsible of her to value our friendships. You don't have to buy oh, anything you. while you're here, Trina. Oh, you can just come right. and hang out with us. Oh, well, okay, you know, I Trina. All no. right. So okay. I'm on the short list of VCF Midwest, okay? Because I talked to the people <sighs> that are, that are going to be creating another block, okay? But they're going to go oh. really quick. So if I don't get that one, put me on standby, and if you don't go, I'll 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 take your room off your hands, so you okay. won't get stuck with okay. it. Okay. All right. It's I All have right. it Friday to Monday. Okay. Also, there's a Costco close by, and we can buy you a daily one <coughs> hot dog. <laughs> comes with a drink. Oh, yeah, comes here. That's so kind. Listen, <laughs> I'm here. Comes I'm with here. A, I am only, so nice, isn't it? There's only Jeez. one hot dog nice I want, guy. and it's not oh, from No. Oh, <laughs> that, I say one, one dollar fifty one. Okay, Trina's. I don't here. care about the other ones. She's talking about hot dogs again. Glizzy, glizzy guys. Not what else. <laughs> That's right, gut bomb. There you go. <laughs> I like I like what gut bomb said. Now Gabe has a vested interest in convincing Trina not to go. Lol. <laughs> oh, nice work, Lordy. Dave. So, I'm guessing. That's what Dave, it's a win-win for you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't get yelled at by me in person, and, and he has a room. Gets a room. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lottie, get Lottie. a room. Yeah. Catch it, catch She's it. reliable here. Good, they caught it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh goodness, these streams, I'll tell you what. They definitely I mean, get interesting. They're just the streams, when I come in, turn just exactly like me, sweet and innocent. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, tell that to YouTube when they take away the monet monetization. <laughs> She's never done what everybody's afraid of Trina because they lose monetization. I, I, I must say, Trina, uh, I was shocked last weekend I didn't get flagged on the stream. So there you go. Oh, that's why because Trina wasn't go. here, right? <laughs> no, I was here. I was kidding. Yeah, she was here. I was here. And I was I, I was I in was my not. usual form and I still was still didn't get David. <laughs> You which mean you need to try harder is what you're saying. Which means, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's bring it on. And, shall uh, we? Bring it in other words, you guys. You and, make, and the you reason why I was gone a little bit is uh, my mother-in-law. She turned 91 years old today, so I was oh, talking nice. to her a little bit ago. So yeah, nice. Happy birthday to your congratulations, yeah, your mother-in-law. Yeah, I tell you what, for for 91, she some 21-year-olds would have a hard time keeping up with her. I mean, she's very active for as old as she is. Well, you're saying that she drinks yeah. them under the table? Yeah, she prints her size. <laughs> oh, I'd be no, right she's... back because yeah. Jason just yeah. reminded me of something I got. I picked up while I was getting the game. Must be beer. It is a beer, actually. I'll be right back. Geritol. Yeah. Thanks, Geritol. <laughs> that's going to be said a lot on the stream. I can tell. <laughs> Uh, and you're supposed oh to take gosh. two tables. Now, who was it that said that again? Trina. It's hilarious. Dave. Dave. Oh, that's right. it's Dave. <laughs> I, I said <laughs> Yep. Dave started this whole thing. I, I should find a, a really old bottle of it somewhere and, oh my <laughs> and send it to her. Not the new one. <laughs> you send her a full uh, one. Uh, Goodness. All right, some test floppies now. Frank, uh, yeah. Gut Bomb wants to know how's the retro te uh, chip tester coming along? Ugh, hang on. Nice. I've oh, gotten nice. quite a bit of it put together yeah. here. Oh, gosh, that's a lot There's of, a lot of stuff to put on it. <laughs> yeah, wow. holy crap. Wow. That'll, that'll good take thing you had that street. little, mm. good thing you had those little uh, component benders. That's great. Yeah, no kidding. I'm glad I yes, Gut Bomb, I agree with that that as well. He says uh, if Trina drinks a beer at 2.30, she's going to bed at 3.30. Yeah. If she makes it that long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on, hang on. Judge Judy's on at 4, so she's got a, she's got a nap before that. <laughs> Isn't that well, there's no cool? retro roundup that tonight. Age watch? So. <laughs> Oh, yeah, tonight's Retro Roundup. No, it's not. No, not tonight. Oh, no? No, 
Yeah. It was last, last week. Last week. Javier. You were there, Javier. Okay, uh, can I have another Jerry Joe, please? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he needs. I, he oh, needs. I need to remember, Bill. Yeah. Trina, Trina took him off. <laughs> Look how dumb. What did I do now? Jesus Christ! I go away for five seconds and I come back. <laughs> Trina's gonna oh, do that. Oh, Javier's Jerry Joe. Oh. Yeah, you took my Jared all night. You, you see what Gutbomb said in the chat there, uh, Jim? I'm dazed and confused uh, now. I'm deleting some emails. Uh, it's on screen now. <laughs> Trina drinks a beer at 2.30. She's going to be in bed by 3.30. Ha, ha, ha. No. Here, by the way. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of burr is that? It is a Molson Canadian. Oh, I've had that. It looked like a Budweiser to me for a second. I'm like, what the hell is that? How do you say it? The Molson. Mm -hmm. Molson Canadian baby. <sighs> Canadian bacon. Mm. Beer Canadian that tastes is... like water for when you don't want to get drunk. <laughs> what, oh, I think I think I'm drunk now. You were born drunk. <laughs> you sound like old people because they're she, like, about nothing. She yeah. <laughs> oh, come join us, Loops. Sloopy must be Sloopy. Sloopy is used to this though because he has a show called the World of I don't know Ancient Computers that nobody cares about. No, <laughs> nobody every cares. Saturday at two o'clock. Wow. Coco Nation. Oh. It's Coco Nation. Coco Nation. Coco Nation. Coco there Nation. you go. Ancient Computers. No one cares about. Um. <laughs> Damn. Now this would be better. Come oh, in. Oh my. <laughs> Well, I'm paraphrasing wow, Trina. shots By fired. The way, shots fired. My latest video on, on the Big 20, it, it uh, a lot of people commented on it. That was good. The Big That's 20? Awesome. What kind of pen is that? Big, big 20. Big. Sorry. I'm not making fun of you, Javier. I just find it, uh, it's, it's one of those things about Spanish where the V and the B are pronounced so almost identical. He is never, ever, ever has made fun of me. And, no, and, and uh, Javier, did you watch uh, Rudy's uh, video lately? His new one? Well, actually, I, I I did a search, and the first one that came out was Rudy's. So I was very very happy about it. Why? But did... But, but did you did you watch his video? No, by chance. Because he talks talk about the Vic Twenty, about the parts you can use on the Commodore Pet or on the Commodore Pet. There's a lot of common chips yeah. and stuff for yeah. repair. And he said basically the. I'll be back. He basically said the Vic 20s are a dime a dozen. You can, you can get those because they're not that valuable. But yeah, it looks like a any... Sloopy Sun. <laughs> hey, Sloopy. How you doing? Greetings. Hey, Sloopy. And Nickelodeon in the uh, background. Well, Nick, 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 at least Nick, Nick. Uh, the Coco Nation is a good, solid show. Better than that uh, about old computers. It's better than that show about that old broad. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I want three of them. Damn. Take a pick. Exactly. Oh, and I'm sorry. I, I, you know, having a woman on your show would interrupt the whole sausage fest. But we have a woman on our show. If you'd watch it, you'd you'd know. I'll have to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good comeback. And she caves. <laughs> and not and not only Talk that. He's a Canadian woman. Yeah, not not only a woman, a Canadian. Mm. Woman. A Canadian. What he's trying to say, Trina, is you're invited. Yeah, I think that's what he's trying no, to say. No, I never you said should. that. I mean, let's not get too far of our head of ourselves. <laughs> I mean, we have we have standards. <laughs> besides that, besides that, she tried to take over. Yeah, be careful. She'll take over. She doesn't I even. Know, she she claims that she doesn't even like this stuff, but she'll still try to take over. Yeah, yeah of course. I'm dumb. Look at how dumb. How dumb. I am. Over. I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Look how long it took her to get a sixty-eight thousand Mac. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Is that and is it still sitting in the corner somewhere, not being used? Yeah, it is still sitting in the corner, not being used. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody puts Mac in the corner. Oh, I'm going to rearrange that bench yeah. so I can actually use it. And yes, this is my son. Hi, son. This is my oh, I thought, that, I thought that was Missy in the corner. Hi, son. Wow, she grew a beard. Well, no. When I when I initially looked, <laughs> all I saw was the arm, so I thought it was Missy. 
you are going to mistake someone who's two foot taller than her. Okay, all I, as I said, all I could see was an arm. You know what? I can't tell by an arm. You should be able to. That arm's a heck of a lot bigger than Missy's arm. Yeah. Good lord, that that arm's as big as her body. <laughs> Yes, I'm building. I'm not sure who is insulting with that statement. I'm. Uh, nah, he's cool. Well, considering oh. he's six foot five and she's four foot ten, I don't think there's really an insult there. I don't want to upgrade your son of a bitch. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's do it. Upgrade. I Whatever it is. Oh, well, they want me to go from Windows 10 to Windows 11. No. Oh. I think I you should go from that. Windows 10 to Linux Mint. I did. <laughs> mm, totally agree with all that. How are you doing today, oh. Dad? If only I didn't have weird programs that require Windows to run. It isn't. The disk isn't. The floppy drive isn't fixed until it shoots the disk across your room and then gets stuck in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so, hold on. Let me find the gunpowder. That, now that would be actually cool if you could give it that much much power. <laughs> Kill squawkers with it. This right, would mounted the disc once, read it, and then on a jack got thing. stuck. So now it's kind of in a funny. Trina. Uh -oh. Turn your camera back on. You're less likely to just fall asleep with the camera on. No, don't turn it on because then we have to look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Turn your camera back on. <laughs> Are you saying I'm your number of one friend? Actually, hold on. Um, Sloopy. <laughs> oh, you want to get? A... <laughs> That's all I'm going to say to you. <laughs> you get Night, the partial, nice, partial nice bird. Which, which just begs the question. Hey, Trina. Sensor is gone. You want to screw? Yep. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <That's> all right. <laughs> Can't take one. Oh, gosh. She's just biting her tongue. It's a nice big long one, too. Sensor so is my tongue. Nope. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, children. All right. <laughs> Dave's like, I want my money. Shut up. <laughs> all I said was my tongue was long. I just I just said I asked her if she wanted a uh, fastener. Yeah. Well, Trina missed a lot of good uh, uh, stuff on uh, Mike's mess yesterday on his live stream. Oh, yeah. Come back. And, and your name was bandied about a little bit there on Mike's mess stream, uh, Trina, yesterday. Oh, so. was it? Oh, I'll have to rewatch it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I fell asleep and kind of slept through it. You fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told Mike, and he laughed. That's the right floppy. Oh my god! This is like unheard of. Ooh. Hey Garth. Yeah. What is that? This say? is my son. This is my son's phone. Oh, I see sauce on there. I'm so sorry. Oh, look I'm at sorry that. for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, que legitimate Curse. question for everybody. Um, so I have an iPhone 11. Yeah. For some reason, the camera on the back, which, as you can see, Sorry. nothing's blocking it, but it doesn't work. What? So, uh, yeah, it opens up black. Okay, so um, that's one of that's one of two things. That's either um, the first thing they're going to tell you to do if you call up Apple and ask them to, you know, if that's an issue, is they want you to want make sure your phone's completely up to date. If it is, reinstall the software, wipe it, reinstall. Uh, the, no. the, void, the void that find out that if it's a um, software or hardware issue. Next thing they're going to tell you to do, if that doesn't work, is to send it in for repair. And if no. it's not under warranty, you're going to be paying lots of money. Right? Yeah, no. So. Uh, I'm going to say say that um, it is likely a hardware problem. To either the mm -hmm. cable or came loose or something, which is unlikely. The bottom. Uh, or the, the unit just failed. Yeah. A lot of times, though, believe it or not, it's, it's really weird, but a lot of times it is actually software. They do a full installation, reinstall of iOS. Yeah, on I had a problem with with my iPhone ones that re weeks. reinstalling worked. Yep. Uh -oh. it's a, just, you know, back up your 
important data to the cloud or whatever and yeah whatever i'm not gonna bother i'll just eventually yeah. get a phone can you, can, can, you mean, tell which, can you tell which one of us is a hardware guy <laughs> Can you tell which one of us to work for Apple? Yeah. <laughs> not Garth. Don't say it. What? What? Yeah. I'm saying don't blame Garth. It's not this time. We always blame Garth. Oh. Yeah, but it's more <laughs> <in> BDF. <laughs> I mean, Garth, Garth clearly ran the company. So yeah. Yeah, he ran quality control. <laughs> you tell because since Garth left, oh, quality has gone downhill. Yep. I made sure the stupid engineers didn't check code into the wrong branches. <laughs> That's what my job ended up being at the end. Which is why I left. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Your job was basically <laughs> that of an over-glorified babysitter. Yes, that was fun. But it paid. Okay, that actually works better than the other one. Excellent. God bomb. I promise I'm not crazy. God bomb. He's got a gut. He goes. God bomb. God bomb. He's got a gut that goes butt bomb. I'm normal. I'm not crazy. I'm not singing the who. I'm just I'm a little unwell. I had lunch, I, but I'm still hungry. I was going to say, I thought you just ate. I did, but I could eat more. What did you eat? Uh, potato salad and, and oh, uh, swami. You say potato, you say potato. You say potato, I say frittato. Mm, <laughs> sounds good to me. Hold on. I love potatoes. Anyway, basically, any way they're cooked. They said fruity. Yes. I want that T-shirt, Trina. Well, let me take my T-shirt off. Hang on. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Wow. I said something wrong. Oh, wow. What about you? <laughs> you crazy Canadian. Look, you scared Sloopy's son away. <laughs> he ran. <laughs> run, Sloopy, run. <laughs> no, I, Kaylee's Garage is uh, such an awesome TV show. What is it? Oh, it's uh, hold on. I'll make myself big because I can. Haley's Garage. Okay, what's from it about? Uh, from Firefly. Firefly. Uh oh. Kaylee, the mechanic. Interesting. Whatever one. word she is. My brain did not connect things together. Yeah. I absolutely love that show. It's, I know they keep saying they're going to bring it back, but I don't think they're actually going to. No. No. I mean, all the actors are like ancient and wrinkly now, so it's like. Yeah, and it, wouldn't also, be the, and and it would not be the same years. without the same cast. And we also we don't have talk an, about it. We also have an issue with the person who created it and the main star of it. So, yeah. what? What's wrong yeah. with the guy that plays Mal? Besides being uh, a total douche you need, Yeah. Did yeah, I did not like the way did that... You, did you see that what Gut Bomb said? No. I am so glad this is being recorded so I can use it for my stream intros from here until I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious us but yeah so um gosh what why did I bring for on his name oh. creaky Let's see what's wrong with this. Yeah, Nathan sense, Fillion. God, I, I sense the sensor's name. bad. Oh, you mean you didn't... So, do you want me to do a little strip tease for the beginning of your intros? I can oh do it now while gracious. I sing the Firefly theme. Please, uh, God. That's all right. <laughs> well, this is only talking if about I Joe's gut bomb song. If I may um, <laughs> say on uh, behalf of me and my son, no. What about you? <laughs> well, look, hold on. We'll just hide you on stream because you were saying no. You said no. We'll hide you on stream. Um, let me see. Who else wants to say no? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. Oh, hang on. Do you actually wait, 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 we'll just wait. hide Dave. 
what Dave can do, he can just take away your, your admin rights and then boot you. Ooh. There we go. All right. <laughs> take Show her power away. To... Oh, my God. Show us how it's done. Like children in a candy store. There we go. <laughs> oh, we um, All right. I'm banning Eric from the channel. <laughs> Oh, good thing you can't. Since he's a mod, you can't ban him. Who, oh, Eric? Yeah. From, yeah, from a YouTube chat. I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can still yeah. ban him. I can just completely ban him. You can ban him I'm on Trina. YouTube when he's a mod. And I'm really me. I like to I'm ban also, people. I'm also a mod. Me. Right. Yeah, I didn't think exactly. mods could ban mods. Yeah, I know. I can. I can. Ban. I. I accidentally because I went to go. To, it was somebody on. John's stream was, yesterday. It, I went to go was, do something and I accidentally clicked and I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. I didn't mean yeah, to click on that. And they were all I guess you can. Yeah, I, I clicked can. on it there. You can remove or uh, put, them in, put them in nappy time. <laughs> yeah, you can remove them. No, oh, I didn't know. The yeah, mods, mods, mod, mods. yeah, mods can't. Yeah, mods can't. Unless they have, unless they are, uh, uh, if they're not, if they're, because a standard mod can't do it. If they're the other mod, you, can, you probably could. Well, yeah, probably, you must have made as uh, the other mods them, because I can remove them. I can remove I and I can to, uh, uh, put them in timeout. Oh. Yeah. You're weird. You're super weird. But, I, I, I've, it, been, weird. I've been following American politics and figured it seems to work for somebody. So I don't know. you don't agree with me? Yeah, it just removes the message. It doesn't actually remove them. Yeah. I, I want to be weird like Joe. <laughs> Joe's not weird. Uh, yeah. That, yeah. It's going to take a, a lot, lot of work. Of no, I better not. I've got oh, Javier, I, I remember what it was. experience at it here, so. Oh. I, I remember what it was, Javier. What? Uh, uh, you, what you were trying to remember that you, that you were going to send me? Yep. <laughs> 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 the bottle of saver. What was that? <laughs> was it three D? Was, was it I think it was a three D printed stick. It was uh -huh. a three D printed sticker or something you're doing, right? Oh, okay, okay. He's yeah, looking, we're, we're... he's looking for that. He's looking for something three D printed out of the flexible yeah. um, stuff. Where is it? Oh, whoop! Here it is. Oh, hold on. That's great. One. Thank you. <laughs> Why is that hey, is that my Apple II? See, I'm going to be winning. Yeah, that's what your your Apple II. See, you're going to win. Ooh. No, Scott Bomb's going to win, win it, and then he's going to send it to me. You're a winner. Um, I am going to do. Winner, I'm, I'm going to ask my good friend, not weird friend, Joe, <laughs> the non weird one. Oh God! What are, you, what are you haranguing me into now? Yeah, exactly. Now I gotta be nice to you. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this. Let me, let me bring the other one. Okay. So, hey, Frank. Hello. Yeah. You know what? Chicken butt. You're taking my gerb. So you see <laughs> this beautiful poster. Over I had here. nothing to do today. Oh, sorry. Ooh. This is a really rare poster, the Apple II GS. A lot of yes. people are looking for it. Uh -huh. And uh, I have it to give it away with something else. And the something else is going to be this Apple IIc. This was one that was uh, I did in, uh, in one of my programs a suit that had a lot of suit. And mm -hmm. now it's my daily driver because it, it works very well. So I'm going to give both away because I, I told that when I had 1,500 followers or subscribers uh -huh. i will give them away and i already passed them oh so congratulations i need to keep my word you know <laughs> so i mean that's the only way i subscribe i'm, I'm gonna be giving away <laughs> hey yeah, everybody subscribe to get the free stuff and then the moment he gives it away like his subscriber count drops by half <laughs> so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a, a bunch of ads or you know posts about about it so a lot of people yeah. get into the channel 
and they get into that program and i'll i'll ask joe to join me so he can run that little application he has that mm -hmm. selects a person from I can the just give you the link to the to the... so, <laughs> okay. so you can do it for him well, I, I wanted you to be there but yeah, Javier, you want... but it's so, just a Javi so javier are you going to do like a, a a video specifically for the giveaway yeah okay yeah. and then gonna... just leave a comment in there okay yeah All right. well uh, I, I was thinking about doing a, a live one so we we can oh, okay. raffle it live like the other day with uh yeah but the problem the, the problem is the problem is javier yeah you can't pull the names during yeah. a live stream yeah so people can't comment on your live stream until yeah. it ends yeah so oh. you, you legitimately can't so i should i should do a program you should yeah. do you should do a short video saying i'm giving this stuff away Okay. Leave a comment on this and then do a live stream like a week yep. or two or whatever you want later. Yep. All right. Yep. I'll do that. Yep. Thank you. you know, just better yet, just need some I, help. I can give you my address and just mail it to me. Yeah, and that's, you know, <laughs> give me your address and I'll give you my address and I'll I'll help you do it. Right. I'll I'll facilitate it all for you. Oh, by yeah. the way, well, I need about fifty bucks for the uh shipping uh con uh shipping uh, uh Station. Or, or Javier, you can use Eric's uh, Selectomatic. That works really good too. Yeah. Okay. It's HyperCard. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Hey. You just, but you have to do the. Uh, you have to enter the names by hand. Oh my. And then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Javier can't spell. You expect him to be able to do that? Exactly. Well, nobody will get it. <laughs> Javier can barely speak, let alone I spell. Can barely speak. Oh my now you gosh! Won't oh my God. More? Well, Trina, with that attitude, you're not going to win it. So there. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I don't care because because Mr. El Cheapo Pants down there won't choose the candidate anyway. So Damn. I just need I just need Gut Bomb to win it, and then Gut Bomb, oh, uh -huh, being a good friend, will ship it to me. I see. Yeah. Mm. Does Gut Bomb oh, have a say in this? Oh. Um, Yes. I think I'm going to change my name. What's that? I'm going to change it to, um, what's the winner's name you said? That worked. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever the winner is, I'm going to change my name yeah, to right? that. Yeah. Uh. That's what it is. My, my, my name is the winner's name. So. Insert name here. <laughs> Your name is winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ew. Wow! Wait, are you you're using a Mac Mac Pro four com? Oh, a Mac Pro four com one. Are you tr are you trying like are you going to use a patcher for that to, to, to upgrade the OS? Because the last one on those ones are ten thirteen, which is yeah. Yes, Betty. Oh, I know Betty. Yes, uh -oh. I know. I know Betty. You tell me all about it. Okay. Come up there. Come up there. Come up there. Tell her about <laughs> it. Tell her how you feel. Here's a Betty cat right there. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, Betty. Hi, boo boo. Where, oh, yeah. Where's Retro Techie when you want him? Look, Retro Techie, a kitty. What's up, the kitty? My was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, her uh, boyfriend came over and they went out to breakfast. And I'm like, well, what about me? Why didn't you come get me and take me out to breakfast, too? Because I still have time. And uh, I don't have a like, <laughs> Well, he said he doesn't want me to spring it on him. And uh -oh. I was like, well, the only way you're going to get him to come is if you spring it on him. Because <laughs> I talked about it, I talked to her about it the day before, and I said, "Besides, I already knew what I was going to say when you were going to when you called me to say mm -hmm. that you were on your way." And she goes, "Really?" I said, "Yeah." She goes, "What were you going to say?" And I said, "I was just going to say, oh my God, you're on your way. Oh, I haven't even done my hair. I haven't even taken my monthly shower yet. I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to wear." I mean, how cold is it outside? Should I wear the skirt or should I wear the way you got leggings? My sister is, I mean, my daughter is busting up laughing. Your sister. And uh, she's like, oh, my God, now I can't wait. 
to uh, call you and tell you that we're on our way. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm not gonna go sleep. Okay. Uh -huh. Keep threat? telling yourself that. Be back. Is that a threat? <laughs> <laughs> it's a threat. I need to wear my leggings. Sorry. 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 I didn't Sorry. know you wore leggings out there. Uh, I just want to be like it's loopy. Oh. Yeah, only when it's cold, and it's not cold very often in Florida. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Especially down south in southern Florida. Yep. Mm -hmm. What? That reminds me, I gotta go and check my retro bright. Oh yeah. Yeah, he lives in Florida. Ooh, retro bright. Florida. Who lives in Florida? <laughs> he does. Weird people. And he does. Yep. That's Floridians. Will's in Florida weirdos. right now. I thought it was Flo Rida. Flo Rida? We're a rapper now, huh? Hot, hot, hot <laughs> solder. What do you mean? Hot the solder. The gates are, the, are the greatest that ever lived. Yeah. It's because of them that we have all these great technological advances. Like that. Al Gore invented like the Like you have to fill up a beer glass when it's empty. What are you trying to say? You don't have the abacus? You don't mm. like it? We should still be using it. Bring wah, it back. Wah. Wah, 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 wah. Remember you see my order number? Stupid meter. 386. Mm -hmm. Bring it back. Must fix uh, broken beer glass. Oh, that's terrible. <clears throat> Oops. How's it broke? It's empty. <laughs> Got a hole in it. Sorry about the beeps. Oh, it's right. Topologically, a beer glass does not have a hole in it. It's a manifold, isn't it? it has an opening, right? It's a lot It's a. It's a very deep-sided bowl. Yes. The deep-sided bowl. Will you quit splashing in the water, son? Okay. All right, I gotta go. Okay, Slippy. All right. See ya. Stop, bye, bye later. Bye. Okay. I, I have right. the stream uh, open though. Okay. Awesome. So, okay. I've had the stream open. I'm I'm just working on building the shells to put in here, but we're working outside, so you don't really oh, okay. see much down here. Yeah. And my son's okay. whining because he wants to get it done so he can go home and and play Call, call of Duty. Ah, oh, Call of Duty. All right. We cricket. Mm -hmm. Mommy, what, what's the guy <laughs> Call of Duty. That's what happens after you talk with Bell, right? Yep. Yes. Or Chipotle. Oh. We we just got a Chipotle in town. Oh, fancy. Oh, I'm your number one too. dad. I shall return. Okay, Frank. Oh, Frank. no. Tim MacArthur. Boop. Bill. I'm super normal. Well, it's time for our PCB Way commercial, and we will thank our sponsors. We'll be back in a moment. And I want to thank our channel sponsor, PCB Way. And you know, they have been friends of the channel for almost two years, and I greatly appreciate all the things that they've done for me and for all the other people out there in the community. Now, they do a lot of other things beside printed circuit boards you might not be aware of, but like for me, myself, I don't have access to 3D printing or CNC machining or making circuit boards or designing circuits and that nature. I mean, I have lots of tools out of here and this is where I work on my computers and stuff like that out of here and all kinds of things. But, you know, for specialty type of stuff like that, you need a really good 
player in the industry, and that's PCB Way. They can do all kinds of things. They're always constantly innovating and coming up with new stuff. So please do yourself a favor. Go to PCBWay.com and see what they can do for you. We're back! PCB Way! All right. <laughs> that's when you really need a retro techie because he likes saying that. Uh, and now, and he always says, "When are you going to do the commercial?" I said, "If you be here when we do it, it's yeah. it's halfway through the stream." And then he leaves before he does it. It's <laughs> uh, yeah, or he comes I, in just about an hour before we're ready to leave because you have you done a commercial yet? You go, yes. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Figures. I tell you, <laughs> why well, I got my, uh, my mess. Hey, look, I'm modern, man. I got a I got a mouse pad. Ooh, look at that. Good heavens. <laughs> I, I found that out, out here. <laughs> you found it. And I had my own uh, I had my own uh, printed up, had my logo on it. Looks pretty cool. I did that on Amazon. I was very happy. It was only like twelve bucks to have your image put on it and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Hey, Will's here's back. A, here's a thought for you. Are you ready, everyone? Yeah. Every human uh, being is a 3D printer. I saw that. They were sitting on the toilet, though. I came up with all sorts of terms like extrusion rates and things like that, but I didn't really understand what they meant, but I understood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Will's back, what? back again. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, yesterday, uh, Tinker Different had their uh, live stream yesterday. Saw that. And it was very interesting. Justin D. Morgan was on there. Uh, Bruce, Frank's Creations, Eric Helgeson, and Kai Robinson, and this, it was really good. Oh. Talked about a lot of new uh, reloaded boards that are in the process of being done. Uh, was it two CI, two SI, uh, a couple others? Classic, uh, working on a classic two. Um, yeah, And then they, but they had uh, uh, Francois, uh, they would uh, feature different uh, things on different sections. And he was on there a lot. He had a lot of designs and stuff. Uh, very cool. And he sent something to Joe too, for him to test. Uh, I, f I forget what it was. Yeah. Oh, polka dots. Yeah, yeah. answer uh, uh, Mr. Toilets. I love his name. The toilet is toilet, toilet test. Toilet. Um, uh, uh, question about uh, whatever. Hi, Francois. I still have your parts. I haven't gotten to the point of like, like doing the thing with him. I've been very busy. Well, that sounded bro it's like something broke, or somebody dropped something on their toes. <laughs> I think Frank dropped them. Yeah. Oh, I know it's heavier. Hey, you didn't drop your. Uh your uh, thing you're going to give away, right? Uh. <laughs> it comes in pieces. It's a puzzle. Um, <laughs> toilet. Toilet. I can't speak right now. Toiletist. Toilist. Thank toilet you. Toiletist. Toilist. Yeah, it's a, that's a tongue um, twister. It is. That's Discord. JCM-1.com has been put in chat. By the Garth. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, the nightmare sounds. <laughs> Classic dial-up. B D D D. Do a wa 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 wa. Yippee yay yippee yay. B do. Yippee yay. B D. Oh, he likes the way we mangle it. The word when we try to pronounce it. <laughs> What's up, Trina? Says a toilist. Toilist. Oh, I'm Billy. Uh, check Discord. Sixteenth through the twenty-tooth. Uh, 
<laughs> Sounds like a trap. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I'm not going to do this, but I'll just going to say it. Trina is always saying, oh, so-and-so check discord. And I was going to send Trina a message on discord. And I was going to say, hey, Trina, Trina, check discord. I'm just going to say, you smell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just something stupid, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not that childish, but I guess it would be funny. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's going to be we... buying that uh, polka dot mug, Joe. Yay! Yay! All right. Oh, and uh, no. toilet is uh, toilet, you know, that guy. Um, That's yeah, rare. I see you're putting Joel in there. Is that what you're putting there for name? His name is Joe. That's just an exclamation point by the end of his name. Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe. As in Joseph, as in I'm Joe Reaper. Hi, I'm Joe. He's, he's Joe Mama. Joe, like GI Mama. Joe. There you go, Joe. Or he could be, or he could be Doctor Joel Fleischer from um, Northern Northern Exposure. Exposure. Do 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 do. I hate Windows, by the way. Oh, he jumped. He missed it. Yes. Sorry, baseball. Stupid jelly balls. And you know where Joe's favorite place is to go? Joe Maka. <laughs> Actually, okay. it's do we got the, the, the boom, 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 bing in this thing? <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Joe has that. Oh. I know he are. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. <laughs> there you go. All right, sorry, yeah. a little late on the queue there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh. like Things that are said and done in this this here live stream, I tell you, cracks me up every time. So just <laughs> Just FYI, before you assume somebody's a he, you might want to ask them. What? What? Who? I missed something. So what? 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 Just saying, people in chat don't always assume that they go by he. She. Them. Right. That. Other. Thing. My it. apologies if I misgendered anyone. As a as Are an you... ally, I some I am also an old old fat stupid man, and sometimes <laughs> have forty years of pre-programming that needs to be overcome first. What are you talking to me? Why you call me that? <laughs> well, you're beyond <laughs> short, Javier. So <laughs> if the shoe fits, Tav. <laughs> It never fits. I am Cinderella. Cinderella. Hey, <laughs> Adam McGee. Hello. Never fits Adam. You. Whoa, we missed it again. Yes, go Red Sox. Win, win. Sorry. Beep. It's beeping. I don't know if it's working though. What's going on in this crazy place? Uh, you know what? Oh, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, too oh. much solder fumes. Cool. Oh no. Shoot. Hey Adam. Hmm. I came to an interesting revelation last night, thanks to the help of some of the other people here. That, What's that? any Apple II uh the, or Apple II Plus that is before Rev 7 just does not like a modern monitor. Oh my god, Adam's here. Jeez. You are correct, sir. Adam's here, Mick Jeez. I did not know that until I was having problems and spent a day trying to diagnose a problem that was not a problem. If you want to use a CRT with it, it's great. If you want to stream it or hook it to an LCD or anything otherwise modern, unless you have a time-based corrector, you're probably out of luck. Um, my thing, I tried to hook it up to... Um, a couple of relatively modern modern LCDs and that CRT up there, and none of them would sync to it. But the moment I shoved it at this old green uh, monochrome, I was like, all right, we likes this one. <laughs> this one's yes. our friend. Yeah, I've got a Sony um, 
scan converter that also has a built-in time-based corrector. And I run when I run anything like an old older machine like that, and I want to stream, I run it through that. And just the act of doing that clears it up. It, yeah. it sort of resyncs it to, to the right frequency. Oh, that's pretty cool. These days, if I need to do it, I just I, sho I just shove an A2 Vidya at it and be done with it. I was going to put a... I've got a new Sony switcher, video switcher, and I think it's got a TVC built in. I was going to use that for capturing. I'm actually going to try that later today. Weird, shut up. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. Sure, keep telling yourself that. So I built this. I love working on floppy drives. I built this Platinum 2E out of all spare parts. Javier, remember I said I had a, a spare board, but it didn't work? Yep. Um, don't need words now. I put two new RAMs in it, and it works fine. <laughs> I had to steal the RAMs off of this, this little 80 column card, so now that's broken, but better to have a broken 80 column card than a broken Apple II. Just needs RetroBright, and it'll be good as new. You'll be in business. Cool. Yeah, got this case for ten bucks from a local guy. I'm retro running a drive, a floppy drive, for Apple II, the mm. uh, Unidisc uh, five and a quarter for yeah. two dollars. Can you see how much different the color is between these, these um, oh, wow. hole covers and the and the painted platinum? Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, it yeah. is nasty. It's weird how the lid though is like. Better than the other the rest of it. It's a platinum back. Oh, that's yeah. right, because it's a because it's a platinum machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the keys are are good because I I ran those through, but this case needs serious help. But it's still yeah. snowing here, so I can't. Mm. Yeah. I can't do anything about it yet. Retro pride. Yes. Cool. I get to count orders. Send Ooh. help. Hey, Javier, look what Mike Connick sent me. Ooh. Ooh. Black. That's legit, too. That's yeah, it's got, it's, got a, it's got a warranty sticker on the back. It says, warranty expires January 24th, 1988. What? Okay. Huh. Wow, look at that. Elsa Why says thirteen that? thirteen. That must have been the Munsters. Oh. <laughs> or it was at Disneyland, because that's also thirteen thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, it's very dirty. He got it in a huge lot of stuff. He got something like six uh Bill and Howells. Oh yeah, I saw that photo. And I was wow, like six of them. Wow. I messaged him on the side and I'm like, hey, hook me up with one of them floppy drives. And he said all right. He said, quit harassing me. But then yeah, after a while. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I actually buy a lot of stuff from that guy. So he was happy to give me a deal on this one thing. These are hard to find. Everybody wants 300 bucks for them on eBay. I do. Are you, you're selling one, right? Yep. 300. Oh. And mine is painted. <laughs> That's yeah. why nobody buys it right now. I've got two um, genuine mechanisms, but I was missing this shell. Um, he says this drive doesn't work, so I'm going to have to swap the mechanism. But um, okay. this completes my Bell & Hell because I only ever had one original drive with it. You complete me. Yay. Oh, it's funny as I can't reach the Bell & Hell to put this there, so I have to put it somewhere else. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, boy. I need to clean this place up seriously. I picked up this today. You ever seen one of these? Never. It's another Apple IIe. That's wow. That's so rare. 
Yes. But didn't you already have an Apple I don't think that's your first one of those, right? You never had one of those before. <laughs> no. <laughs> this no, I is a uh, stupid sensor doesn't work on this drive. This is a local oh. find. It was a whole $10. Wow. Wow. Cool. So, and it came with an RGB card in it. Oh, cool. I was telling the guys that tomorrow I'm picking a Image Writer HQ for free. HQ? What's that? High quality. High quality. Yeah. Oh. And that's what it's all relative. High Actually, quality. What is, yeah, what the is, sensor's bad. Actually, HQ. what it is, uh, Adam, it's a doorstop. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I got plenty of uh, Image Writer twos that work just fine as doorstops. Yeah, they're, they're, are, I guess they're rare. Yeah, oh. they're low quality doorstops. Yeah, <laughs> high quality doorstep, mm -hmm. and it's okay. huge, double the size of a normal one. What are yes. you doing? Oh, hey job. Joe, did you see? Did you see uh, the comment? Am I in SoCal? No. <laughs> um, I am. Add yeah. polka dot pit. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I, also, I am not in SoCal, um, uh, toiletist. I am in Ohio. So, yes, those are the comments. Ohio is better than SoCal. <laughs> <laughs> we have the occasional yeah. tornado, but we don't have earthquakes. Yeah. I've lived or in heat. both places, and I would say I like Ohio better. Or fires. California or is definitely overrated. Fires. Yeah. Or landslides because we don't have any land. That's up. or forty thousand dollar houses that cost two million. Yes. Subject. Um. All right, there we go. I got the hard drive deleted finally. I hope it's the right hard drive. Oh. Out of your home. There you go. <laughs> this Apple II actually works, but I'm going to say that it's very doubtful that anybody's replaced the reefer cap. So I'm going to do that before I run it for any length of time. All right. It's got a nice layer of vintage dirt on it. I don't get this drive. It seems like it's. It seems like. Well, first of all, the sensor for when the disc is injected it doesn't seem doesn't just seem to work right. But I kind of fixed that, I think. But then it still doesn't think the disc is in there unless I jam down on the sensor. But then it still doesn't work. Earth, you know what I do when that happens? <laughs> I know you throw it away. <laughs> well, almost. I put it aside and go to the next one in the file. <laughs> oh, I know. These are the these are the ones already fixed. I did four of them. This is just what's uh, left. You saw that I picked up like seven floppy drives from that guy for like twenty dollars <laughs> that's why i said i was like what are you gonna do you don't fix where do you find these deals at adam yeah. there's this local guy i think he was like me in a past life and he's got this storage unit full of apple stuff <laughs> and he's decided or actually i think his partner has decided that it's time to get let most of it go mm -hmm. so every every week or two he's like hey do you like apple twos hey do you like uh max the same guy I got the um, power computing towers from. And he just messaged uh, me yesterday. He said, I have another, I found another floppy drive. It's yours. Come get it. I'm like, I don't have time. I'll come get it later. Like, he doesn't want to charge me says, extra. Hit it with a hammer, Garth. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I don't like to give up on drives. Unlike my. Unlike. <laughs> 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 oh, never. <laughs> You, you like the pain and misery that goes with it? I guess. I don't know, man. It's just weird. I haven't had one like this before. It's just kind of, I don't know, fascinates me. I mean, for God's sake, is this finally the time where it's the stupid caps in it? Ugh. I've, <laughs> I've never recapped a floppy drive. People keep telling me, oh, you got to recap it. Really? I don't, you know. By the way, this came out of e waste at work. Works totally fine. But somebody just threw uh -huh. it out. Earth, I've never uh -huh. recapped a Sony. Well Apple you floppy just, drive. Never had to. I haven't either. 
So try you see the name on that keyboard? It says to. Microsoft. That's why it was in the trash. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? It works. And people keep buying my USB keyboards, and I'm running out of them. So if I can get them for free. I throw right. away so many keyboards, it's ridiculous. I have a, yeah, I have a, I have a box of upstairs that are full of old keyboards. Yep. Every once in a while, though. some somebody <laughs> will be like, hey, why'd you take my keyboard away? And they'll have some 12-year-old Dell, like the ones with the weird bump out in the front. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I give them the new HP or whatever it is, and you know, with the flat keys, looks like a laptop. And they're like, "I can't use this. Give me my yeah, old keyboard. I'll have keys. to go dig through the pile to figure out where the other one went." <laughs> like, this fun. one looks like the right one, right? Because there's no way I'm finding the actual one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you care not enough to actually find it. <laughs> Keyboard's uh, a keyboard. A few years ago, I started telling the guys to, um, if the user's there ask them, do you want this to keep this keyboard? And if they say yes, let them keep the keyboard before oh. you take it away. That way you won't have to go through that again. Dave? Yes? Did you do your sponsorship spot? Oh, yeah. I did. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you a today? She's she taking a retro techie spot. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, I just don't remember it. She fell asleep. That's what happened. <laughs> Apparently, I need to stop drinking the beer. I can't remember. <laughs> she had a half a beer. Oh boy! You had a whole beer? Oh, uh, not a whole one yet. I no. got okay. three quarters of it. Let's slow down. Or well, maybe you're not talking to your computer right, Trina. You're supposed to hold the mouse up when you talk, right? Okay. Let's see what this does now. Hello, computer. Hello, computer. <laughs> there you go. See, it works good. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> I, I, I might have gone to use the bathroom when you did it. Then. That's that's her excuse, and she's sticking to it. I didn't take it. I I could I there. I I was going to say something, but I'll 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 be a gentleman. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't uh, demonetize yourself, Dave. <laughs> Somebody stabbed me in the ear. You, Trina. Are you no, I, no idea what you're talking about. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted to see the girl jump in the pool. That's all it was. Still waiting for I your think, clip, I Trina. I, yeah, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a Commodore 64. No. And then put yeah. Retro Techie's name on it. And literally, for my segment, we'll be throwing it in the pool. <laughs> hmm. And then I'll. Absolute. Why don't you buy just an empty case or something? That way you don't actually destroy technology. Oh, I don't. I don't care about a Commodore 64. So, right in the pool. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Ooh, that looks like jelly or jam or something. Is that is that scones English or homemade muffins? jelly? No, it's not homemade. It's what's it? It's scones. Oh, nice. So nice. My wonderful printer here, which is on the Global Talk Network, so if you're on that, you can send it and say, see things, see it and send things to it. Received. Oh, look at that, Jack 68K. Ah. Oh, hey. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> well, at least now we know what Jack looks like. Yeah. Uh, oh, darn, I thought that was Hav. <laughs> is that Javier? Is that Frederick? Is it Jason? I mean, there's 18 of you bald guys in here. Is it Sloopy? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> 
Who are you calling bald, Joe? I resemble that big forehead remark. Yeah. Jack Jack gave you the happy face there, Joe. There you go. Well, oh. actually, we don't know that I'm it was you uh, down on the chooser now. We don't know that the happy face technically was for, for Joe because it's just a happy face. It doesn't say, hey, Joe, happy face. It just happy face. So it could be happy face to all of us, not just to Joe. See? It's just it's a happy face. Joe. Yes. Just to let you know that I am not bald. I'm a hair challenged individual. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he has a follicle famine. That's right. Bald guys, we bald guys are easily confused with Jack. I need you to be aware of that. <laughs> Jack has no printers online, so I can't print to Jack. <laughs> did I send you? A, a, did I send you something, Joe? I could have sworn I did. Pretty sure you did, but. You can send me more if you want. Oh, don't even say that. <laughs> That's a bold thing. A <laughs> hundred pages later. Right. Jack says, what? My image writer isn't showing up? You don't know Jack. Oh. Apparently not. Then again, this poor thing's been running for days and days and days, so... Who knows if it's here you know, behaving itself. And I'm not on Global Park, so I can't confirm or deny if it's the first thing. Well, Garth could. Confirm or deny what? If uh, Jack's, uh, Jack's printer shows up on the Global Talk Network. Ah. I can't right now because my, my Global Talk uh, machine is offline at the moment, so I can test floppy drives. Ah. Oh. Taking too long. Who is, I did, who is I did get some stuff around? from Dana, which is pretty cool. Nanoraptor. Okay. Yeah. What was it, tea time, Joe? Got some tea in there? <laughs> Toilet just says, Joe, is it just me, or do you not stock a Wi-Fi blue SCSI D2? I, only, I exclusively have Wi-Fi blue SCSI D2. The thing is that I only have assembled units right now. I don't have any kits. Uh, that's that's, that's adding a clunky sound right now, I think. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no. so how long do you take to fill up Adam. Pico Gus there, Adam? Say what? Joe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry. How long until Pico Gus there, Joe? Quote, as soon as I can get to it, I don't, I'm just going as fast as I can. My, um, okay. Impromptu, uh, unplanned change of day job has completely foiled my week time time that I have to spend on the store right. products. But you you now have a bunch of minions that help you as well. Minions don't help me at all. Click the buttons on my um on the website where I order things to get the things ordered. Ah, no, that's that's true. And there's this whole process. Time. I have to go to one vendor and procure parts and then like consign them to the other vendor. It's like this <laughs> this ping pong volleyball type of thing. Oh. Sounds like fun. It's like it's the whole thing of getting insurance for your car before you own the car, but you have to have the VIN number to get insurance type of BS. Yep. Oh yeah. I All about that. that. Yeah. I, I'd like to get insurance on a car that I had the VIN number for, but I don't technically own it yet. I'm sitting at the dealership purchasing it, but I haven't gone through the full transaction. No, I found that. Uh, I've been looking for that. I found I knew I ordered a new uh, SD card that'll go in the uh, when I get that uh, other SCSI uh, from you, Joe. That's going to go into Mac Plus. So, yeah. I, I just printed your bracket for that this morning. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. So, well, now put that in a place where you'll remember where it's at, Dave. Don't just lay it somewhere. Well, that's why I'm cleaning all this junk <laughs> up over here. <laughs> I've been finding lots of things. It's amazing how that happens when you when you misplace things. I know. You clean up around the area, you find stuff, then you lose other things. Yeah. It's the downfall about being organized. Grindy. Sometimes you forget where you put the things when you know when they're supposed yeah. to be put in the right spot. Oh, what is this? 
Oh, I that's the uh, yeah, no image right or yeah, rounds for the uh, cube speakers. I've been looking for those too. You don't have any Earth, how many times are you going to torture that poor floppy drive before you take it back apart and make sure that it works properly? It's working. That's not beautiful. All right. Cool. That doesn't he likes, sound he likes right. the sound. He likes, he likes that sound. You're right. This is the one I'm sending to Dave. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it came out of that unit. It's only fair. <laughs> Got to keep it together. <laughs> Actually, funny enough, the one that came out of the unit is this one. And as you can see, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, it's hard to see. Can you see the corrosion? I can't see it. It's got corrosion kind of all over it. Um, uh, it's kind of hard to see. But anyway, but yeah, this one works way better. <laughs> like, okay. Back <laughs> two kit. We can we can use that rust and hibber on earth. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to fall asleep now. There she oh, goes. No. You I'm telling you, uh, you need to you need, you need to mix a little bit of that geritol in your coffee or something, Trina, to give you that little pep. There you go. <laughs> yeah, well, then I can't fall asleep because I got somebody coming over at 4:30. So. Oh. oh. Were you selling yeah. something? Uh, no, it's just that uh, desktop computer that I worked on Wednesday night. Yeah. I ended up having to reinstall the OS because I did the firmware update and then it went, mm -mm, can't find your hard drive. Oh, so, lovely. Yeah. That's the best. So I ended up reinstalling Windows again and doing the updates, but not doing the firmware update. Yeah. Ow! I poked myself. Oh. I hate when I do that. Hmm. It's usually a good Friday night when I poke myself. I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> I'm sorry. And problem. technically, I cook myself sorry. daily three, four times a day. Uh, diabetes, get a little bit. Yeah. Exactly. You have to do the finger pricks, right? Uh, finger pricks and, and insulin. And, yep, she's on insulin. And what? And insulin. Insulin. Oh, so you're the you're full blown diabetic. I'm full blown. Type one. Type one. Aww. And I don't have to tell you, make sure you have your vision checked at least minimally every year. Oh, what? I have, yeah, I, I, I get it. A lot, of our diabetic, a lot of our diabetic patients, we make them come in every six. We, well, hey, I, I hey Dave, when the, when the solar eclipse comes, we're supposed to just stare right into it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Dave, you should sure, do a short for that. Head. <laughs> do a short for that. You know sure what? Gonna... Uh, I, and I hate to say this, and, I, and I'm doing this in all honesty. We get we get a lot of people, younger people. That that's what they do. They stare at the sun, and they wreck their eyes permanently. Oh. Oh, oh, I think I found what's wrong here. Mac. Oh well, here I'll show you. Weird. Hold on. Weird. Uh, here you go, Will. Right there. It came out really good. Uh, Frank did a good job printing it up. Yay, and, Frank! And then there's two little openings here that shows you the activity lights. But yeah, pretty good. I like the color that he did it in, too. Pretty good. Yeah. Just waiting to get that uh, that uh, socket and that ROM so I can uh, do, finish doing the upgrade on that uh, Quadra. That'll be pretty neat. Oh yeah, I got the uh, replacement SIM sockets for that yeah. TCX. So I gotta take all those out, but I'm waiting for my... Uh, <laughs> I'm actually waiting for both of them. They're supposed to come today, knowingly. Um, I'm waiting for this solder pole things because I want to use those and kind of be fun. I was complaining on Discord oh, okay, the other cool. day about how mine keeps falling cool. apart. That's Lila for you. Always be prepared for your colors instead of not looking into a box. Uh. Cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, Will. Let's see how it works. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna get some more potato salad. I'll be right back. All right, show me potato salad. Soul five business cards. Yay. Usually there's a cap list on the back of those. Uh yeah. There is. Right there. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Commodore 64 phone. Or Commodore phone. <laughs> I cannot get this to go back together. Yeah, but unfortunately, like like I started to say, we get a lot of kids that, that do that, and we yes. send them, we refer them out to the ophthalmologist, and the ophthalmologist says, well, that we can do. Mama always told me not to look into the eyes yeah. of the sun, but Mama... That's where the eye retinal burns are. <laughs> you know, but, and their comment was, well, I was wearing really dark sunglasses. Yeah, well, that ain't, ain't nearly enough. <laughs> Let me explain to you I said, how if you many put your eye, If you put your camera phone in, it would burn out the sensor on it, you know? Yeah. Tell me about it. Oh, that one took 700 tries. What am I doing? Get me a little file cabinet I, so I can keep all my I'm stuff in it. Um, yes. I'm doing this. I need to go to development projects, A2 Video, firmware. Uh, for the Prius. Uh, I got to change the transmission fluid in the Prius. So this is the crush walker. Swap this. I need to compile the newest firmware. There's a firmware came out a couple days ago. Make sure you change the blinker fluid while you're in there. What's that? Change the blinker fluid. The blinker fluid? <laughs> yeah. Well, I had to, I I had to buy to the um, to transmission fluid from Toyota. That stuff's expensive for that Toyota. particular vehicle. Toyota! I love what you do for me. Toyota! <laughs> I had to take a car to the mechanic recently. It's a, an old um, Pontiac. Uh -huh. I thought for sure it's going to need new new plugs and or, or plug wires. The code was saying it was a, there was a misfire. And on that particular car, it's a V8. I cannot get to four of the plugs myself without taking half the engine apart, and I don't want to do that. So yeah. I brought it in, fully expecting to spend a lot of money. And the mechanic looks at it and he goes, oh, yeah, you have the right code, but you have the wrong wrong source of the problem. I'm like, what is it? He's like, there's a sensor under here that when I worked on it and I changed out some reservoir, I didn't do it right. And so it leaked all over the sensor and ruined it. So it's fixed now and you owe me nothing. I'm like, <laughs> nice. OK. <laughs> wow. That was a good day. What a nice young man. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. What a nice young man. Well, at least he admitted that he messed up and that he didn't say, oh, yeah, I had to do all this crazy stuff. Yeah. 
the kids are stupid like that. They, they, they have the uh, complex of thinking nothing will hurt them. Yeah. My wife got some of those cheap glasses that you're supposed to use to look at the eclipse, and I'm like, no, oh, I'm good. Exactly. Yeah. Don't do that. Yep. You can take an old iPhone 6 and point it at the sun and then look at it through yep. a video feed. Yep. Oh, look, it got dark for a moment. And I've lost my eyesight. That's, <laughs> that's dark forever. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. If only there was easier ways to tell. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> well, I did that one time when I was a kid and, I, and the stove was red hot. And I just wouldn't pay attention in my mom's kitchen. I leaned on it and had these coil oh. prints on my hand for like about three months and it hurt like a jeebers for the first couple of days. Now, that, that when you say your mom's kitchen, what you mean is the fire pit that you had around uh, when your cave, right? <laughs> In the day, yeah, it's Stonehenge. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't you remember Trina? You you used to be the next door neighbor. Oh. <laughs> no, I, 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 I was street. But I was still in diapers then. You were what in your early thirties at that point. So. Diapers. <laughs> they haven't invented diapers when you're a kid, Trina. Yes. It wasn't a diaper, it was just a cloth wrapped around your exactly. bottle. Hey, listen, what we knew was diapers back then, okay? I invented diapers, actually. I invented diapers. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh. Wow. <laughs> yes, baby. Uh -huh, so, so, I hear you. Beep. 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 Let's call. This is stupid. I don't know. Come on. Let's see if this works. It's black. I don't remember. Let's try this. Oh, well, copyright strike. Yeah, well, yeah, Trina's fault. Oh, yeah. oh, that really does smooth out the power on this thing. It was putting out 12.6 volts before, and now it's with a new, a new, just a new refi. It's putting out 12.0. What are you exactly. doing, Garth? Hmm. Interesting. Gears. Oh. Oh, it's they working. Go, they go spinny, spin, spin. Making, spin. making sure it's all spinning nicely, but I'm not liking it. There she is. Hi, so so. Was, was the, uh, the gear net, Garth, was that pretty all nice and cheesy? Yeah, I mean, they all were. Yeah. Um, this one, I think what's happening with this, this is the one where I thought it's getting stuck thinking there's, that doesn't think the disc is in there. What's happening is, because it has a very weak eject, and that first time you put a disc in after you get it all set up, it works. Mm -hmm. Reads the disc, everything fine. You go to eject it, then it gets stuck halfway through. Then the, the gear's in the wrong position, right? And yeah. Then it just gets stuck. You, you can stick a disc in it. It'll actually let you stick it in and everything, but it just doesn't see it right. It's weird. Yeah. So, um, so now I'm going to try to figure out why it's got the super weak eject, eject though. It's super looped up and everything. I mean, try, try to do the manual eject uh, guard. Let's see how it moves. It super moves pretty super. well. Um, <clears throat> but the problem is, I, th I, think the, I think the motor might be a little weak or something. So I'm going to kind of work on that. Also, I might just change the gear. To a different gear, because you know how there's two different gears. You know what I mean? Could be the motor. Yeah, not not being able to push enough power. I mean, those those motors do die after a while. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably the motor. Dear Apple, remember PCs that had the manual eject button? Try that. Just just try that. There is a manual eject button. It's shaped like a paperclip. Oh. <laughs> Here, Apple, remember the big blocky square thing that popped out of the front of the <laughs> floppy disk? Try that. It worked magical. So we all saw the video that was floating around recently. Uh, the guy who 3D printed the whole Mac case, right? Yeah, and yeah I saw that. Super, 
Yeah. What I was super impressed about in that video was how he takes the USB floppy drive and then he adds the manual eject to it <laughs> and a motor and everything. I'm like, holy cow. Yeah, that's <laughs> that yeah. super I don't, cool. I don't understand why he did any of that and why he called it auto eject because that's not what it is. Auto inject, yeah. which it wasn't. And yeah. the thing is, if uh, there's about 9 billion USB floppy drives, that will eject when you eject from the Mac. <laughs> like, just they already do that. So yeah. I don't, that was like, Probably 20 hours of work for no, no I just point. love it the way he did it. Everything is like he prints it, he puts a little motor in there and everything. Just funny. Yeah. It looked awesome, but it's like, you know what I put in my um, fake compact Mac that has a Mac Mini in it as a floppy drive is an LS120 hooked to a USB interface. And when you drag that to the to the trash, yeah. it motorized ejects just out of the box. So I'm like, oh, okay. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Point nine two. That is not. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I put that on the Twitter and a couple of places. Boy, it, it, that thing just got a ton of views. People looking at that video. Yeah. It That's makes great. me yeah, want like to. The guy does like one video every two years or something, and. <laughs> it makes me not to want to print a whole Mac, but it makes me want to chop the the control, like the port section, out of a, a real Mac, and then three D print a new. Um, you know, like what would be on a PC, the the yeah. uh, port cover, yeah. just so I can put what I want there instead of trying to figure out what to do with the holes for like mini dins and junk I don't need. Yeah. Everybody would All yell right. at me though I'm for, for tearing up the Mac. I'm going to take off for a little bit. I'll <laughs> oh. be I'll be back. Okay. Mm, nap time. Oh, Joe. Go, Trina. Joe's got something. All right, Joe. Three I am three. shipping from Ohio to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory and therefore is inside the United States. Yes. Yeah, but it's not continental. That doesn't matter. Yeah. Pirate Ship is asking me to put in tariff information. Yep. <laughs> it's the United States. It is. It is a little there different are no because tariffs. there. Are, there are because they're under the Jones Act, so there's things about shipping to and from the continental U.S. Uh, things that may have come from foreign stuff and whatever. It's it's very complicated. Um, I disagree. If you use <laughs> just USPS, they just say, whatever, go. They don't. I am using USPS. I mean, directly. I am using USP. Well, directly. Yeah. You're not. It doesn't really matter. I was just in Puerto Rico no, last year. It's fun. <laughs> it's hot as hell. If you speak to us just a little bit of Spanish, you'll have a good time. Donde de baño? Uh, like, uh, uh, cuatro tacos, por favor. Yeah, well, they don't have tacos there. <laughs> oh, they do. I was at tourist tacos. spots. The tourist spots are, all act like they're in Mexico because oh, they know that all the dummies come there and think they're in Mexico. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That I believe. It's almost like they have, I know the word cerveza. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. As long as you, you say that. Why can't I, good. why, where's my... I need to print this. Ready to print. Where? Where's yeah, when my... I went out, when I went out into the public areas, I would order like mofongo and all the, you know, actual Puerto Rican uh, food. Eric, Eric from Eric's Edge says, um, "I will have a cooler full of ice cold water bottles under the table, available for people who know. Ask, and you shall receive." The first year water bottle for two dollars a bottle. That's nice, yeah. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. What a bargain. Two. That's how you're charging, man. Yeah. Crazy. The going rate is eight dollars. <laughs> Yikes. It's a keyboard end card. All right. A keyboard end card. <laughs> what is a keyboard That's end card? And you're just somebody. At some point, somebody, I think it was on Facebook, was selling an 80 column card, but they called it in the ad the keyboard end card because that's what it says on it. So I just call it that now because it's funny. <laughs> I'm printing. This is an enhanced 2E with MT RAM in it. Yay. What the hell? That's the best kind of RAM I've heard. You heard wrong, dude. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, what's funny is the RGB card that came with this came with um, 
it came with MT RAM, and it was it was actually bad. And usually, those Video Seven cards have good MT RAM for some reason. <coughs> now that's interesting. What's that? I put the top on, and I'm getting nothing. It's not even turning. Really? <clears throat> Is it actually physically stopping it? Maybe it's bent. I was gonna say maybe it's yeah. I even I even lubed it up it a little bit on the inside there. Yeah. Huh. Just it up. Because it works, see. But I mean, it was working at least. That doesn't make any sense at all now. What have I done? You break it. <laughs> you break it. You buy it. Yeah. Damn, yeah, I bought throw it. Throw it away. I already bought it too. <laughs> Adam's right. This is what you sort in the pile of hell with this project. <laughs> There's a lot I get where they're, it's like rusty or some, way, some other way ruined, and I just usually steal the, the motor off of it and chuck the rest. No, no, no. D Dave wants this drive. He told me. Javier, what's well, that? It, you need it until he broke it. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, uh, j just do Javier's method. Just do 12 volt to ground. That'll exactly. Take care of it. <laughs> Always works. I'm going to switch. I'm just going to try a different gear because I'm curious. You think maybe there's that gears like uh, warped or something? Or uh, no, I'm. I just think I don't know. I'm crazy. <laughs> He's yes, cuckoo cool cool for a cocoa puffs. I am not dumb. Hi. Hi. Hi, okay. Joe. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Javier, make sure the the drive latch is through the front. That's probably why it's not lining up. Yeah, I think that's the problem, yeah. I'm actually gonna try I was wondering if it was upside gear. down there for a second for some reason. Hey, there's Chris. I'm going to try an old cheese gear. Hey, Chris. Chris. Hey, Chris. hey, there I am. Chris. I was All like, right. oh, there's Chris. I'm like, okay, has everybody seen something I'm not seeing? Because I don't well, see Chris. <laughs> you never know. You never know yeah, he's when still. I might appear. How you doing up there? Nice to see you. Hello. 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 Hey, stuff hey how are you, Adam? I'm looking the wrong way. Hey, there you are. Jeez okay. Gear. Um, <laughs> Adam, I, I brought something interesting today, though oh, yeah? I guess it doesn't help you very much, but I brought the Tower of CD-ROM Power. <laughs> and I figured God. that we could test the Tower of CD-ROM Power today. Ooh, so here we are. Wow, you got to hook up all seven at one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could. Why didn't you notice the one on top of the tower? Oh, you, well, you yeah. Have <laughs> <laughs> you have that plugged into your 20 amp breaker, right? Yeah, there Why you go. Not? Yeah, well, unfortunately, we can't test them all, but at the same time, but we have two of them in this machine. I bought them to fill the holes, and then I have the one on top ready to test, and then we have four more on deck. So we've got a a burned CD, and we've got our wacky window stuff. I know it's Marchintosh, but, you know, like the Macs have, like, windows in them. Like, you can click Look through the different cool windows. Look at that cool CD. <laughs> So, you know, I figured that's the best we can do. Yeah, dual CDs only because I needed to fill the slots, you see. So, uh, but yeah, I thought, you know, maybe we can. Yeah, it's, uh, it's to keep the dust out. You keep Why the not? dust yeah. pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> and I got a new webcam that doesn't cut out all the time. And uh, I think I it's a little that. bit sharper and it, nicer. It, does. it looks way really better. Good. Yeah, yeah, doesn't it? And, you yeah. know, it wasn't wasn't anything fancy. I don't I don't splurge on fancy Chinese cameras like Frank. But, uh, you know, it tends, <laughs> tends to work out okay. Hey, Thomas, so, how you doing? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Look at this. Okay, good. Oh. It just needs to be cleaned. Does it need to be cleaned? Yep. You just got to take it apart and oil the gears. It gets kind of sticky, and so it thinks oh, all right. it's uh, short. Sure. So it injects. Or you just or work you, it in and out. You can be for like me and be lazy. And it'll probably free up. Yeah, just keep pushing it till it works because I'm lazy. There you go. <laughs> just, yeah. just open the front and spray a bunch of WD 40 in it. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yeah, that'll help. Thanks. When it right comes off just about right? half an inch, you just grab the tray and yank it out as hard as you can. <laughs> and then well, put the WD-40s in there and it, and it hits you and that's how it shoots fire out of it. We do have that's, WD that's how you convert it into a uh, cup holder, right? Which is by right. yanking on the tray real hard. Well, we have seven of them. And if one of, we do that to one of them, <laughs> so, so be it. You know, you it's okay. <laughs> That's just fair. Comp yeah. USA. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a Comp <laughs> USA branded PC. See? <laughs> Let's bring back some memories. It's yeah. This is a comp. It's, I, I it's doubly bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, usually, I was I looking for love shopping at Comp USA. <laughs> yeah. 
I so was I trying was to find a way to dump that image from the BIOS, but I wasn't successful. Apparently, the motherboard in this was a pretty popular one that got branded with a bunch of different OEMs. Micron used it, Packard Bell used it, CompUSA used it, but uh, I wasn't able to find a way to dump the image out of the BIOS. But, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe there'll be a way. And, uh, yeah, since it is a, a CompUSA PC, we have to have our signature... Make sure that you turn this PC off on midnight of Y2K. So we've got that going on too. <laughs> Thank you to our good friend Steve at Geek and Spiel. Oh, he and, got uh, background. Yeah, Look at that. Awesome. Yeah, you know, I found that online. I'm like, perfect. So, uh, that was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, it's a fun little machine. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be me. I'm going to test the power of CD ROM tower. Yeah. I keep getting it wrong. The tower of CD-ROM power. There we go. The company and, uh, USA is where I went shopping before they had, you know, well, in my area, we don't have a, you know, the, the, the uh, what's that big box store now? Is it micro PC or something? Micro Center? Micro Center. Micro Center. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. don't have those. But oh, when you I don't. Grew up, when I lived in Boston, they had yeah. tons of company USAs. Yeah. You can see we're off to a great start because it's not detected. So, you know, this this is going to be fun. You know, you, you think the simple Windows thing is... Windows 98. They, don't, they didn't like detecting anything. Oh, what, what do you mean? Windows 98? That's a solid OS. Ah. I mean, it never crashes or blue screens. Um, <laughs> never. Never. Ever, so, ever, ever, ever. Bio we'll see what's going on. Maybe I didn't plug it in. Is it plugged in? Is it turned on? You know, or maybe the jumpers are set wrong. So, but anyway, we'll, oh, we'll toy jumpers. a bit. Jumpers. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's jumpers. All right. Um, Master here, slave. Yes, you got it. Yes, the non the non inclusive jumpers. So we've got those. And uh, we'll work to see what we can do. Uh Oh, stuck key. Yeah. Yeah, I had found the fixed disk, but not the CD ROM. So stuck key. What? Press F1 to continue. Press F1. Yes. Yes, of course. Keyboard not detected. Press F1 to continue. Um, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, but yeah, it's Scarlet, Inter you're right. Uh, DOS 3.3 never blue screened. So. Enter setup to see the error. Yeah, we can. <laughs> and uh, this BIOS, God bless it. Oh, hey, it actually is detecting it. Huh. Weird. Well, maybe it is a Windows 98 thing, but I know the other two are detected. But this BIOS is so degenerate that you can only have one floppy drive, which is so freaking annoying. Um, you cannot hook a drive B into this machine. <laughs> so weird anyway yeah right so oh. but anyway we'll uh, we'll be playing with jumpers and uh hopefully we can get the power the tower of cd-rom power going yep Yumpers. more to follow Ooh, I see it's, lights. it's a good thing those aren't dvds that'd be a <laughs> lot harder to say yeah. Yes, uh, the, yeah. the power of DVD power. The tower of D what is wrong with me? Don't answer that. Yeah. Where do we start? Don't. Yeah, okay. we don't have enough. Yeah, we only have how many yeah. hours left in the stream? No, nope, can't do it today. Sorry. Oh, we have three, Chris. We're, we're three. Oh, that might be yeah. enough. Yeah. We'll probably cover it in that time. Or so, not. Chris, are all the warnings on those CD-ROM drives still Chris screened, or those or those stickers? Those are stickers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I don't want to take them off. I think they're cool. Nah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave them on there. All right, here we go. It's going to work this time. Every time I jump on the stream, nothing works. It's like a curse, but it's okay. That's why it's a repair stream. We get to fix things, you see? There you go. Yeah. Worst case, right. we'll try them in DOS. So, anyway, good times. How's everybody doing? Terrible. Doing good. good. Yeah? Ter terrible. Who said terrible, Joe? What's wrong, man? Garf. Oh, Garth? No. no. I said delicious. Delicious. Okay. That, that, it's good to be delicious, I guess. Delicious works. And yeah. Delicious. It tastes just like chicken. Mm. Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> so, uh, last failing floppy drive. Uh, yeah. So, so Chris. It, yeah. So, is that is that like the latest? Is that like the the latest BIOS you can put on that machine? It is not. Um, but if I put a later one on there, I'd lose my CompUSA branding. I, I was trying oh. to find a way to keep it, but gotcha. um, I even found a Phoenix BIOS utility that runs under Windows 98. Imagine that, but it wouldn't. I, I haven't been able to dump the BIOS and like pull the image out. So oh. until I figure that out, it's going to stick with uh, this older BIOS version. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hit it with a hammer. Yeah. yeah, we might have to hit it with a hammer. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> 
Hit it with a hammer. 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 Well, he's trying to get that case on there uh, to fully, you know, go flush. <laughs> so I was like, you might have to hit it with a hammer. So I, Those cases are good pain. Dude, they are an absolute pain. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I moved the, the jumper from one non-inclusive position to another non-inclusive position, and now it's protecting the drive. So that's oh, okay. good. Okay. We'll take it. All right. Yeah. But now the network's not working, so I don't know what that's all about. Can't have it all, folks. Not 98. <laughs> not 98. Yeah, that's freaky weird. So now I get it's distracted. Probably, it's probably an interrupt issue or something. No, it's me. I don't I think it might be the uh my Raspberry Pi is out to lunch. Yeah. Oh, lunch. Let's try another. Let's try the sound pie. Mm, pie. Another pie. I have lots of pies. Blueberry no. Pie, raspberry pie, chocolate pie. Mm, weird. I like pies. I'm telling you, I get on the stream and everything breaks. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, if, not everything cuz you fix the CD ROM part. This is true. Well, that's that's why it's a repair stream, Chris. Exactly, so. and and we need that. So we're going to fix everything today. I don't know what's going on. That's ow, 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 ow. Ridiculous. What? Okay. Hey, Bella. She's a pretty kitty. Hi, honey. Good times. Hi. So nice to see you, Starbuck. Uh, it's been a little while. I know. I guess yeah. I, I listened in earlier. You've been uh, working on Sundays, so it's good yeah. to pay the bills and uh, all that. So yeah. Yeah, work on Sundays. Uh, you know, got. This one off, so it was good. Yeah, that's good. It's uh, spring break uh, next week here, so all the all the all the kids are going to either Disney or something. It seems so. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah. As long as they stay south of me, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, nice. well, unless you live in Miami. Oh, good True. luck with that. Oh yes. Yeah, oh, I've, seen, I've seen some of the uh, the news and stuff like the fights mm -hmm. on the beaches and. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. The yeah. Like, oh, boy. Idiots are idiots. They were raising the parking to a hundred dollars and and running campaigns to say don't don't come here to our beaches and everything. I saw. Oh it's yeah. Too much trouble for they, them they, because they don't want it anymore because no. it's just it's not worth the the, the money they make. Yeah, I, right. I know it sounds bad, but yeah. Yeah. So no, I get it. Are... Well, too bad because I'm going to Florida this week. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> go visit Will? I don't know if I'll see Will. I just sent him a package. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to line up at the time. Package. <laughs> just just stay away from all those spring breakers. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're I'm just going to go to the beach. Anyway. Yeah, go to the beach. You'll have an experience. So, yeah, Volusia <laughs> County. So, that's uh, the parents that fell asleep on the uh, beach and... The kids were found wandering around on the beach. They fell oh, I saw drunk. that last night. The what? best part was the drunk guy got handcuffed and tried to run away, and then he broke his face open and had to get stitches. Oh, jeez. Oh, he knocked himself out. How old were the kids? i got to look this up. Five and seven, I think. Huh. They found him in a in a random hotel swimming pool. Oh, really? okay. Wow. <laughs> Cables. It's crazy. They fell asleep. They got. They, they found them on the beach, sleeping asleep on the beach, surrounded by booze bottles. Mm, or, imagine that. You know, beer, you know, beer. And it was beer cans. Yeah. They're like, we weren't <laughs> drunk, and they were like so passed out. The guy had to like bang on the guy's head. There it is. <laughs> I just don't get it. You know. Well, well you know, everybody yep. uh, sounds like yep. a little different. So uh, Adam Will <laughs> says, give me notice. I can take the train down and Uber to the location. OK, so, yeah, yeah, I'll be in um, a little bit south of Fort Lauderdale. It's like uh, Hollandale, Sunny Isles area. Oh, that's not that low. You shouldn't be yeah. drinking when you're taking care of your kids anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you I, can I, have I, a beer and stuff like yeah. that. Yes, but I'm, I'm, I'm like drinking, drinking. I had to stop myself because I didn't want to. You know, start sharing cool. opinions, but right. I'll just say I agree with you, and I'll just leave it at that. Because yeah, yeah. You shouldn't. Yeah, I, I, I agree. They, you you got to be responsible, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Don't you yeah. With your kids. yeah, you got to be responsible. Yeah. Yep. Jeez, Joe. Right? What? Is that really loud? Yes. Oh. Nah, it wasn't bad. Do it again. Nah. <laughs> okay. What? 
I, I forgot this is my uh, daughter's Christmas decoration from last oh. uh, year before last. Can you fix, Dad? Can you fix this for me? <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to fix it now. <laughs> you better. I know, huh? Well, you found it. You might as well do it. Otherwise, you'll forget yep. again. Yeah. Huh, Betty. Yep. Okay. You tell him, Betty. Tell him. Tell him like it is. Yep. That's right. Remember, Dave, we'll, we'll fight the Al Alzheimer. So <laughs> oh! Before you for we forget it. Just because he saw the Model T on the big screen doesn't mean he has Alzheimer's. Come on. We, we've been over this already today. <laughs> it's wisdom, Dave. Wisdom. Oh, okay, Don't let yeah, anybody yeah, tell you There different. you go. Wisdom. Yes. They just call me a wise arse, you know, so I, that's the wisdom I have. I've got more wisdom on my arse than most people have in their head. Well, I'm I'm not saying I don't, too, but, you know. Nowadays, I would definitely agree with uh, that. It's, uh, it's an interesting world we live in. Yeah. I mean, I'd be said nowadays, I'd be scared to send my kids to public school. Uh, the education system's horrible, and it's just like a, it's like a freak show in there. It's, 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 a lot of so much violence nowadays. I don't so, know. I actually have an interesting story on that. The other day, there was a fight at my uh, daughter's uh, middle daughter's school, oh. and the kid who broke it up was actually a politician's son. <laughs> 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 I thought, you know, he could have said something like, "My fellow Americans, we must stop <laughs> this." That would have been perfect. Apparently, he didn't, but that would have been that would have been clutch. <laughs> Hey, well, at least somebody broke it up. That's the yeah, biggest I know. problem is this. People. They were mad at him, too, for doing it. Yeah. Really? Because oh, they're yes. probably doing it for TikTok views, for all we know. Probably. I mean, that's the problem. Is the people sit there and film it. But that girl that got her head bashed into the ground is oh, now man. has, uh, like, uh, you know, bleeds and stuff in her brain and stuff. And, oh, no. That's yeah. awful. And, well, uh, let's find something positive to talk about. There's lots yeah, of yeah, stuff exactly. yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm watching the view numbers. Uh, no, kidding. But, you know, anyway. Um, <laughs> this stuff sells. What are you talking about? You're not wrong. I mean, that's why the... the, the that's news. my point. Yeah, no, you're, um, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh. Dogs. It's All confirmed. Right. It was a bad motor. Bad motor. We said, Dave and I said that at the beginning of the fix. This is a motor from another <laughs> floppy drive. Hey, nice job. Someone has suggested to me to try a different motor. It's an oh. easy thing. Was this the one where you were replacing gears earlier or something? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I hear... Okay. I know you started yeah, out. I wasn't things. sure. You know, to be yeah. fair, I, I just, you know, it was, they were all disgusting. Well, the know, gears had to be mess, changed regardless. So yeah. I wasn't yeah, sure if it was just still needed more, you know, lubrication yeah. or stuff. Or no, it really seems what? like it's the motor, just a weak. Okay. Now, can I fix the motor? Okay. It's a good thing no. you don't listen to me because I said keep the motor and throw the rest away. Yeah, you did. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, now I'm curious now. I mean, what is up with the motor then? I'm gonna, I'm gonna inject twelve volts into it. May just be getting old. <laughs> That'll make it work better. I think you need to ask motor it a question. Here. They get worn out. <laughs> motor in. What's your? What's your? Motor how does the song go? I don't remember. What's your fight for flight? That's it. <laughs> what? Better call motor a librarian. Call, call a librarian to get the lyrics. What's your something for flight? <laughs> what's your seating for the flight? <laughs> I don't know. Aisle thirty-six B. Thirty-six B. Next. I always sit in two A. Two A, I bet you do. Two A is the best. You're always in two A. Two B. Or not two B. Two A. What is your price for flight? Because then nobody wakes you up when you get to the bathroom. You'll be all right tonight. Hold on a minute. Motoring. What's your price for flight? So motoring, like you're driving, but now you're talking about flying. Who wrote those lyrics? Motoring. Christian. I'm sitting in four A. Night Ranger. You know, Night Ranger. Yeah. The song is bad. It never yep. should have been written. Yep. Amen. I'm sure it made him a lot of money, so. In that case, it should have been written. All right. All righty oh. then. Oh, yeah. that lot The lottery just hit $1.1 billion. Mm. Yeah. When I went to 7-Eleven yesterday to buy my daily big gulp, there were uh, people lined up buying tickets. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know that, that one person that thought that...
Everybody get some Wait, that, that, oh. it could be me. Be right back. Ooh, Belgium. That's fancy. Belgium, cool. Ooh. Oh. I have one going to my hometown in Westerville, Ohio. Ah, claws, claws. Oh, this cat right here. What's that, Joe? I have one package here going to my hometown of Westerville, Ohio. Oh, nice. Cool. Mm, something's not right there. I'm like, here. you can just drive up here and get it. You know that, right? It's fine. That saves yeah. a lot of, lot of uh, delivery fees. And they could have lunch with you. On this town, you can't. There's no place in this town to get lunch other than fast food. Oh, is that right? This town is garbage town. <laughs> you don't have like a restaurant restaurant? Oh, the, uh, we do, but they're all garbage. Oh. <laughs> you get better quality food at the fast food place. And no we kidding. have a Taco Bell, so that puts it into perspective. Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm a fan happy of Taco Bell. To, I'm happy to say Many I haven't eaten Taco Bell in a decade. Who's IT that I do that are also restaurants. Yes, I eat at your establishment. <laughs> I don't have any restaurants as customers. I see. Or do you? Mm. No, I don't. Where's my voltage? Why is this in shit? Check it out. <gasps> Crank the voltage up. It goes faster. Why, that? Ooh. Why isn't that working yet? I shouldn't put that much voltage. Right Nobody knows. No one knows. Da 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 da. That is so weird. It can't find the computer by name, but it can find it by IP address. Okay, well, our network is mapped again. Oh, Javier, that happens sometimes, though. What? Yeah. So and so and so address so and so Miami so and so. Well, who's yeah. using for power books? Put power two, books. Put two of them in there, please. You really need to? Yeah, yeah. actually, they do. If you don't mind. Javier, what'd you do to that poor uh, drive right there? It doesn't seem like the like uh, floppies anymore. This is actually my two dollar floppy drive that I bought. It's been dollars. retrofitted. It looks beautiful, like new, but now it doesn't. I don't know why it doesn't let floppies in, so I gotta open yeah. it again. Oh, boy. It, that's gonna be a pain. Like, what? You just put it together. <laughs> huh? You just put it together, didn't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Story of my life. Did you not <laughs> test it before you? I, I tested, open it, yeah, and it works. Oh, okay. This Jeez, drive you can't fix a floppy drive. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> cars on, cars on part twenty of his floppy drive. Like... I'm making progress, dude. I'm, I'm <laughs> closing in on it. <laughs> oh, you guys. We'll be we'll be copying Jared to this floppy drive before you know it. <laughs> what? I, what? What? All right, where is my there it is. <laughs> where's my grease that nobody says I should use? Uh, I'm not Good old gonna say Vaseline. Oh, yeah. not here, so I'm not going to say it. Vaseline. Okay, <laughs> 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 what? Well, oh my! As as the uh, hillbilly people around here call us, so where can I find the Kentucky jelly? Oh my god! Kentucky jelly. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. <laughs> call it Kentucky jelly. Dave, I'm sorry. Ow. I sat on my floppy emu. Is it fixed, oh, it, Dave? Oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good way All to right. break it. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. I got three more. Possessed. Oh. <laughs> okay, this Apple II is fixed. Oh. Uh, I have toilet, more storage toilet, area. KY Jelly. If you don't know what that is, look it up. <laughs> <laughs> You may wish to use an incognito tab to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, my my brother's a pharmacist, so he gets people asking him all the time where the the, the well in his old store. I used to work in a pharmacy in OTC and, and, and uh, the redneck part of Florida, part of Jacksonville. They ask, him, "Where's that Kentucky jelly?" I was told all sorts of different things. You have to know everything. Every all Jacksonville is redneck. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Nope. 
Oh well. That's a deep subject, Javier. Cheesecake. Oh, I was Thomas says put he cheesecake got in the chat and I missed it. What? Thomas says he got computer equipment from the KY Jelly Factory. I'll bet you the uh, fans in that will last forever. Hmm. Well, grease bear bearings. Yep. Well, grease balls. <laughs> oh my goodness! The children. Think of the children. <laughs> Trina's not here. I'm filling in. You're doing a fantastic job. Yeah. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Ball bearings. Blah, 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 blah. Somehow, somehow, life always comes back to that one subject. I can't explain it. Just the way we are. That's Man. the way it is. Okay. Let's see here. We got an IBM 5150 expansion box from them. It was spotless. Cool. I'm starting to believe that Frodo Jedi is not going to be right back. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> He nice. probably forgot and fell asleep on the couch. Most yeah, I likely. think so. He, he might be having a lunch or something. Oh, there you go. No, no, okay. he's still gone. That was just a flash. Yeah, he'll, he, he's, well, he might be dealing with it. You know, he's got chilling, so. Oh, this is true. Yeah. Well, that's important, so that's good. Yeah. Spend time with the kids is more important than hanging out with us, in my opinion. Uh-oh. It's way more boring, but it is more important. <laughs> 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 nice. Asking well, the as, way, as what did as you say, buddy? I can't understand you. <laughs> as seeing the news and stuff, and hearing about all kinds of all these Debbie dads. Not you know, again. We're gonna stay positive. Remember? <laughs> Come on, you're breaking the rules. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you guys hear about that whole train load of uh, puppies that exploded? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, no, there, that, there, there was some good news about puppies. If you want to hear about that, there was a bunch oh, of them that were rescued and got brand new homes. Oh, good. Okay, don't don't tell us where they rescued from, though, because that's yeah. well. It turns out, no. <laughs> Did you know the number one source of death in cats is feline AIDS? Have you seen the Debbie Downer from uh, Saturday Night Live? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my babies. <laughs> there you go. As I, as I reach, turn around and reach over, and there's Debbie a cat right there Downer. in hitting range. Yeah. <laughs> was that Rachel Dratch who played her, I think, or something? Oh. It's funny because once you look at the camera, there's about a 30% chance you start breaking up laughing. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I remember that too. <laughs> yeah. I think they were at Disney World once or something. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, why did we bring you? <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> oh, excuse me again. Here what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't stop, please. Not stopping delivered yet. Motor. Nothing up for delivery. Get me some gauze and stitches. Ooh, that is an expensive meal right there. Six burgers from Five Guys. That's oh, expensive. yeah. I'm talking about food. I'm getting Five food. Guys is expensive these days. <laughs> it's so good though. I mean, you're paying good. For Five Guys. I mean, you know. Why is oh. it jamming? My brother Wait. says, day one of using the jank station for Amber's contest. Oh. This thing sucks. Uh. <laughs> I, I was going to ask so her hungry. if I could reuse the one I oh, entered last year and make some mods on it. <laughs> oh, me so hungry. So hungry. <laughs> I thought you actually explained the song correctly. I'm like, what? <laughs> me hungry a long time. Oh, two life crew. Gotta love them. Yep. Nope. Nope, you don't. <laughs> Didn't then, don't now. <laughs> Here, Javier, I got you something. What, what, what? Emergency pizza. Ooh. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm hungry. Domino's. I, we had Domino's the other day, actually. They, ever since they did those upgrades like three or four years ago, they're actually out there. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly think their pizza crust is better than Pizza Hut's now because Pizza Hut went to the oh, frozen crap. It's all garlicky and uh, delicious. It's great. I, I missed the buttery, the original Pizza Hut pan pizza with the oh, yeah. buttery bottom. It was all oh, crispy yeah. and stuff. Oh. 
years ago. Yeah. That was awesome. Yes. They, when, as soon as they turned from that, it just went downhill fast. Yeah. I remember the, the Book It Reading Club program in elementary school where if you read enough books, you got a pizza. So I certainly read the books before I submitted <laughs> for the application. Well, what did you think oh. about the, the plot in that one? Oh, it was great. Where's my pizza? <laughs> Where's my pizza? <laughs> well, so Where's that's one thing uh, growing up that, that I did do a lot of was um, – was uh reading we our whole my whole family's huge readers and uh dave my brother says you can reuse but you got to go into the unlimited category unlimited. Okay. <coughs> oh that's joe i'm like what is that noise <laughs> that was joe <laughs> yeah i was Usually. like what the hell's going on the default answer is it's joe, it's joe. Oh, he's in the shipping station it's just joe I am dumb. Look at how stupid, how stupid I am. You you can't be stupid. We already confirmed that you've got more intelligence in your arse than some people have in their head a few minutes ago. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you got to remember back to 10 minutes ago. You can't change the narrative, you see. Oh, my goodness. How true is that, though? <laughs> I mean, considering how smart Joe actually is, it's... He's a smart guy. No, he's just smarty pants. No. Well, yeah. You can be that, too. Oh, blame it on his pants, not on him. Blame it on his pants. Smarty pants. Adam bought a Final Cut Pro laptop. laptop. The Final Cut Pro Enterprise. <laughs> oh. Let's do it's it a good looking laptop. What? How goes the uh, ornament fixing, Dave? Anything. What's that? How goes the fixing? I'm going. Um, I'm holding it together. So. Good. <laughs> so Literally. It gets stuck enough to <laughs> stay on its own. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is safe Actually, with his singing using, from invading um, uh, Marshes. Uh, if, if you want to enter uh, the stream, you just have to wait a few minutes because Dave's a little yeah. busy. We're, we're guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dave, if that were me, I would have super glued my fingers together. So well, we don't know well. he hasn't yet. He hasn't moved, so he, he oh, may be just like, I'm just holding it together here. Um, yeah. Help. <laughs> send help. Send emergency pizza. <laughs> Well, actually, I'm using professional grade uh, super glue. This is what I use Ooh. on acrylic. This is made just for acrylic and glass. Oh, nice. Um, but uh, if you get direct connection, it's it's five seconds. It's done. Wow. But this it's not a direct. It's it's got some gaps and stuff. So I'm waiting for it to, to bite into it, and then it'll be good. Very cool. But you would you glue this down to acrylic? That's what I've been what I use in that art project I'm still working on. Um, it uh, you, you'll break the acrylic before you. Break we only it. son of a Kirby. Oh wow. Well. Uh -oh. Joe says go. So the bond is that strong? It'll break the acrylic before the before yeah. the glued joint. That's really something. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> We won't call that over-engineered. We'll just call that right-sized engineered. How about that? <laughs> right-sized, yes. Ah. Ooh, I got an email from Joe's Computer Museum. Oh, yeah. Ooh, your item has shipped. Hells yeah. Woohoo. Just ship it. Ship it. Ship it real good. <laughs> you can ship all sorts of things. You can ship your shirt. You can ship your pants. There's all kinds of things. Yep. Ship. Yeah, absolutely. Ship it good. Mm. <laughs> Pretty. So is that two drive, two dollar a drive, going to be a go? Yep. 
Nice. Cost me two fifty exactly and twelve dollars shipping. <laughs> That's the way it goes usually. <laughs> Dave Starbucks says he ships says he shipped his pants twice last week. Well, that's good. We hopefully made it to your destination. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Very nice. Looks like it's a nice color and everything. Doesn't need a retro bright or anything. Well, I, I just yeah. finished retro brighting it. Oh, that would be why then. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice they job. A lot of big letters over here. Uh huh. They're gone. Oh, gone. Yep. Was it written in Sharpie? Yeah. Some kind of numbers. Yeah. Yeah. How do you uh, how do you get how how do you get Sharpie off? Do you use alcohol or uh, yeah, alcohol. Alcohol. And actually, when you put retro on top of it, it begins to get faded. Oh. So yeah. okay, neat. Yellow and ugly. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and grab something to eat. Thanks to you guys okay. because you were talking about food. Now, ah. Bob, you make sure you bring back enough to share. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll be back. All right. Order a couple of meat, couple of emergency pizzas. Okay. Oh, okay. Emergency pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh goodness. Yeah. Ooh, look at all the speedy Gonzales. Look at all that files moving. Yeah, it's uh. So the first drive, I don't know if you guys saw it, but it, I think it's possessed because when I put the uh, the the what is it, the pitted CD, the manufacturer, what's the best way to say? It? Yeah, burned CDs, and then you have like pitted, like the ones that are done by a manufacturer, right? Non-burned commercial CDs. CDs. Commercial yeah, I put that in, and the drive ejected, and it went and ejected, and it ejected, and went out. like okay, this thing is possessed. So maybe I'll try cleaning the laser, but I moved on to the next one. And uh, anyway, you know, as long as these kind of work, that's all I really care about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I this should. one's obviously copying files, so that's a good thing. It is. It did have one error, but I started over, and it seems happier now. So we'll see if it makes it to the end or not. And uh, I mean, if how, not, oh well, we tried. How old are these drives? Do you think? I, um, let's find out. So, okay, manufacture date of April two thousand and one. Is that clear? Ah, there we go. Uh, yeah, twenty three years old. Twenty three years old, and that nice Ooh. warning stickers. Oh, come on, focus camera. Still intact. Uh like your thumb. Okay. It's focusing well, we, on the, the text on the screen. It is. Yeah. It's funny. No, we'll fix that. It's like Bye. Trump you say. Oh yes. And that didn't make it now, any better. Now okay. it's focusing on the text in the background. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold my beer. We can we but can, I can't we can fix my it. beer glass is empty. Oh, I see. If we go here, go to camp. Oops, wrong camera. We go to this camera, settings, and we go zoom, zoom, zoom. Then maybe we'll be able to see it. Get a boom, boom, boom. Or we go boom, zoom, zoom. Oh, neat. This one's got like really fine grain zoom ability. Wee. Uh, or not. Oh, weird. So, like half the range is that. And then I can keep zooming and it does nothing. That's awesome. Oh well, we tried. <laughs> nice. <laughs> If at first you don't succeed, then maybe success is not for you. That's just the way it is. So. Well, I'm calling it. I'm saying this <laughs> this this stupid uh, motor is just too weak for some reason. Too weak. It's mm. old. Yeah. It just it wore itself out. I gotta Can work better cross... by bending the bottom case on the motor chassis, the motor compartment, but it would actually work. But it's still it's getting further, but it's still too weak. Whatever's wrong with uh, it, it's too weak. Yeah. It, it, like I said, it's just it's just probably you know dying. You know, just yeah. losing it. It's lived a good the, life. Um, the uh, copper windings, you know, they're breaking down. They're getting a lot of resistance in them. So. Just double the voltage to it. It'll work great. <laughs> yeah. Double, oh, yeah. There you double go. the voltage. Double the phone. Mm -hmm. uh. I don't think. You know what's funny? I wonder if that'd be bad. 
I probably do somewhere. Early on when I was fixing this stuff, that I, drives. Across, I would just like I couldn't figure out how to fix it, so I just put it away. Yeah. And uh, with a Good note or whatever. So I guarantee you now I, I know way more now about fixing stuff than then than probably have one with a good motor net. Nice. <clears throat> well, I'm sure you got a plenty of motor stash around somewhere. Oh, I wonder if so you can cross reference guys. it. I doubt it, but I mean it, maybe maybe not as many as Adam. I mean Adam has shelves of <laughs> floppies. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> Now, the funny thing is, I don't know if I have many actual floppy drives left anymore, because I think a lot of them I've already fixed. What I have a lot of is extra CD-ROM drives that have seconds. one issue or another. Is it yeah. going to complete without errors? Is it going to do it? That's okay. Be all right to back. All right. Well, hmm. Can you download new motors? Possibly. I have a box of quote unquote broken drives in my garage. <laughs> so I'm like, that the, I'm kidding myself. I'm the, like, I'll put these away for future, future technology to resurrect them. <laughs> ah, what you need is an everything is broken garage. You can just keep all the Shit. broken drives in there. And uh, yeah. It's actually in pretty good shape. I'll just keep this one for now on. You can there you go. Hey, Frank's back. Hey, there he is. It, it took me it took me longer than anticipated, but I found something for Dave. Oh, I thought you were driving to my house and back. I was wondering where you were. <laughs> well, I probably oh, could nice. have been there just as my bad motor. <laughs> I got an 800k floppy drive. Ooh, neat. Where is Dave? His hand, he's stuck. He was gluing something together, and we I'm haven't right seen him since. Oh, he's there. Okay, I'm here. Um, can you see, see that? Dave? Yeah. Graham says hi. Cave floppy drive. Oh, nice. nice. Hello, Graham. Excellent. Thank you. That's what you needed, right? Yeah. It took drive, me a. Yeah. Uh, it took me a bit. I had to do some Indiana Jones like uh, excavation in the storage unit. <laughs> do, 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 do. Climbing, climbing over stuff and under stuff. It belongs in a museum. Did you knock over the statue? No, I didn't. But I also brought something back, Chris. Oh, hey! Oh, good. Um, so that I could do that 486 build. When you power that on for the first yep. time, get ready. Those have those nasty little yellow tantalums on it, and you'll get a smoke show, okay. almost guaranteed. You might, mm, you might just replace oh, them just outright the first. I, I, br cool. I brought new caps as well. Good. Frodo yep. back, back I again. I remember you telling me about it. Yeah. Yeah, you'll you'll get a smoke show, all right. Cool. Can we see? Connect the dots. La, la, la. I, went, I went and brought back a few boxes of stuff. Did you go to one of your storage units or something? Yeah. Nice. Recently yeah. on eBay, Kevin Moonlight found a 32-bit B Silico Bus network card. Oh no, kidding! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I brought that. Yeah, I brought the text the text up. Ooh. Ooh. One of the an Apple I have no too. idea what that is, but that looks cool. Uh for testing Apple like Mac computers. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got the, he's got an original tool. one. Oh, hoy, hoy. oh the hey. other the Darth Eagle is here. I remember hey. Ron had sent me a color cartridge Excuse already me. that I could take apart. Joe, oh, I have yeah. the I have the twin because we, you we both got it from the same person. Yup. Oh, you and Joe got one from the same person. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I remembered uh, thinking about it earlier that Ron had sent me a color cartridge so that I could change the ribbon, and uh, I found it today. Okay. <laughs> so it was one of cool. the things I went to get. Yeah. Oh, look at Did that. you ribbon in what? Uh, in the driver. cartridge. You gotta yeah. put oh, a new, a new colored ribbon in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Retro Tech or Die has been doing amazing things with uh, cartridges. He uh, 
he came up with a way to fix my Panasonic printer cartridges. Well, there'll be a video oh, on it awesome. before too long. Yeah. Um, awesome. But he basically 3D printed new wheels because the little wheels in there degrade. And actually, yeah. he did the same for the Image Raider, too. So, well, that's uh, this. That's what this is. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Neat. that's what I'm hoping to okay. build a nice. replacement one for. Cool. With some cables. Ooh, goody. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I had to go get some wire, some project wire. I've got all different colors of project wire here. Yeah. Yeah, Francois, you're right. It's with O-rings. Sorry, I just put you your name. But yeah, um, for the Panasonics, we tried O-rings, but we had to actually 3D print something to get it to work. And it took a couple of iterations to get it going. Um, so. Yep. Progress takes hey, effort. It's, it's great that he's figured. You know, people figure out yeah. the fixes for these things. You know. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased. Let me tell you. And then I got on eBay and found a, a three new ribbons that somebody was selling for twenty dollars. So they're on their way. So that's exciting. So yep. We will. Uh, awesome. We will be able to print in color from my Pantasonic printer. So there's an right. old worn out ribbon, but not half bad. You know. Yeah. Oh, there's no color. That and I went and got some lubricant for the printer. Uh, oh, did you? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, there, there yeah. it is. Yeah, well, you can see. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, the ribbon's a little worn, obviously, but yeah. I've got new ribbons on the way, and I've got the little wheels that that's awesome. uh, that Mike has 3D printed, so we'll Happy be able to print them in there. Day. Awesome. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. I'm it's, very original. What can I say? It's just a fad. Printing in color is not going to last for a long time. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, that's what here's you the said future. about email. Email. Nobody will have uh, use paper anymore. In the future, in the future, they're going to create printers called inkjet printers, and the cost of the ink is going to be more than that of human blood. So that's that's where he's predicted the future. There you go. Well, I, I always said they should give you the printer free because they make the money on the refills. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They and make they pretty your money much back a hundred times. They sure do. And uh, the first yeah. cartridges they give you with the printers too are also lower capacity. So they've yeah, yeah. they've definitely got that figured out for sure. Yep. He's everyone. You missed it. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> oh. Can we do an ad spot for JCM-1.com? Are you are you playing the Commodore thing again? No God, please don't. Yeah, yeah, please. Is no. that what it is? Uh, who In said the that? World of high technology. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jay. He's not here. Got bomb music does that, doesn't he? He's not here. There you go. Uh there we go. Last time. Go to jcm-1.com and buy now. All, right. all the things. Buy all the things. All the I'm looking forward to those PS2 memory chips hitting the store. That's right. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, no. They're on the way. Yeah. I'm waiting for the, uh, should have it this week. Uh, Will sent me the, uh, for my uh, Quadra, the uh, socket and then the, the ROM. So now we'll have uh, a ROM drive on it. Would it be cool? So, yeah. 8 meg ROM drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 8 megabytes? Yeah. 8 megabytes. Windows 98 is so freaking unstable on this PC, I swear. What is the deal? Don't badmouth Windows, ever. <laughs> well, it is Marchintosh. I should, I should. It's Marchintosh. Yes. Wow, Just that's like totally reader. locked up. Yikes. Oh, well, we tried. <laughs> hey, Dave, your box is all locked up and ready to go out. Oh, awesome, Joe. Thank you. All right. I got a notification about my box. Yay! It said, thank you for reading at the bottom. <laughs> thank you for reading? Yeah, that's what it said at the bottom of the thing. <laughs> nice. It said, thank um, you yeah, for I reading. Just, I just got your notification, Dro. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I just got a notification, too. But it wasn't, it wasn't about JCN-1. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It said to stand up on my watch. So, stand oh, up on your tells watch. Me that, too, yeah. Yeah. It's up sitting. Oh, no. oh, I see. Gotcha. That's uh, good. It's good to be active. That's right. 
But there will be no elliptical video for me today. I've already been. Sorry. I know you're all disappointed. Oh, oh my God. Uh, Plus, Tom Barber. Highlight not here. of my day. <laughs> oh. I just, I cannot believe Tom did that. Uh, it was just, funny. That was, I was dying laughing when I watched yeah. that. Yeah. That was really funny. <laughs> If you slow it down and you put the Baywatch music, it's fantastic. Ouch. <laughs> I don't think I'd be a candidate for that. <laughs> Just saying. Some people stand in the darkness. Jeez. Oh, afraid to get into the light. You scared me. Sing it, Joe. Drop my, Drop my chip. I am, I am no David I, Hasselhoff. Joe's like, huh? I'm busy doing stuff. Wasn't what paying attention. <laughs> you know when they made the show, it was either going to be David Hasselhoff or Joe Strassenheider. Oh, true. They, they went I the was six when that show started on the television. That's Pretty why really? they went the other way. They thought it was a bit <laughs> weird. Yeah, that would have been a little odd. He said, what is this, Nickelodeon? <laughs> yeah. We'll <laughs> save that for Hannah Montana. <laughs> Just kept repeating, jcm-1.com. It was very weird. Yeah. When I grow up, I want to start jcm-1.com. There you go. He did it. And he did. You he did sure it, did. boy. And the rest was history. The Amazon of retro. Retro computing. Yes. I'm into retro computing. I use a 2018 Mac Mini. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I think what you're going to have to do to really launch jcm-1.com is to sell some books. I heard Ooh. that's a good start. Yeah, I've heard about that too. Start as the bookstore and then progress. And then, act, no, then what you need to do is, oh, Joe, you're all set for this. Because the next thing you do is offer web services and make more money off of that than that's your right. Yeah, You're all set for J this. <laughs> we'll, call it J we'll call it JWS. I'm not it's even like, kidding. I love how enthused he looks. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're triggering him now. He's like, I've had enough of that from Monday through Friday and then a little bit on Saturday when I got called and I'm done. Actually, if you look at him, he's he's kind of staring at Jason and falling in love directly on stream. <laughs> I don't think so. I think he's all set there. I love his response face. I, I'm married to the love of my life, so you can take your comment and like – Uncommon. Yeah. Hey, we Jason, can all fall in love with Jason. You're, you're, Let's you're not nice and all that, but like, no thank you. Yeah, I think wow. he's all set. I think Joe's all set. So that's good. Uh -oh. And he's out. Nope. Oh, he's not. Nice. He's oh, the shipping to. station. Okay. Shipping station. There you go. The shipping station, Retro Techie. There you go. Plus, Graham's got to be cool as hell. He's got a <laughs> nice. That works. <laughs> good. Are you working on your your uh, your bolts over there, Dave? I'm working on a Christmas tree. Well, you get it ready early. He does. Actually, wait. Just in time for Easter. Uh, I've only had this for uh, about two years. Uh, I'm surprised my daughter hadn't asked me about it yet. So yeah. <laughs> she's going to be so surprised. <laughs> Uh, she will be. She goes, I forgot I gave that to you. <laughs> Apparently, you forgot you gave it to you, too. I did. <laughs> Great. Now it's going to be stuck in my head, Joe. Okay. I'm going to remember. I'm gonna have to put it in a... I have to put it in a nice box. Oh, I know. When I get that box from Joe, that'd be the perfect size for it. I'll put it in there. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> be right cycling your box, Joe. And you can use the packing stuff to keep it safe. And they're both. Uh, they both have computer science degrees. So guess what? I'll put your that your uh, advertising on there, and you might get some business from them. There you go. Oh yeah, Dave. Okay. Uh, you're. Uh... 800k floppy drive that I'm sending you has had an Ivy League education. Ooh, from Harvard? It, no, it came from Cornell. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Yeah. yeah, it came with some stuff I got from Cornell. Wow. They're only like 30 minutes, 35 minutes from my house. 
Oh, really? Wow. Yep. I'm getting sick of building this damn thing already. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you about halfway done with tester. it? Oh, the ribbon? Yeah. I gotta be. No, no, not the ribbon. The retro tip tester. Yeah, I've got to be more than halfway done. I don't have a whole lot more to put on. It's just holy crap. I know, but there's a I mean, lot. You're showing me all those two bags of components. There's a lot of components going that thing. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. What I I'm frustrated a little bit about is uh, LEDs are, uh, you know, they have a plus and a minus. You can't just put them in backwards. Um, but they don't put any indicator on the board as to which direction they go. Oh. Do you can't so put it Look it up. <sighs> An LED is a, is a diode. You can test it yeah. as a diode. True. Oh, that's, what is it? Sorry, go ahead. You know how you can test a diode with your multimeter? Uh, yeah. An LED is just a diode. So if you put your your multimeter in diode mode and then hook it up, you can see if it's that's it'll help you tell which way is, which one's positive, negative, like. Oh yeah, no. What I'm saying is, is the LEDs themselves have a long leg and a short leg, but on the board itself, there's no indication of which is positive and which is negative. Oh. On the circuit board. Um, Use continuity to see which one of them comes to ground. Goes to ground. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good there idea. You go. Thank you. Yep, that, that'll that's a good actually idea, save Adam. a lot of. That'll actually save a lot of time. Thank you. No, their instructions on this thing are horrible. That sucks. Yeah, they no instructions. They send the like pictures, and you got to look at the pictures and put it together. I was trying to make the output of this thing run into one of the inputs of this thing, so I could stream its own screen, but. Oh, that'd be cool. It's hilarious because the output, the RGB output of the display, the mirror, is 1280 by 800, which is not a supported input resolution. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> what if you put it into an Xtron? I just did that, and that does work, but um, it's not an extra piece want. of equipment I didn't want to have to yeah. use for this, especially since this already has RGB out. Yeah. But I'll try it with a cheap VGA to the HDMI scaler. <laughs> That gotcha. probably will do 1280 by 800. Mm, I got yeah, this really so cheap because the hard drive was bad in it. The buzzer. They labeled the positive on the buzzer. Well, that's good. Well, that's good. The buzzer says, remove seal after washing. What am I washing? Remove seal after washing? Yeah, it says it right on the buzzer. Remove seal after washing. Washing? Yeah, I don't know why I would wash the buzzer. It's dirty, but other than that, I wouldn't think so. It's a little weird. That is odd. <laughs> like, power wash it? Like, take it out back with your power washer? Give it a yeah. good spray down? I don't know if they, <laughs> like... I, I'm guessing maybe they plan on people, uh... uh what do they call it? Oh! Cleaning, maybe? Yeah, that would so make sense. Ball. After they oh, put the whole thing together, washing. That's the first. That's the first time I've ever seen a tag on a buzzer that said that. Easy way. Keeping up with the Commodore. Oh, God, no. please, no. You are not this keeping up with the Commodore, and the Commodore is not keeping up with you. So you can just <laughs> stop that. You're too wild. Oh, <laughs> this thing has auto wipes. Huh. That's kind of neat, actually. That goes here. <laughs> you can go slow. It no. goes this way. The arrow.
one and a half of the color bars. Frank, what are you building anyway? I missed that part. I am building the Retro Chip Tester Pro. Oh, neat. And I am getting close to done, I hope. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I got uh, most of it put together. Oh, wow. It's a lot of pieces. That's like a building a whole computer, yeah. basically. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Good. Pretty much. Now, one oh. good thing is, is they do put the microcontroller already on there for you, the clock crystal, uh, the couple things that are a pain in the butt to put on. So at least that's awesome. <laughs> Sweet. But yeah, it's coming along. It's just, it says, please a lot for four to six hours. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, uh, you've been on it a uh, good, good four hours. Yeah, I would, I would say, say at least because uh, I left to go get that stuff at storage and come back. So, yeah, probably not that. It would probably only take about uh, four hours if, if the instructions are a little bit more clear. Uh, yeah, if they actually <laughs> had real instructions, that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh. I'll be back in a minute. All right. All right, everyone, I'm going to take off. All right, it's that time Great again. Play. All right. Great so evening. Farewell. Great afternoon. Good and good. <laughs> uh, all right, Garth. Hey, good thanks enough. a lot. Uh, all right, I will see you all later. All right. Bye. Have a good one. Enjoy see your ya. afternoon. Bye. All right. Bye. Well, this looks like a good time. No, it didn't work. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you working on, Dark Eagle? Uh, uh, it's called a Victoria 20, I think. Oh. A Victrola. Doesn't Rudy's Retro Intel did a video on that uh, yesterday, the day before. Here. <laughs> Are you keeping up with Tamari? You're muted, Jason. Talk all at once now. Yeah. You're you're right muted, now. Jason. He doesn't have his headphones on. Yeah, took his headphones <laughs> off. Yeah. The uh the smell of the cat pee behind <laughs> talk to him. So <laughs> Yeah. 
she's too busy. How are those? Uh, how's the tower of CD power going, or Chris? Okay, so the first drive, which was possessed, has been put off to the side over here on top of the dot matrix printer because that's where it belongs. Um, <laughs> and other than that, the second drive is passed. It's over here. Okay. I'll probably give these other drives in the machine a more thorough test, but we're on drive three. Okay. And uh, I think so far, so good. So oh, good. Um, when I get up here in a minute, I'll get some uh, alcohol and maybe we'll try to clean the lens on the uh, ma the Malfeasian drive and see if it behaves a little better. But it was like yeah. spitting. The, it kept on popping out after I put a disc in. And something's goofy yeah. about it. So, not, yeah. But yeah. Not, um, like, not liking it. Yeah. Yeah. But I got a pretty good deal on these seven drives or so. So uh, is that how many there are? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Seven <laughs> drives. So, um, you know, if one of them's bad, that's okay. I'll, uh, I'll be happy, but, uh, yeah. yeah, but yeah, so far so good. Um, it's just slow. I mean, you can see like it's three minutes out of like, however many the windows progress bar decides for copying one disc. Uh Oh, well, we'll give it another chance, but, uh, and it failed, but, uh, yeah, you know, it works about as well as they did back in the day. <laughs> uh. Uh, I don't think that uh, I don't think that a, this Pentium 2 system is really friendly chipset wise with uh, Windows 98. So mm. yeah, it's having its druthers. But yeah, okay. but yeah. After this, we'll test the final two that are on the desk, and then maybe I'll test those in there. And we'll see what we get. Yeah, cool. the wrong one. This one. Yeah. Hey, look, it's his brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw Dave. Yeah. They were talking there for a little bit. I think they still are. <laughs> <laughs> I he was a made-up person. Showing off. Ooh, it's hot. So yeah, the strangest thing happened earlier. I um, and it's done it again on my phone. When I was when I was uh, on the elliptical and trying to watch on my phone, it seems like the YouTube chat switches from top messages, all messages to top messages, and then you don't see new messages. And there's like this little settings thing over here. You press, you know, the little circuit looking thing, and if you press yeah. that, you can then switch it to all messages. So I don't know how long that was misset, but it seems like it did it again. So if anybody's ever watching and not seeing the chat move, that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's an admin thing. I don't know. But yeah, that was odd. So why would it why would it default to not showing you uh, all messages? Yeah, anyway, that's a little weird. It is kind of odd. Yeah. I found that strange. All right. Let's go back to less of me and more of the computer. There we go. Yeah, because the last one was from Garth. Yeah. Yeah. No, I saw you highlighting comments, and I'm like, I don't see those comments in the in the chat log. Where's he finding those? And uh, yeah, they were <laughs> they were filtered out. I'm like, oh my, it's not a side effect of my allergy medication. It really is. Uh, you know. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, um, Thomas Mega Rochester. He yeah. He finally found his parts for his tech tech step. <laughs> oh, oh really? He was he'd been looking for him. He moved him somewhere and he couldn't find him. So now, now I can all, finish all the time. <laughs> all right, twenty two minutes remaining, and this will be a good C D drive for sure. For sure nice. it will. Oh hey, cubicle Nate. Hey. hey Nate, how you doing? Gosh, I haven't seen you for a long time. I uh I distracted his live stream the other day. He was talking about Open Media Vault, which is a you know a way to share files. And I'm like, oh, I use that for retro computers. It got him all off all off topic. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, I hey Nate, I on um, right back. on uh, Twitter, I sent you a link. Check your messages. You sh should be on there. I sent it to you. This Hold morning. on. Check your battery. <laughs> yep. Yeah, from Sister Act. Love it. Not the right. 
populate okay. PS4 right, got it. or PS4. There you go. All right, Nate, there you go. Hey, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> How is hey. everybody? Good. Yeah. Long time to see, man. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? We, I had like one family thing after another. Like my, I had a, my brother and his family going back to Europe. And then so that was one Sunday. And then last Sunday was um, for whatever reason, I decided to make corned beef and cabbage for like my extended family. So I did like a big thing for that, you know, because it's oh, St. Wow. Patrick's Day. And then, and then this is like the first weekend where I, I literally have nothing in my way. I uh, and yes, by the way, I loved it having Chris um, throw throw a wrench in my whole whole weekend. That yeah, was great. Yeah. So I, I, I really, I really, I really enjoyed Retro Tech. Chris is like just set me down an absolute gigantic water uh, um, um, wormhole, rabbit hole, whatever. So good for you, good for you, Chris. Th thanks for thanks for that. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm trying to figure here. out why uh, so I've been, I've been doing updates and all, on a lot of my systems and mm -hmm. on this one here the OBS video sync to do like the um, the, video for Linux, the video for Linux loopback module the virtual cam isn't working it's like it's not there it's, not, it's, it's, it's the same software that I have on the other one and that's working so I don't know what's going on here I must have done something stupid it's Linux. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Hey, my my yesterday last night stream. Um, all of a sudden, my something went crazy with the Bluetooth went on Zoom, and then it actually kicked me out. I was in the middle of streaming when this happened, mm -hmm. and then my um, my audio sync to be able to pick up my microphone and send out to YouTube didn't work, so I had to pipe it a different way to get it to work. And I don't know, just. Wow. I made it. I, I made it. I made it function. So you made it. You right. made it angry by the sounds of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're probably you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I was watching uh, catching up on Halo last night, and I totally forgot about the <laughs> the, the stream. Uh, you, you know, you've got to do what you got to do. I'm not. I'm not here to tell anybody that's be part of anything. I'm not offended anyway. Maybe somebody else might be, but I, I certainly wouldn't be. Well, considering how many streams of this stream I've missed lately because of work. I've noticed, actually. Yeah, I started working Sunday, so. Doesn't anybody know that, like, it, it says it very clearly in the Bible that Sundays are the day of retro tech, I think. Didn't it say that? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is that, Francois? I don't, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna do this. What Francois says, mod probe. Oh, okay. It's, okay, I was looking at it. I think it was stuff. installed. Maybe something like decided not to install. Hmm. Let's see if hmm. this stuff is updated. All right, but I I tried to get on my 5G network this morning, and it I, it just would not uh, it would not sync, so I couldn't get it to to switch over to it. So. All right, since it's not installed, but I'm going to try and install, I'm going to install this then. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I actually had a Naboo project I was going to work on. Naboo! Oh, so, Ooh, yeah, so. You mean Naboob? Naboob. <laughs> that would make yeah, that's... it better, correct? Yeah. Um, what am I doing? Oh, okay. Okay. You're, You're working on an orders. HDMI CRT. Hey, Ginge. Hey, Gigi. What you doing, you orange cat? What would you, so, Joe? Do you do your shipping? Do you do it like uh, like uh, once a week, every other day, or how how do you do it for your business? I do my shipping uh, every Sunday. Okay. All orders between Saturday and the following Friday get shipped on Sunday. They get packed on Saturday and then shipped on mm -hmm. Sunday. Okay. Ooh. I was just curious. Hey Dave, you know what I'm doing? Where what? is he at? Where is he? Oh there he is. Ooh, that's very blue. That's like the blueberry Mac. It's a commodore. Oh, is that a commodore? Oh. Well, that's that's cubicle Nate. 
That's not that's not Adam. There he is. Oh my oh that hurts the eyeballs. Yes. I love that color blue. It's such a calming blue. Oh that's why you're a Commodore person. <laughs> I'm keeping up with the Commodore. <laughs> uh, oh god. Yeah, I just got no, this. No, you're uh, not. The C one, the C sixty four, C I guess. I don't know. I got it unknown condition. I plugged it in just now. It just worked. Nice. So I guess the condition is now known. Yeah. Yes. And it's good. All right. Hello. I don't know anything about these computers. I just know they're the most <laughs> glorious, wonderful, happy place you can possibly be in all the world. Yeah. <laughs> this one came in. Not the that I'm box. biased. But I didn't use the original power supply that was with it. I used this uh, this weird one I got off somewhere that has an output on it to hook a 15412, which I don't have. Okay. Mm. All right. So those two There's are lights now inside of it. updated. Oh, cool. Okay. Anyway, you can take it off me. I just okay. never use Commodore stuff, and it's kind of weird. <laughs> So when you say weird, are you saying it's unwelcome or just foreign? <laughs> yes, it's foreign. I have like a hundred Apple things in here, and there's only two Commodore things in, uh, three Commodore things in here. There's You're a celebrating Marchintosh by uh, yeah. playing with it. Yeah, I mean, I could fix a Mac 128 or something, oh. but everybody else is doing Mac, so that's ah, boring now. I got you. <laughs> so. Marchandor. Yeah, there you is go. There, is Mark, there a Commodore Mark. month? I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> there was an Omega for Amiga, I think, maybe. I don't know. I think every month is Commodore month. There uh, you go. We can go with that. Because you made they made new Commodore. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, wow. I mean, I'm I the Apple a, tech like... guy. I have to say that I am required by contract with Apple Corporation to say that. Listen, Please. I got, I've got a. Commodore 64 next to uh, Apple IIc over here, and they've been getting along for years. They, they're actually... <laughs> they, they actually put, my Apple my IIs shelf... are here, and the Commodores are over there, and I have to keep them separated to get into fights. Oh, on my yeah. shelf upstairs, I put the original boxes for the Commodore 64C <laughs> and the Apple IIc right next to each other. I was calling it my C collection. Do I they see eye out. to eye? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Uh, I couldn't think I needed more computers with a C in it. And somebody said I needed to get a BBC. I'm like, nah. I got, an, I got an Electron. Ooh. I love how so, Bryce set up so, an account so I, have, I still can't log in. Yes. Uh, have, have you had a chance to work on your little video submission for me? On our, uh, we're, <clears throat> we're, we're doing the Macintosh version of the Commodore commercial. I, you know, I, I don't feel like I've got the, the, the creative chops to do anything that's worth, <laughs> that's worth anything for you. I mean, but I, I have some thoughts, but they all either make me look like dumber than I actually am, or maybe actually showing me in my the true self. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll. I was... <laughs> I was considering doing the um, running by in in the uh, um, in the running shorts that that beginning scene, nice, uh, just that part. But but I, again, it's, it comes back down to that. You know, do I really make myself look that stupid online? I don't know. <laughs> what's the what's the um, what's the when do you have to have it by? Well, I was I we're not going to make it. But I was going to have it at the end of March, but we're not going to make it because there's that, still a lot of people that's yeah. they're they're get, sending me stuff. And so uh, the, the music is all ready to go. I just need to do, get all the clips. Uh, Garth sent me stuff. Uh, Mac, uh, Mark Macintosh sent me stuff. Uh, Eric is sending me stuff. Um, uh, who else? Uh, a couple of people sent me stuff. I keep forgetting names here. But I still have room to put more clips and stuff in it. And I, I want to fill it up as much as I can. But uh, and it'll have it'll have a, all kinds of effects and stuff in it and uh, yeah. But I was gonna try to have it out for March and Tosh, uh, but it's it's probably gonna be in April now. So uh, April Tosh, April Tosh, <laughs> whenever April Tosh, two. <clears throat> April two. There you go. April. It'll be April two. That's right. It happens when it happens, Tosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Fair uh -huh. enough. 
Well, you don't you don't have to do a jogging scene. Uh, just uh, <laughs> just uh, just just sit down in, at a desk or something and uh, act like you're typing on it, and then turn to the camera and do your salute. There you I go. have a question though about this no, video. No, oh, no Lord. speaking parts. Okay. No, I have a question. You yes. said to send you the video, but then you said another scene that you wanted me not to wear a shirt, and I'm kind of confused why you need me to take my shirt off for this. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see your, we want to see your, your shredded abs. Oh. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so yeah, so I mean, it, and you know what? What's that? I will, I will make it happen. Is there, uh, where, where should I submit it to? Is there, is there, uh, you know, I'll, I'll message you on, on the, um, on the Zwitter, X Twitter, yeah, you whatever it's called these Discord, days. Yeah, you you can send well, me the link. On, you can send me the link on there. Uh, you can. Okay. You're not in our. Are you in our Discord? I am. I am. I, I'm just. Oh, I'm very just, terrible about being in Discord. Just DM me on Discord. Okay. Just send me your MP4 file or off your iPhone. You know that kind of thing. Twitter. Gotcha. Wave file. Idea. Whatever. Um. <clears throat> so I. I would say I was thinking about this whole Twitter X thing, and I've been calling it Twix, but that <laughs> Twix, I love it. Good. Oh, I, love yeah, good that. I like that. That's, That's great. great. Twix. Oh, I'm but stealing Twix. that idea. <laughs> Obviously confusing, and then there. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm done with that statement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, um, but then there's also like, um, and it was it. Uh, uh, Microsoft had a Xenix Unix system yeah. in the 80s. Yeah. So hey, go bomb. like, so Zwitter would be kind of like X Twitter, right? Zwitter. So yeah. it's kind of a, a X, but I, but I guess Twix one. Never mind. I like Twix. <laughs> yeah, Twix. That's, that's that's really. Perfect. And you well, said you weren't Twix creative. Mix. You said you weren't <laughs> well, creative. And you came up I, with that. I didn't come up with that. I just oh, you didn't? There, there was no no I didn't come up with that. I see. It's a candy from a long time ago. So. Well, yeah, I know. I, <laughs> but you came up with this concept of calling Twitter X Twix. I think no. I think I'm sure somebody. I'm sure like oh, there's okay. a billion people doing that already. <laughs> All right. See, see, uh, I Nate, Nate will never I'm, admit that he just just came that came up with that. You know. <laughs> I, I He's the guy we're sitting per, in the room. It's, it's like, I'd yeah. like to give so and so the credit. Oh no no no! It's this person. Oh no no no! It's this person. <laughs> pick me. Pick I me. think no, it's no, perfect. Not me. Yeah. Well, because well, the thing is, like, you know. I like birds. I have chickens, but um, but a, a candy bar that's you know chocolate covered, you know caramel or cookie. Like to me, I mean, can you get any better than that? You know, I mean, really? Yeah. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Bub bub. Good boy. Oh, got your boy there. Yeah, it's my Bob, my tailless wonder. Oh, look at that big thing of cat fluff. It's starting to warm up outside, so the cats are all shedding. Oh, yeah. This time of year. Mm -hmm. Son of a beehive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got big pairs going. Hey, it's stuck together now. Okay. See? I promise I'm not crazy. Ooh. It's got little decorations that go on it too. They're glass too. I have those. Hmm. Yeah. You have to buy very tiny presents to. I know. To really get in the mood. It's 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 pretty. Well, you, can you can change the bottom of it, and make it a Christmas tree, make it a tree topper, tree on top of a tree. Yeah, well, it's, it goes on the goes like on the mantle. Oh, kind of I got you. Yeah. Probably like a village or something, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my aunt has that. Like she, when she, when Christmas comes around, she has like a table that sits behind her couch. It's one of those like yeah. little, you know, not kind of narrow ones. It's got a little Christmas village on it. I'm like, that's just too much stuff right there. Okay, this is really weird. What's that? This Apple II C has MT RAM in it. Somebody changed one of the chips out for a different brand, and I'm doing the memory test, and the one that's failing is the one that's not an MT RAM chip that they changed. Maybe they soldered it in huh. There's an actual bug right there, too. Uh, maybe I should get rid of that old bug. It comes with it, though. 
Is it a ladybug? Because <laughs> Garth had one of those earlier. A little flea. It's dead. Um, it's dead, Jim. Maybe I'm reading this chart wrong. Let's see. Okay. One in. Oh, I'm reading the chart wrong. Never mind. It's actually an MT chip that's pointed in bad. Okay. Uh, Good. I, I was. We were all worried. Yeah. <clears throat> now you're yeah, saying it's, it's it's dead. You're reading the chart wrong. I wasn't sure if you were a doctor for a, for a moment there and and giving a bad diagnosis. Get it, Jim. No, I got this little chart here that shows you the uh, which zero and one on the RAM test goes to which physical chip on the motherboard. And I was <clears> reading <throat> the first bank in the wrong order. Uh. This is the Apple TCI I got that came with a, a RAM upgrade and a and a accelerator in it. So it drives fast. Oh, you effer! Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> uh -oh. oh boy! Someone's pulling out the big. No need for that language. Dash 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 <laughs> word. That is yeah. uh, that is that is a common language of retro people. Longer is the plus. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to pull a Trina. <laughs> oh. Where's Trina today? She, was she, was she went to go take a nap. Yeah, she had one beer, today. and she was timed out. I guess I missed Javier leaving. Did he left? Yeah, he left. Oh, he did that. Yeah, he, he said he's going to get food. Yeah. Yeah. He said yeah. we were making yeah. him hungry with all the food talk. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, emergency talk. He'd, he'd, he'd I mean, emergency back, pizza talk. So. Yeah, that would right. do it. Yeah. I was going to show him this slightly yellow apple juice scene. Slightly, he says. It's like mustard colored. It's like, oh, it's like notepad Ooh, paper is, colored. That is yellow. Yikes. Yeah. It's, a, it's literally the same color as like legal pads. It's freaking Verizon. <laughs> so, I had to do this whole thing to disconnect my, well, yeah, to disconnect my right. cell number from the old company plan that I See. no longer work for. Mm. And and get my own account and all that because the guy stopped paying the bill, so my phone stopped working. Yeah, yep. oh. it was a slippy, uh huh. There you go. Um, you got <laughs> right. And Sorry, so Joe. Horizon fixed the thing, and in uh, theory, I have my own my, my own account now. This number is on the account. All of yep. that. It's great. But one, the account is suspended for non-payment. Two, uh -oh. my account, my amount owed is zero dollars, and three, I can't make a payment ahead of time to trick their system into working. Sheesh. Four, you can't make a zero dollar payment or whatever. So it's like sort of jacked up. So it Maybe. sounds like you need to make a whole new account. I'm gonna have to call account. them on Monday and Listen. tell them to, to like where I'm gonna have to show them where their rear end is. Take that phone and call the company and explain the situation. That's all I got to do. Ah, You've done that. I imagine. It's so funny. You got to like bill and bill overview. And it's like, your service is suspended for non payment. Then if I click bill, it won't let me pay because I don't technically have one. I do have a bill. It's just zero dollars. <laughs> then you really don't have a bill. <laughs> I click yeah, pay. It sounds, like they, it sounds like they might have to redo the account, sort of, so to speak. Yeah, apparently like, they're Ferengi. I can't. I, I don't have the like. It, there's a pay another amount option that you can click, but you I can't pay more than what's owed. And what's owed is zero. So. And what's owed is zero. Yeah. And I can't put in zero because the minimum their website will allow me is one cent. Ah. So it's just like broken. Yeah. It sounds what like they're. Their business analyst missed a few requirements there in making that system. <laughs> I bet you I know who designed it. Oh, 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 I had the same thought. We're all thinking it. Yes, I am we not are. <laughs> promised to well, future no, 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 no. It's not asking for money in exchange for nothing, so it must not have been oh, that's the person true. thinking of nothing. Well, the I bill is zero, so it is nothing. <laughs> true. You cannot pay that's more than you, Justin. <laughs> what? Where? Hi, Dave. Huh? Can I? Uh, DVD oh, hey. are me. Uh, See, at, I did, last time I joined, I got called the wrong name because I had a funny name set. So I set it to something that I would not get called the wrong name. No, you will let me do it with my my business debit. I'd rather not do that. 
and, and, and I just uh, Chris has been testing uh, uh, yes. his CD drives today. The power ah. of the tower of CD-ROM power. I'm there never going to get it right. <laughs> uh, and I told him, so it's a good thing he didn't have to say DVD power. Yeah. Oh, geez. We would have been in real <laughs> trouble. Even worse Man, than who we are. who comes in with a DVD in their name? I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> CD-ROM power. <laughs> And I did the brilliant thing of powering down the system to change the drive out, but I forgot to eject the disk. So now i got to power it back on. <laughs> eject the disk, power it off. There we go. Button. Don't you hate when that happens? Yeah. I, I do. Luckily, it was an easy solve, but I still hate it. Have you tried right? turning it on off again? I'm just curious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just did. <laughs> well, no. I came downstairs to preheat the ultrasonic cleaner. And went back upstairs and then came downstairs once I was ready. And, well, the other thing I tried to do simultaneously with preheating the ultrasonic cleaner, kick the heat cycle off. So, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, my ultrasonic fluid's not as warm as I'd wanted it, but oh well. Yeah, give Justin, it another 15 minutes. Maybe it'll be okay. Um, you better no. be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Justin, you better be careful. You're on a stream. My kids might send you pizzas again, you know. Well, I couldn't say no to that. Uh, for those, we were, uh, when Justin was doing his birthday stream, my eldest daughter said, let's send him a pizza. So we did. In the middle of the stream, he got up and there was the pizza. Oh, that's hilarious. That's that awesome. Great. Hey, it's my birthday. Or is, it's your or birthday? Is it, no. It's, uh, it's my unbirthday. We'll go with that. I, I decided I would stop having birthdays. There she is. That sounds like a better a looking version. In our well, as long as we can see you. There you go. There's, so I hear you deliver pizzas. Yeah, they say they, <laughs> they, say they hear we deliver pizzas. <laughs> what do you have to say? No? Okay, she's back. She's like, I'm out. She's like, see ya. I'm going to dip. That's what they say, right? So they, there's too many people here. I'm out. <laughs> oh. I, I can. That's why I work from home. I don't want to deal with people either. I, yeah. you know, not face to face. There you go. Yeah. What? So Ooh, the that's thing creepy. Was, Oh. I was trying to preheat the ultrasonic cleaner to 55 <clears throat> degrees, but it kicked off at 15. Also, it's like 700 watts of heating power, so you mm. can do the math. Seven, 700 watts to like, what, 25 liters of water? The service has been reconnected. How'd you get it done? What did you do? Time you I just bill. clicked through multiple different menus until it made sense. Gotcha. Apparently, you can pay, but that doesn't reconnect it. You have to then find the device and manually reconnect every every device to the account because it's a business account. So it's like right. all managed. Gotcha. Hmm. Did you I'm shake glad your you... head at your own cat to tell your cat to shake its head? What's that? Did you just do this at your cat? No. Oh. <laughs> I thought you shook your head at your. I'm glad you paid your bill, Joe. I just turned from <laughs> take my pills. <laughs> take your pills. Oh, okay. ah, that's what I was looking for. I uh, it, hey, Bob. It now still says it's suspended. Okay. What's your phone number? I'll call you and test it out. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> that's a good idea. After working at Microsoft, uh, long, I could send you a Windows phone. You could try that. Gut bomb, mm. when you come back on the stream, friend, I want to see some Legos. Um, I, I, I love Legos. See some legs, oh, wait, hold on. <clears throat> Joe's number is 911. <laughs> hey, yeah, call it. Oh, oh, Gut bomb says he would, he, would, he would join if the stream is a pizza is fa a factor. Well, I have your address, so. <laughs> There's, I don't think there's anybody in here that would say no to a pizza, especially a free pizza. I would, because I'm not eating carbs until I hit my weight goal. But otherwise, I thin crust, thin crust. <laughs> no, no bread, no bread. In about two months, Chris is going to be oh. so jacked, he's going to rip his shirt off like Hulk Hogan. It's just going to tear it off. No. And... That might be I'd a later. Die. I'd, I'd die if I had no, no carbs. I, would just mm. say, I eat so much bread. Me too. I eat bread with like literally almost every meal. Yeah, exactly. I have, I have to have I have to have my carbs. Yep. Yep. I, if I, I, if I have too many carbs, I get well, really bad is... headaches. Carbs and sugar, it really? like, kind of yep. tears me up. Yeah. Huh. 
And then for me, it's that's another warming up. I, I started going back to, going back to my walking. So I uh, well before the you know kitty stone thing. Um, I'm gonna go back to my walking, and I'll, I'll walk like about you know probably a mile in the morning and a mile at night, and then be be happy. I well, walk he, from he, the shed he, to the house. I usually just walk from here to the though. fridge, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> It is up a flight of stairs, so it is kind of exercise. <laughs> hey, I get in the car so I can go to the gym and work out. Wait a minute, what? But yeah, depending on depending <laughs> on the fridge that I'm talking about. Now, the food fridge, as in the one that's in the kitchen upstairs, there's that one, but there's also the beer fridge, which is right outside my my bedroom. So, I visit that fridge more often. LTE can... <laughs> baby, <laughs> Woo, ah! goes in business. You got it working. Yay. It's connected to it's connected to Verizon now. So whereas before it just said Yay. SOS. Your, your Apple II is grumpy. Very, very grumpy. Oh gosh. Yeah. I'm now it's receiving like, text messages. It's Yay. gone plaid. Who's grumpy? Your That's... Apple II is very grumpy. What are oh, it's that? running a it's running a four one one six RAM test. Oh, because it looks like it's gone plaid and and stuff. <laughs> Ludicrous speed. Well, not only is it. Um, an old Apple II, like Joe was talking about earlier, but it's showing random characters. So it's on my screen, it's just black and white. But what random screen, characters does it show? The ones that were on the screen. But yeah, gone I love it. Time. Are there a lot of new see, Apple IIs? Let's see how the characters are all <coughs> shimmery and weird. Here she it's comes. Because it's Steve Wozniak hey, fake NTSC, it's not real. Uh, That's gotcha. my old girl. But my oh, RAM all oh, tests you good. Old girl. Ginger, she's an old girl. She's ten. My data index keyboard works too, which is nice. Oh, sweet. that's good. Yeah, Very nice. nice. I like Tom your Cruise test keyboard. bench setup there. I have yay! the keyboard upside down because the cord's too short. Joe has a ah. Joe has a yay. All right, I'll be yay, right back. Yay. I'm gonna go get a pile of Rams to test. And for the first hey, time in my geez. life, I'm paying for my own cell phone service. <laughs> no kidding. It's a, it's a write off. I've had paid, company paid cell phone service since I was 20 years old. Wow. Really? I am 43. Wow. Oh my It's a write off. So you're no longer with the same company you were with? What? No. The company uh, effectively ceased to function on March 1st, February oh 20th, somewhere in there. January. I just lost track. It's been a hell, hellscape. Um, yeah. Um, February 1st, nobody got paid. Systems got locked out. Yeah. And we couldn't wow. do our jobs. So what? I just went into my email and said, I'm on an indefinite leave. I do not know when I'll return. Two so Joe? Later, I started calling customers and saying, I don't work there anymore. And they're like, can we hire you? I'm like, okay. And that was it. So, well, so you're still getting paid somehow then. That's good. Joe, uh, knowing what you know now, mm -hmm. um, Given the whole situation of how your company's move out went of that one building, I'm mm -hmm. wondering if like your dude stopped paying rent and that dude was just an um, ass on purpose. <laughs> I know I now know a lot more information that is not <clears throat> public information. That we need we not need, need not need Makes to sense. Know. All yeah. I can say is if you know where to look <laughs> on the internet, you'll find out what happened. Oh I'm yeah. sure. Put a link in the chat uh, so we can look all, on the internet. Okay, so all we know for sure is that Joe is still getting paid by some clients. I technic after all expenses, I'm actually making more money now than I did when I was working as an That's awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's Excellent. great. And, and let me ask you this question, Joe. Do you set your own hours? <laughs> are you your own boss? My hours my hours for responding to tickets and phone calls are 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Nice. Um, well done. My hours of actually doing real work are whenever I feel like it. Whenever it's absolutely necessary. That's great. You came out ahead. One door closed, that, another one opened, and it was a better door. Great. Yeah. Yeah. One more absolutely. question for you, Joe, if I may. Does it give you more time for your other business? No. Loose less. Cozy? Less? Oh, okay. Less. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a bummer. In, in my previous position, I was a sales engineer, which meant I usually spent two to four hours a day um, reviewing contracts, reviewing... Um, what expirations, anything that expired that needs to be renewed and sending quotes, um, 
meeting with customers or contacting them over the internet or the phone or whatever to quote new services mm -hmm. and nice building and designing systems basically <laughs> oh i need this many servers and these many hypervisors and this network switch and this blah blah blah, blah. i would design the thing quote it close it and then everybody else would deploy it that was a two to four hour job a day, uh, hour a day job uh so now you're working what seven hours a day um more well, like 14 quote unquote quote unquote, quote unquote. <laughs> but it's it's it's, hey, easier, Betty. it's it's easier work like it's yeah. tech work i don't have to think it just my brain does it automatically yep. mm -hmm. oh that's a plus so and you're, and you're enjoying it yeah remains me ask, yeah okay i mean i'm not disenjoying it it's there's Stress is not the word I would use. Rushed would be a correct, uh, more correct yeah. term. I'm busy, 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 busy. And, you know, it gets you going. <sighs> yeah, once it all but calms down. There's a lot of good. there's a lot of startup overhead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Once it calms well, down. I had like 14 customers that I had to migrate email, migrate spam, Ooh. migrate do all the authentication, mm -hmm. migrate antivirus, migrate backups. My great RMM, my great something else I'm forgetting. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it was tax season. So uh, one of those Ooh. was a, uh, a uh, CPA. So that was fun. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, um, um, can you tell me when nobody's going to be in the building? And they're like, we leave at 8 p.m. every day and arrive the next morning at 5 a.m. from now until uh, uh April 15th. April 15th. We don't have time to be down. It's like, well, I have a window from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m., don't I? So. Yep. Anyway, well, it's good. It's all good. Okay, enough talking about me. Hey, okay. As long as you're still getting paid, that's, what, yeah, that's what's good. Yeah. It's the, the, the joys are good. of uh, yeah. having the business, you know. Which is yeah. what was which ah, which which surprising um, as to <coughs> why the old business wasn't functioning. Because it was making money. Where was it going? Mm -hmm. Pockets. <laughs> Pockets, yeah. yeah. It wasn't going to any, but any of the bills we owed. That's for darn sure. Yeah. So, it sounds yeah. like somebody Nobody had a gambling problem. Yeah. <laughs> somebody's there, looking for, somebody's got a legal of, action problem on now. Those on the stream are in the know, know what was going on. I can't really discuss it. Publicly, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, we don't need to know was, details. All we know is things. that you're doing something different. Yep. If you're like, good. We're like, good. Even that, like, yep. Knowing what was going on, I do not know how much mo how it was possible for that much money to be blown. We're talking like five hundred thousand dollars a year and just gone, hmm. gone. Mm -hmm. Where did it go? Mm. I think I'm tracking. Yeah. So anyway, it uh, and if you think you're tracking, no, it was not embezzlement. It was other things. Okay, I'm not tracking. I don't know. Don't know. So, yay. Hi, everybody. Can we talk about fun things? Can we, talk <laughs> yes. about, can we go back to uh, talking about computers? You guys can continue to talking about computers. As I've got Chris like would say, can we go back to positive so. things? If, <laughs> no, this is, po this is positive. This is positive, though. Thank you for sharing. And we're glad that you uh, ended up in a good spot. So Great. Now, great. everybody, go to my website and buy more stuff. So I can <laughs> clients and not have to do that part anymore either there so then i go. really get up at four in the afternoon and not care about it yeah yeah for sure all right justin what are you doing oh you're spinning a fan it's cleaning a fan i think cleaning a fan oh neat okay well, you, i see i see something spinning I thought it looked like a record player or something for a minute. Then I see it's a fan. You spin yeah. me right round. Round, baby. Right I was thinking the same thing. Like yeah. no record. That's one of my favorite songs of all time. My printer's done printing stuff. It is done printing stuff for me to send out. Is it? Is that song right up there with Tina Turner, What's Love Got to Do With It? What's love got to do with it? Got to do with it. I think that song invented the concept of an earworm. I'm pretty sure. I think you're right. Actually, another good what, earworm. One of, one of my favorite um, 
non-retro YouTubers retired. I don't know if any they would ever watch any of like the theorist channels like food theory, game theory, any of those. I All right. So. Are you talking about Matt Pat? Yeah, yeah, Matt Pat. Yeah. Also, I just realized I was on mute because I had my uh, air blower out to try to clean the fan. That'll do yeah, so it. That'll, that'll be a good thing to mute over. I'm cleaning yeah. and lubricating the fan that I can't power up to lubricate it because I broke the connector pulling it out. Gold. I have gold. Yay. So Justin is, Justin is participating in an OnlyFans stream today. And uh, <laughs> gold. Okay, so no, anyone know what this of, goes to? It's something very cool. It computes. I have That's, no idea. I am confusion. I bought this because I wanted the gold RAM chip. But I have no idea what it came from. It, it looks Did like an S one hundred board, other than it's got two yeah. connectors instead of one. So yeah, I don't know. Some sort of mainframe anyway, or something, possibly. Yeah. The RAMs are coming off, and they're going to go on the Apple II because I want to see if they work. So Gutbomb said, if anybody needs any JavaScript work, contact Joe, and then he can hire me because I want Joe to be my boss. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that. You know, I, you to I, delete JavaScript I, from all these models. I, I, um, I unfortunately, that. I can't pay you benefits, be but I can, I can pay you in donuts. Ooh, ooh that is that a, he can pay you in blue scuzzies. <laughs> Welcome to the United States, where as soon as you have employees, you suddenly have 14 times more payroll expense than you thought you did because Correct. healthcare. It's, it's yes. ridiculous. It's yeah, it's oh, crazy. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yep. Yeah. I had to switch mics, my road mics, uh, uh, about eight, seven and a half hours. So, yeah. ah, <laughs> that's pretty good run, though. That's not bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what's the short one? Uh, Gut Bomb says, Joe, uh, he has health care <laughs> for his wife, but donuts will do. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> or or pizza. You know that, there you go. Did you know that? In order to get the Amer the um, the um, uh, Obamacare, I don't, what I don't remember the name. In order to get that passed, uh, they had care. to add a provision that makes it illegal for an employer to give an employee a stipend or raise of or funding of any kind for the employee to buy their own insurance. That's true. Yep. Mm. So. Even though it might be cheaper for you to buy your own insurance, and I can just give you a raise to do that, if it's ever found that I did out that I did that, I go to jail. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, they yeah. want you to go under a big company corporate umbrella where it's more yeah. expensive to for the yep. insurance. I wonder Ryan. who that was written for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. My insurance got way worse because uh, my plan at the time was considered to be a Cadillac plan. And so all the Cadillac plans got these exorbitant taxes added to them. Yep. So companies had to quit doing them. Just couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yep. my first two kids were $10 kids. And uh, that did not happen after that. <laughs> I was just grateful when I, you know, I had the, the kidney stone recently and I ended up in the ER. Yeah. I'm just grateful that I actually had insurance because I looked at the, oh, for the sure. breakdown of the bill, even though I still owed like $1,900 for it because of scans and stuff. Yeah, it's not bad. The whole freaking thing was eight, like you know, ten grand or something. Well, where the insurance benefits you too is not only in that, and then it covers stuff, but the negotiated rate. If you go to the yes. hospital uh, and try to pay, that bill would have been thirty thousand dollars. But your insurance yep. is not as 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 negotiated. Man, I really can't talk today. Tower of CD Ron Power. They that, dealt that, it. They, they, they've they've yeah they, exactly. So they there's it. something to be said for that. Hey, and I'm, I'm and I'm you know like. I'm just grateful that it wasn't. I didn't have to pay the full 10G. That's all I gotta say. Well, yeah. No, that, that's just, my, uh, yeah. my hospital too. bill in December was $115,000. Yikes. Um, the hospital apparently negotiated with my insurance company and waived 85 grand of it. Right. And then they made me pay six grand. That was your out of pocket max for the year, maybe? Or until it you was, met it up? I had nothing. I had used no, no other insurance for anything else the whole year. So, um, yeah, mm -hmm. it, I had a six grand cutoff. But I'm like, couldn't you have just waived ninety one instead of eighty five, and I would have been done. 
<laughs> yeah. They yeah, went a they... little bit. <coughs> yeah. I hear you. It'd be nice if they did, for sure. Yeah. It didn't work that the way. Nice thing exactly. is that the, the hospital lets me pay it as an installment plan with no interest. Yep. So really? I'm not yep. just gonna I hand do the them same the thing, thing through my uh, through my my plan because I have I'm through Baptist, mm -hmm. and uh, they sent me the bill through this thing called my chart, mm -hmm. so I can see all my stuff broken down perfectly. That's fantastic. In there, and they send me messages and reminders, you know, whatever, whatever. So I was yeah. able to break that nineteen hundred dollars down to like you know two hundred dollars a month payments, which oh, I'll fantastic. pay like I'll pay more than that, but yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm minimum, only obligated to pay. I think the minimum they would have let me pay per month is 185, but I bumped that up to like 500 or something. Yeah, that's what I basically what I did. The first payment I yeah. made was like five something. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the, you know, the little bit, the extra, you know, make it an even number type thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, when I get close to the end, when there's like when there's like two grand left or something, I'll just be like, okay, here you go. Yeah, just try to check. Yeah. yeah just be sure. done. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. The only thing that yeah. sucks is that since it was in December. Um, as soon as January comes around, the whole deductible starts over again. Yep. Like, yep. Resets every year. Mm -hmm. Yep. So all the doctor visits and stuff is all a new deductible. I'm like, you suck. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have my, so uh, if, you, my, my if you're going to get surgeries. sick, mm -hmm. it's like in January in the year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had my two surgeries and I was, I, before I got the kidney stone, I had the two surgeries, you know, you know, a couple of years ago and the year before, you know, a, year, a couple of years before that, and I was in like forty-two thousand dollars in debt because of the surgeries. Because one of them, whoa, one of them I didn't have insurance for, because I was working for a um, as a contractor, um, and I had to have in in home nursing nurses come in and all that good stuff. So it was my, thankfully, my brother paid for the in home nursing part of it. Um, he helped me out there, and I and I'm down to before that stupid kidney stone i was down to about four grand left oh wow mm. you'd knock most be, of it out oh i i'm most all my money because you know thanks for my you know, I, I live here rent free my brother's you know yeah he's a blessing yeah and i was able to sure. just take all my money that i've been making other than occasionally buying beer yeah um straight to the medical expenses huh. yeah. i'm having a heart attack uh, driving to canada, canada. It's dinner time. Yeah, no, no, no. Hey, Bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. See you later. Bye, Joe. Enjoy. Bye. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs> so you have the husband for us. I want dinner. Oh, he's up there. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Crazy. Gosh darn it. Now I want a donut. I, <laughs> <laughs> I just went back and read the chat and it's like, I'm like, donuts. Dang it, I want a donut. <laughs> Where's Abbotsford, Thomas? Ah. What country is that in? This oh, Canada. 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 Okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah. I think he's this in Canada. Ram is trying oh, I didn't know away. that. <clears throat> Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Get all my medical stuff done at Timmy Horton's. <laughs> mm. <laughs> How about that, eh? Oh no, sorry. How about that? <laughs> Boo! I love a good donut. Now, I, I when I'm talking donuts, though, I don't think all that sugary crap. I'm thinking it's a good old fashioned. We have a oh. Timmy Hortons down the street, but I like a lo there's a local place called Mighty Fine Donuts, and it's, mm -hmm. the name of it is not a lie. And I bet fun. you they have those custom donuts where you can get like Oreo cookies on top of them and stuff. You get all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> I know. It's nuts. Donuts oh, are okay as long pants. as it's not like the grocery store donuts. Those are the worst. Oh, it's yeah. Like, those are gross. How, how can they make them any worse than they do? They're terrible. They're like, I don't know how to say them. They're store. like, they soak them in a, a water bath or something. Yeah. If like they're like gel in or dry them out. No, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Seriously, I'm like, you bite into these yeah, things, but right. they're not even. They're like, it's like squishy. It's gross. It's not, not yeah, even squishy. For, well, the ones that we get are not. Well, unless you get an Albertsons. Now, Albertsons <laughs> donuts are really, really good. They're, Albertsons. They're, okay. Yeah, yeah Albertsons. We donuts, have that here. Like in Texas, we we get them. We go to the mom and pop donut <laughs> shop where they make them. They go in like at midnight, start making them all night long, and then mm -hmm. by yeah, there's a place right by nine o'clock in the morning, they're sold out and they're they're done for the rest of the day. Yeah, oh, yep. there's a, a place a that's um, up here up the road that's a donut. All they do is called everything donuts or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know they're only open from like uh like five a.m. to noon. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And because they, they, they cook because they cook them all night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they and they and they, I haven't 
gone there yet because I'm not a I'm a I love donuts, but I don't eat breakfast. I'm not a huge breakfast person. And I'm, for me, my breakfast idea of breakfast is a cup of coffee. But anyway, one yeah. of these days I'm gonna have to go in there and get like you know a couple donuts, and just to see what they have. Yeah, and that way we'll uh, I, I, leave the house, which is another yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I I like the I like the old fashioned glazed donuts. Yeah, that's my fave. But I mean, I, I like you know like the uh, the chocolate covered glaze, um, mm -hmm. apple fritter. Uh, oh, I don't yeah. like oh. all the I don't like the sp sprinkle on the, the <laughs> you know on the glaze. I don't I really never care for no. that. Um, and then then there's one that they do. It's 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 called a uh, it's it's like a a long glazed donut, and oh, yeah. it has bacon on it. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, that sucker is good. <laughs> now, one of the best, one of the best donuts you can, which you can't get, you can only get up up north. Now, uh, I bet you Gut Bomb knows what I'm talking about because he's in Boston. It's Long John, there crawler. you go, Thomas. Thank you. Yeah. It's a crawler. It's basically a jelly donut, but it's in stick form, and it's yeah. perfect for dipping, for like in your, in your coffee. Yep. And you can't get these down south. The, the Dunkin' Donuts don't have them down here, but up north, down here they don't even have lemon donuts. The lemon filled donuts. Down here, yeah. that's my favorite. Oh yeah, see, and and they have really good breakfast sandwiches too. Uh, they'll have uh, yeah, up north they are gut bomb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, but they'll be uh, they'll be like uh, they'll have uh, they take like, these giant oversized croissant sandwiches. They Ooh. they cut them and they open them up and they'll What's do up? like egg. Uh, are you leaving us, Nate? Yeah, yeah, I gotta take my my boy to go like hang out with some other kids so okay um, yeah. hey so thanks a lot oh. yeah okay it's good to see you brother yep. hey, yeah. good seeing you guys all right, all right. See you, Nate. Hopefully see you, see you Nate. next saturday yeah hopefully yeah yeah <laughs> but uh anyway uh yeah awesome. so they open it up they put they put egg in it uh and they put uh hash browns in it and then and then bacon or or sausage and they and they seal it up. Oh my god, I think it's so good. It's I mean it's it'll it'll oh. it'll keep you filled up for six hours. I think it's so. Like, let me tell you one thing. One of my favorite foods of all time is breakfast foods. Yeah, oh yeah, breakfast food. Yeah, eggs I was, and bacon yep. and that kind of stuff. But didn't you say you don't eat breakfast? I didn't say I ate it for breakfast. I love breakfast foods. Ah, I, <laughs> Jason Starbuck, you're a very complicated man. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I don't eat first thing in the morning. Let me rephrase that. I don't eat because um, I have, you know, tummy issues, like IBS type issues. A lot of oh, I see. Yeah. So I don't eat when I first wake up. I can't eat right away. Otherwise, it upsets things. So like today, mm -hmm. I didn't eat my first meal, which I had the um, uh, tater tots and um, chili cheese tater tots. I didn't eat that until like almost what, 4 p.m. or something like that, 3 p.m., whatever it was. That was my first meal of the day. Mm. Yeah. That's just because that's the way my unfortunate tummy issues go. Sorry to hear that. What? Yeah. Oh, come on, cubbies, kick the butts. So how are the now CDs, I feel bad uh, for calling you a complicated man, but anyway. Well, I'm so complicated. <laughs> That's fine. More, probably more confusing than complicated, but you know. I'll take it. We'll go with that. I don't feel bad for calling you a confusing man. How about that? There you go. <laughs> how are the CDs going, uh, Chris? Okay, so I'm back to uh, one that I uh, was giving us the trouble earlier. I've cleaned the lens. We're going to see mm -hmm. if that helps. If not, then uh, this may be looking for the e-waste e -waste bin. Or I'm, it might be send to, you know, something to send to Justin to work on. I'm just saying. You know. Oh, that, that's true. I could add it to the Justin pile. So <laughs> <laughs> it was being, he, Justin's been quiet, so I figured it's, I wanted to yeah. try yeah, to there. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> well, 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 Justin regrets. likes just getting cut out the mail, eBay middleman so. on the regrets. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad idea. Normally we say send to Steve, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. It's just like those right um, those uh, card readers, like um, you know when you slide your credit card, either you stick your chip, the card chip in it, or you yep. have to slide it. 
those things get so nasty so quick that you oh, got to yeah. clean those things like once a week or they won't read anything. Oh, wow. Yeah. Or the other trick that I do sometimes is um, like I'll insert their card, the chip on there. And this is can't read card. So you just take and you rub your thumb over it, put it in and it works. Gets, gets the crud off of it. Yeah. Hmm. Did you know that, Chris? Yeah, I'm trying to understand here. So you, you launch a SATA CD drive that can launch a DOS boot disk, but when the DOS boots of the floppy it can use a sata channel yeah um yeah it basically boots up in uh floppy mode now what you could do is you could load a sata driver probably because there are sata cd rom drivers as a part of that Im image and then you could access uh that cd as a regular cd as well i think hmm. oh good the right one. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm back and I have lost my chair. There's a skinny cat in it. There you go. I cannot believe you were going to say that. I could not foreshadow that, that there was a cat in your chair. <laughs> I would have never guessed. Boy. This is the young boy. This is Al. Alf? Al. Alphonse. No. I was going to say, is he from Melmac? Al Bundy. No, if he was Alf, he'd be trying to eat cats. Well, he could be in disguise. That's a good ruse. <laughs> I love that TV show. That TV show was awesome. Me too. Hilarious. That and Fraggle Rock. Oh, one of my favorite yep. all-time shows growing up was Fraggle Rock. He's Alf's lunch. Exactly, gut bump. I love that Alf was from a planet planet that's basically a type of plastic. Melmac. Well, yeah. What's funny is he was from Melmac, and the planet was made of Melmac. I didn't know that. <laughs> yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a googly, yeah. If you look it up, it was, thing. yeah, his his planet was made of the same thing the name was from. What's funny uh, is how he had a he had a Flem dealership that was the brand of cars he sold. On Mel Mac, he sold a Flem uh, cars. So apparently, Frank knows a lot more about Alf than the rest of us. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, this is getting a little weird, but that's cool. It's not a we, we love Alf, thing, mind you. I love we Alf. love Alf. Oh. One of the TV shows I go back to, another TV show I go back to, um, I know Trina likes it, MASH. I thought oh, you were going to say Mash. Heathcliff. Yeah. I thought you were going to say Heathcliff, but that's cool too. Oh. <laughs> hey, Apples Anonymous. <laughs> howdy, howdy. Hey, Nick. How you doing? All right. See, it's pretty late for you there, huh, Nick? What time is it there? Oh, that's hot. Isn't it like tomorrow there? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's they're, they're like it, right? like it. They're in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Eight fifty-three a.m. Good Ooh. golly, big Ooh. Molly. And it's Monday there. Monday, yeah. You both get the future. Work, yes, then? the future. Yeah. The future is now. Mm -hmm. The future is eight bit or something. Real time Gordon Shumway. Yep. It's funny as the episode where he was uh, playing piano and Kate comes down and says, I didn't know you knew how to play. Eh, it's hard to play without the red keys. I'm just winging it. Because <laughs> he was singing the song uh, Parasite Hotel. Because it was the one about him having chores and getting a job. He was the only one that wasn't contributing to the family. 
So then he sells cosmetics. <laughs> yeah, that was a good uh, spoof of Mary Kay they did. I know, that was, that was funny. <laughs> what was it, Tammy Faye? Tammy Faith, keeping the yeah. faith. That's right. My goodness. That's right. Oh, Look at wow. you guys. She was, what would it say? Uh, she, right. she was She was born at the turn of the century on a something about a fork in the road. Wow. And it talks about okay. uh, her being in a revolving crystal casket. No flash photography to, to, to the, uh, what? Keep preserving the dignity of the display. Yeah, they, they had her in a revolving crystal casket. Huh. Well, they don't show Tammy Faye. But... No, they don't show her. But Actually, I technically, I think they do because when he has the book that he's reading, I think she's on the cover. Oh yeah, but not in the casket. <laughs> no, 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 no. They don't show that on the show now. <coughs> it's funny, they they win that mock Naga hide luggage. <laughs> so much knowledge of Elf. I ha I know a guy in California who sure. is friends with somebody who worked for the Naga hide company, oh, no and kidding. they. As a joke, they gave him like this little sort of like teddy bear looking animal thing yeah. that's made out of naga hide. And they're like, This yeah. is your pet naga. Get it? <laughs> oh, what was the one they went on that timeshare trip to? And uh, had the toaster where he was making fish in the toaster in the hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell did they go? They went. What? They went to a timeshare presentation, and he he got stuck in the room and was bored. So he's like making fish in the toaster. Ugh. <laughs> Is that the guy I saw in a, some video on YouTube was making on making fire? shrimp shrimp in a friggin' um, airplane bathroom? Oh yucky! <laughs> yeah, he feel, he plugged up oh, the sink goodness. and got some battery up there and then you know things in there oh, to warm boy. that up and yeah it's weird i'm talking about the bacteria growth in that thing Ooh. yeah that's that's yucky. yummy your your immune system will be very powerful after eating that uh, oh you'll be dead <laughs> oh you'll be dead <laughs> yeah but apparently he does this all he doesn't hotel bath uh, hotel sinks um airplane sinks you know gas stations you know anything that he can put a Make a weird meal in a sink. He does it. I'm, that's just absolutely that's gross. Yucky. He got kicked off the plane because he made the whole place smell like fish. Oh yeah. Or he got he got in trouble. I don't know if he got kicked off the plane. Obviously they're in the air, but you know what I mean. <laughs> here's your parachute. Get out. <laughs> Get out. He, they should have. They put him on a 787 Max. Oops, too soon. They oh, put him by the window. <laughs> just go stand by the door over there. Yeah, a window door, whatever it was. But yeah, so the I'm just like how how. Inconsiderate, can you be to make cooked shrimp on a plane? Oh my god, that's <laughs> disgusting. There's a special uh, place uh, for those Justin, people. uh, Thomas is wanting to know what you're working on. I'm ultrasonically cleaning the stuff I worked on on Thursday, and then right now he's got to clean that. Yeah, <laughs> or somebody clean that. And I thought I would get rid of all the little uh, garbage things on my bench. It's, hey, that's a good thing. Keep, as long as you don't move to things around too much and then uh, put them back in places you'll never remember where they are, you're good. You just jinxed it. Thank you. Spring cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it that just did that? Somebody, it was, I think it was, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Probably me. No, no, it was somebody else on the stream earlier. They're like, I cleaned my desk, now I can't find I think it was Thomas Armstrong. Yeah, yeah, Thomas, was, actually. <laughs> Thomas uh, Andrews, yeah. <laughs> Justin, how are you feeling? How are your allergies? Are you doing better? I'm doing better. Good. Oh, you have I allergies? Mean, if you boil the water for 10 minutes, you'd be fine. That's not the point, brother. That's still disgusting. I have seasonal <laughs> allergies. All, oh, all yes. Seasons. Come down to Florida. Mm. You want allergies. So sorry to hear that. Well, I mean, I've had allergies for I don't know how long. So uh, the pollen is the pollen is strong with this one at this point. Well, in this past week, there was like several forest fires in the county I work in. Ooh, that's not good. That doesn't help. Ooh. I sense a lot of Smokey the Bear videos coming out. 
Yeah. Well, it depends no on what part of the East Coast you're talking about, Thomas. If you're talking about, like, say, Maine right now, they're getting a snow, snowstorm. So, yes, there's still snow. Well, yeah. actually, no. We're still here. No one, no one set those fires. What? Oh, are they. Wind, uh, wind knocked tree limbs into power lines, and the uh -oh. power yep. lines fell and sparked the forest fires. So I see. No arson. Good. Basically, he's saying it's no arson. Yeah, yeah. 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 That still does make. That still stinks. It does. It's, un it's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, quite literally, it stinks. Mm. Now, now, has has it been? I'm, I'm going to try to keep this as positive as possible. Is, okay. Is good it, luck. Has it been life been good? Is you know, no loss of life or anything yet? Hopefully. Uh, a couple sheds. Um, uh, there were some uh, in the county I live in. It was just a couple sheds, and that's it. And a couple, okay, some of the other right. counties where winds knocked down power lines, a roller rink and a Ooh. hippie commune burned down. Oh no! Were people mm. inside them or no? <laughs> no, 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 no one. Oh, okay. No one's been hurt. That's what I was asking. Good. That's good. <laughs> Property can I'm trying to find the place. right way of saying it without being trying to keep things positive. <laughs> no, you did a good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no one was, no one was hurt as far as I know. Good. Yeah, we have yellow. My brother says we have yellow snow here in Florida. It's called pollen. Ah, yeah. don't need the yellow snow. Our 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 cars are <laughs> literally. We just had a um, you know a, you know um, <laughs> and things and clean the cars off, and, and so to speak, and then you know next morning. Completely yep. yellow. It's I have a blue good. car, I think. Yep. I haven't washed my car since 2015. <laughs> oh, I, I rinse my... I don't necessarily wash it, but I do rinse it from time to time. You I park outside, so uh, snow and rain. Excuse me. Do their thing. Every once in a while, scoop out the leaves out of the... Out of the no the problem is, you do got to wash it occasionally, don't you? At least the undercarriage because of the salt, if you drive it. I don't do anything. Oh. I'm lazy. Oh, I just noticed that uh, Darth Darth Giggle hasn't said anything in a while. Is Tech even around? I don't know. Oh, uh, he's yep, still he's around. here. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to test it. Thomas says he washes his car when I take it for an oil change. <laughs> yeah, same. So I barely drive my car, so I, I think the uh, my brother borrowed my car for a while. There, he's had some issues with his truck when he's before he got the his current car. Mm -hmm. I think he put more mileage on the the couple months or whatever it was that he drove it than I put in it in the you know last you know ten years. <laughs> well, see, my I when I bought the car, I was driving it daily because I was still a manager of Champ Sports, and then we had the this is back you know before 2014 and we had the house fire in 2014 and that's when i decided to um you know i move away from retail because there's no way i was going to be you know putting 80 hours a week in with you know living in temporary housing and doing all this other kind of stuff and so i decided to move away from it and went to went into tech and you know i I haven't really driven the car much since then because I work from home for the most part of the last, you know, decade. Nice. Ow. Oh, come on, what kind of... You're a pitcher. You're supposed to actually, you know, get it across the plate, not in the ground. <laughs> oh, sorry. Baseball. <laughs> there was a point during the pandemic where one of my cars met an unfortunate demise on the uh, second day that a new driver was uh, driving it. <laughs> and um, we, we we actually took some time to replace it because uh, I wasn't going anywhere and uh, for work. And when there was the threat of having to go back to work, I went and bought a car. But then I still didn't need it. So, yeah. yeah but, uh, yeah, it kind of changed. Well, I mean, way. I still need it occasionally when um, – because you know, I live in Florida. There's no real public transportation. And occasionally there's, there's buses, but it's not like New York or Boston where there's you know public transportation everywhere, subways and whatnot. Uh, so if I want to go visit my sister or something like that, she's like, you know, 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes away. So depending on traffic, so I still need a car. Mm -hmm. In most cases, uh, if we, we go to my sister's, typically it's my brother and I both going, so I usually make him drive. Sorry. I'm not a big fan of driving. I'd rather mm. not. 
Okay. People on the road scare me. Well, they should be in cars if they're on the road. You would hope. So yeah. Francois says it's 11 p.m. and he's cooking pasta. Ah, there you go. Hey, works for me. Hey, go for he's it. Making pot. A T E S. Pots. Plain old, you know, plain old tel- telephone. Yes. No, pot as pasta in French. <laughs> ah. And I got uh, on my one of my lens machines over here. I've got beard, beard versus food. Yeah. Ah. The guy that's uh, the English, uh, the UK guy from UK that's a competitive eater that goes to does the uh, food challenges at restaurants around the world. He just ate like five pounds of Philly cheesesteak in like 16 minutes. Oh boy. Ooh, boy. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, no, he's a competitive eater. And he's a skinny thing. He's like skinny as you, Retro. And he can pack away food. <laughs> skinny means nothing, doesn't mean healthy. That's true. <laughs> true. That's true. No, you're right. Yep. Yep. I, I, yep. I agree with that. And I, I don't imagine, you know, starving yourself for X amount of, no. amount of days and then eating five pounds of food is healthy. I don't think that's, that, that can't be. Yeah, it probably doesn't work that way or shouldn't or pro- doesn't. Yeah, yeah. But oh. he makes money doing it, so good for him. That's his living, yeah. Well, he makes his living off of, you know, obviously the YouTube views. Off of other people's taxes? How's that? Isn't that a song? Hmm. Well, we got Greenville, South Carolina. So he's in South Carolina in this video. What is he eating? Barbecue, Barbecue um, sandwich yes. challenge. Alabama. It's got to be barbecue. Well, it's not Alabama. South Carolina. Roll Tide. Oh, South Carolina. I think that's yeah. what it was. The South or North? One of Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina. Yep. Yeah. I want to see how South Carolina. Carolina. How many pounds of barbecue this thing is? Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, I could the things that he, that he eats. It would take is typically for like a four team of four people, let's say, and there'll still be leftovers. A family of four. Wow. Okay, you must pay in advance. That's a rule for this one. <laughs> Believe it. They don't want to go get your money if you're throwing up in the bathroom. Right. Well, you lose it. Yeah, you, you lose if you throw up. I have seen him defeated many times. Um, he, he's tried many challenges where he's not won. But they oh, they're giving him a bucket just in case. Yeah, hmm. a bucket, not it's a bowl. Like those, a uh, bucket. Yeah, it's a bucket. It's a beer, well, like one of those uh, you get, you know, um, beer bucket things. So yeah. you, whatever. Beer here. Oh my! Good golly! There's people in the background saying, can I finish my food before you start yours? Don't want to be thrown up. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Why five pounds. Right? Yep, here it is. Five pounds of barbecue sandwich. Gross. It's a lot of brisket. And it is, oh, my Lanta. This is an American bucks. thing, right? No, it's just, he's from the U.K., and really? but he travels all over the world. He's in the U- U- United States right now, but he goes to the United States, Canada, you know, wherever. Wherever there's a challenge to be had, he'll try it. Mexico. I don't know if he's gone to Mexico. I don't know about that one, but I remember there was the one guy Kobayashi who would eat hot dogs. Okay, so oh, he's yeah. got one hour to eat this whole thing, oh, and the video is... is only nine minutes long. Oh yeah. Well, of course, it's probably edited it down, but yeah, I imagine. Still, it just catch the highlights, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, but still, let's say it takes him thirty minutes to eat the sandwich that would eat, you know, take every one of us in the here six days. Yeah, exactly. Oh, can't go wrong oh, with brisket. Oh, oh though. and get this: choice. it comes with a side of. Oh, mac I love and brisket. Cheese. A side of what? Beans? Mac and cheese. Oh, mac and cheese. Not something light, but mac no, and cheese. No, no, no. That's not. Yeah. Wow. And then some medication for your diabetes. Yeah. yeah. Diabetes. Well, in this case, it's probably more like a heart condition. Sponsored by Wilford Brumley. Yeah. yeah. Wilford Brumley. It says brisket. Looks like it's got brisket on there. I don't know, it looks like coleslaw, maybe. Barbecue sauce. We've got the meat. Is this one of those things where it's got to eat it in 90 minutes and he gets it free? And a t shirt. 
And yeah, that did. also happened. <laughs> <on YouTube. laughs> yeah, this is one of the food challenge guys. He does goes around and does the food challenges. He's a professional eater. John Candy did that on the Great Outdoors. Yes. Mistake. Yep. I'm done. No, you're not. You didn't eat the gristle. The gristle. <laughs> oh. Yes. Sorry if anybody was eating just now. Yes. And there you you're go. gonna eat your fat. Loading it up with more calories by adding extra <laughs> hot sauce or not hot sauce, 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 barbecue sauce. Exactly. Adam had to eat the fat too. Uh. Mm. <laughs> of course, the hardest part of eating the sandwich is the size of this bread. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Did you guys know that ram that has solid gold legs that's 50 years old is sort of fragile? Really? <laughs> I guess I'm not too surprised. Gold's not yeah, surprised at all. So yeah. far, there's four chips that have Gold's legs pretty soft. pre-broken. Yeah. Oh, wow. There was some corrosion on here that I didn't see earlier. Oh. Sorry, I didn't pay much for these. And then I can still sell the broken ones as gold scrap. I promised the guy I got this from that I would not just scrap it and get the gold value. Good. Yep. But if there was any that are broken or dead, I'm, I don't know what else to do with them. Yeah. You're going to pay the iron price? Pay the what? Game of Thrones reference. Uh, I haven't seen that. <laughs> you mean dragons and boobies. That's right. It's mostly what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all it is. New season comes out of the uh, House of Dragon what, in June. Yep. I'm looking forward to the uh, next season of uh, two, the, the, the Lord of the Rings TV show and then the um, Wheel of Time. I didn't watch it. I heard that it was horrible, the Lord of the Rings. It was, it was, it was entertaining. It wasn't obviously straight on towards the books like you know, most things. Like Wheel of Time, yeah. the first season of Wheel of Time was it, it sent people for a loop because it was nothing like the books. Sure. And I'm like, it's not supposed to be like, if it was like the books, you'd be sp spending six seasons just developing the characters. Oh, yeah. They just jumped in and started something different because they wanted to make it entertaining, fun, and profitable. If you go in and just watch it as a, um, you know, as a TV show, it's enjoyable. And I've read the um, the Wheel of Time books. I think it's like, was it 16, 17 books? I've read that series like six times. I read A Wrinkle in Time. <laughs> I remember that book. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I'm, all, I'm on, the, I'm on another... I'm on another... I love... Yeah. I, I do a lot of reading. Um, <laughs> Symphony of the Ages is the latest series I'm reading. I'm on the last book now. It's a nine-book series. And it's amazing. If anybody wants a good book series, uh, Symphony of the Ages, Wheel of Time, and Mistborn. <coughs> really good series. Mistborn's Jason only three Bourne. books, though. No, Mistborn, not Jason Bourne. Oh. <laughs> Mistborn is a uh, you know, sci fi fantasy. Jumper type wires. So you about got that all put together, wires. Frank? What is it? You about got that all put together? Oh, yeah. So I got all the components put on. I just got to put, uh, I just finished the last ones. I got to put on some jumper wires, which I'm not sure why they ship it with jumpers that I got to put on. Um, like I got to bridge like big gaps in the board. Like why bother? Why wouldn't you just put traces on there? Yeah. Oh, weird. Cheaper. Cheaper to make you yeah. do it. <laughs> so yeah, I got it built. Seriously. Here's the power supply board. It snaps on here. So yeah, everything's put together. Oh, okay, nice. I gotta go back. I gotta go back on this video and see so what I'm the actual time. Getting stopped. ready to figure out what jumpers <laughs> I have to put on where before I snap these pieces on. Okay, so he ate that five-pound barbecue thingamajiggy for twenty-two your, uh, minutes. Your, your screen plug into there too. Wow. Oh. Yep. Okay, yep. Cool. Screen pops right on there. I'm just trying to figure out what jumpers I'm supposed to put on places because yeah. cool. it's got tons of different blocks for jumpers, and yeah. I've got them, but I don't know which ones need the jumpers. Yeah. Frank, I posted a picture of all this RAM I'm testing on Twitter, and somebody said, you should get one of those retro chip tester pros. Well, don't build it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't I think build if it. I got one. I've been here all day. The thing is, if for a diagnostic device, I don't think I should build it. I think it should be built by somebody and tested yes. because it's the thing that's yep. supposed to test other stuff. So I, Exactly. Agree. 
I agree well, with that too. Back, you're uh, you're, you're opening yourself up to all kinds of faults. Yeah, because well, like, no offense to builders, works. but Frank <laughs> says you can get it uh, pre-assembled. So. You can, yeah. It's like a hundred bucks more or something. 80, 80 bucks or something like that. More. Is that like double the price? No, it's there three hundred and seventy dollars. Oh, huh? And then a hundred bucks more. <laughs> Four fifty something if you buy it. Uh, yeah. And this, folks, is why I don't do retro retro computing. Now we do have retro computers in the house, mind you. Like, my, you know, my bro has the uh, older window, uh, old, older. Yeah. PCs. See, like, there's the screen snapped on. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. And then the power board goes right into these headers here. And then fastens in. For fifty bucks, you can get an acrylic case. Fifty dollars. So yeah. eighty-five dollars to get assembled, and, and another fifty bucks yeah. to get assembled into an acrylic case. So you're yeah. saying you're up to five hundred bucks, roughly? Oh yeah. Wow. No, I can buy. I can build a computer for that price. Yep. <laughs> you did. Now, Windows-based computer, mind you, obviously. And that is why I have not bought a retro chip tester. So, yeah, there it is, fully assembled. I tell nice. you what, uh, once Frodo's done with that one, he'll send it to you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't think, think so. I do no. is figure out which jumpers have to be set, and that's it. Uh, Joe's too busy, Thomas. <laughs> what, 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 what? Oh, let's see. Oh, I'll send it to Joe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Joe's, Joe's too busy. Especially Joe's now that I found out on. all this new stuff about what's going on with, in his life. Oof. Him super busy. Zoe, I'm trying to move a mouse right now, honey. This is what happens when you have a cat and she wants to look at it. Rub. Rub. I'm trying to use a mouse. Rub. <laughs> hey, so. All right, Justin, I'm putting this drive on your pile. Watch this. That's looking good. Whoop, that's Frodo. Wrong, Justin. Wrong, Chris, I mean, sorry. Yeah. Uh, um, it's still sitting on, on, on Frodo. Oh, it worked that time. But, like, half the time it just, like, spits the tray back out after you put the disc in. Oh, uh oh. Is it still going on the Justin pile? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Canadian computer um, guy is streaming. Computer collector. Sorry, Chris, I didn't see it. I'm upstairs. That's all right. Or oh, he was streaming 30 minutes ago. Okay, he was streaming. Never mind. Refresh okay, YouTube. So I need one to go from It's behaving itself now, but it's still going on the Justin pile because I don't need seven drives. <laughs> I have one, one. Actually, it's a Blu-ray, mind you, and it's not even—it's not even connected. Oh. It's still in the case, like you said. Huh. Fill the slots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's not—it's sure. not even. I don't even have it connected to power. Yeah, it's in my server. Nice. I don't. Anyone have a think Robertson I bit I can borrow? Nope, I not connected to power. <laughs> What's that, Justin? Didn't yeah. quite hear you. My basement, Robertson door, bit. my basement door has a loose screw. I shouldn't have been looking at it while I wait for the oven to heat up. Ah. Mm, and it's a Robertson warm. for some strange reason. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, dang. We've been on the stream for almost seven hours and 20 minutes already. That's right. right. Just on this door, there's 17 Phillips and one Robinson. What is up with that? Well, well, there's to you, Robinson. That's right. right. You know, those Robinsons can really cause a lot of trouble. That's all I'm going to say. But. Okay. <laughs> this is an insane amount of food. Nobody follow up with that comment, but if you know, you know. <laughs> it's a good thing Trina's not here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, she's sleeping. That's true. That that beer knocked her out. Yep. <laughs> One. Later on, you'll see it was a near beer. I don't even know if she finished the beer because last time we checked, she only had the three four still left, or gone. One of the two. I can't remember. Gut bomb predicted that uh, before before yep, she drank the beer. 
he said she'll it. be she'll be asleep within the hour <laughs> she has it. Uh, so my brother just put in there the jank station can actually play guild wars 2 while watching a stream that is his uh computer that's doing for the uh amber challenge thing oh nice cool. okay pumpkin tacos no oh, thank you on, really Ooh, that oh, was close. Up? Everybody okay? Hey, Justin. Yeah. If you pizza instead of French fry, you're gonna have a bad time. It's you're a South Park episode about skiing. Oh, oh. Pizza, well, French fry. Pizza. Y'all are making me hungry. And I can't yeah, say I'm I had now. skiing. I can't. I can't say I had a small amount of lunch. What did you have had, for lunch? It was leftovers. Ah. But it was leftovers from... Uh, we were supposed to have a retirement party, but it had to be postponed. For, uh, those uh, wildfires in the county are the reason it had to be postponed. So the cafeteria had already started cooking the food, so they served it Friday as a free lunch. And then they had so much... They were like at the end of lunch, or like uh, self serve leftovers. Nice. So I had nice. salmon and new potatoes and green beans and orzo. Boy. Ooh, orzo. What's orzo? Potatoes. It's like a noodle, uh, isn't it? I, I don't know what it is, but it was, it was kind of like, it looked like a beefy rice and it tasted really oh, good. Yeah, good. Oh, okay. Beef. That's what's her dinner. No, beefy is in large rice. Uh, oh. Chunky. Not, not Large chunky. amounts of rice. What was, was it say rice? Yeah, it's probably a type of rice or something. Whatever it was, was it tasty? Beef it was tasty, rice. yes. There you go. That's all that matters. Okay, all right. so I am guessing here, but I'm assuming I'm supposed to put a jumper on here if I'm using USB power. Again, instructions suck. <laughs> Oh, so um, RTFM didn't work? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Jumper for barrel jack, barrel jack. Nope. All right. Put so. The Jumper on. I don't know. All right. Let's Damn. see. Is that Adele, Justin, you're working on? All right. I'm disappointed in you, Dave. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, wait, not that one. Hello. It's me. Yeah, there you go. HP. All right. You called my de my HP a Dell. I mean, now well, I, I, did, I didn't see uh, the HP. Potato, on. potato. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey, Justin. Uh, no. Justin, look. I, I didn't see the badge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a hard time, Dave. <laughs> Do it again, Justin. Do it again. Although I will call it a Dell if this doesn't work, because I would like to get a very nice sound input board for this computer, but I have to see if this computer will let me put the video card into the lower PCI 16 channel slot, PCIe 16 okay. slot. Okay, let's see what happens here. What, uh, what model is that? It's a Z440. Okay. It's the Model T Ford made the trouble. It's, it's a it, full height, right? It's not a compact one. Oh, yeah, it's full height. That's why I can't show it all in the frame. Yeah. This is a little thing. It, it takes me a little time, Justin. I'm a little slow here today. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm trying to listen for the oven to beep so I can give it like two minutes and then go turn it off. Mm. What's in the oven? boards that I don't want to get uh, uh, heat for too long. Uh -huh. That doesn't sound tasty. Yeah, I wouldn't eat that. Well, I'm not going to eat it, but I got to dry them somehow. <laughs> the one thing I never understood was chicken and water. Uh, yeah, if, if you ever wondered uh, how you can easily tell I'm not married, I just put circuit boards in my oven. <laughs> you know, you want to know another? Oh, no, never mind. That won't work because look at Frodo. He's married. 
He's got the whole shed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, don't worry. I put the boards on aluminum foil. That's good. I do the same with cookies when I bake them. I'm kidding. I don't know. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't want to put circuit boards directly on the oven rack. That would be no. disgusting. No, that would not be a good idea. No, bad, bad. I've never baked a board, but I'm assuming that's bad. When you're done with that, put them in the dishwasher. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what other, what rack, other kitchen? Top rack only. <laughs> uh, why would I put them in the dishwasher? Then I'd have to put the put them in the oven again. Um, uh, joke. I I, I usually put mine in the George Foreman grill. That tends to work pretty good. Oh yeah, get them extra crispy. Yeah. Video. Video. All right. Let's see here. Slot six. Slot five. Uh, table. He's opening and closing drawers. That's what I heard. Bifurcation auto. For a minute there, Justin, I thought you were going through your DVD library. Scrolling through DVD library. No. Oh, that would take a month. Going through his DVD library, that would take a month. Yeah, we don't have enough time left for that today. <laughs> Although, granted, uh, we don't have a DVD library anymore because we ripped them all ah. to uh, our server. And we have like 700 movies or something like that. All right. The good news is it does appear as if this computer supports the video card and the, the like slot five. Some computers only like the video, the primary video card if it's in like the first 16 channel slot. But, uh oh. <laughs> you might have spoke too mm. soon. Uh oh, uh -oh. What's your break? what happened? What? Oh, I see rainbows. What's going on? Sunshine and rainbows. Well, the computer turned off. Uh oh. Oh, that's why I see rainbows. Oh. Now what are you gonna do? Jeez. Oh, there we go. Well, All right. That is an interesting concept right there. This guy baked a bread. It's a like square bread, like a rectangle bread, rather. Cut out all the innards oh, and filled I know why it with it meat and cheese and lettuce and stuff like that. I know that. why it turned off. I, I changed the PCI Express slot setting. I must go, uh, Dave. What? It, it had, You're it had a pleasure. to... You just got here. Yeah. Well, yeah. it is time <laughs> to uh, leave. All right. Okay. See you later, Jim. Bye. Easy to be wearing your out. Tell the family we said hi. And yeah. hopefully we'll see you next Sunday. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks Next, for hanging next out with years, us I'll be here. See you All later. Right. <laughs> wow. All right, All right. A five foot alligator I, I was found in the stomach Sorry. of an eight foot python. Wow. Crazy. Good. This is in Florida, mind you, and uh, pythons <laughs> are um, definitely. Not normal around here. They're invasive, invasive um, creatures. People get them as pets. Realize they get too big and release them, and they cause all kinds of issues. Alligators in the sewers. Uh, I've been learning alligator. python. I'm talking about the python. I don't like snakes. There we go. Especially on a plane. <laughs> snakes on a plane. <laughs> Gotta be one of the uh, dumbest yeah. movies. On I, I, I seen that. No, no, no. Experience. Sharknado. Yeah. Sharknado's got a feet. I'm pretty sure. Well, I haven't uh, seen either of those, so I can't really say how dumb they are. I haven't I've either, but I know they're both dumb. <laughs> yeah, I've like, seen them both, but I enjoyed and? the snakes on a plane more. Oh, okay. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, they, I like how they ah. went back and added in swears because of all the memes that were going oh, around. He, you got to put an MF -er in there a few times. Originally, it was PG, and it didn't have any F words in it or anything. And after all that summer of everybody making all those memes, it's like, oh, we got to add that. How can you have it PG yeah. when there's snakes on a plane? I don't know. 
<laughs> well, it's not PG anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. What a world. Yep. Crazy craziness. Okay. So I turned the oven off. We're good. Good. All right. My oven is on. It has salmon in it. Salmon. Salmon is a tasty thing to be in the oven. PCBs or not. Mm. But yeah. they, need to, they need But the thing is, it's too cold outside to let them sit outside all day to dry right. them. So. Mm -hmm. uh, so the um, weird thing is, you know, I'm, as you all know, I'm from Maine. Maine is known for the seafood. Mm -hmm. I don't eat seafood. Not my thing. No. I grew up in Garrett. Maryland. I don't eat seafood. <laughs> All the crabs and things I don't eat. I don't crabs, know. lobster. Yeah. I used to when I was Look. a kid. I loved fish sticks, but Ooh. not anymore. It works. It yeah. works. Look, the little screen Look works too. Look, that's <laughs> cool. It's alive with the sounds of music. Okay. Well, you I'll know. probably have to. I'll probably have to install the latest Nvidia drivers, but. Yeah. It looks like this computer is happy with the PCI Express card in the Good. bottom PCI Express slot, which yeah. means I can buy the fancy audio capture card that I don't want to buy. But, well, if I want my streams to be reliable, I'm going to have to. I see. Is, is this going to be your, stream, your um, streaming computer? Yeah, as soon as I can get it swapped over. But I have new... Pretty damn cool. So, Frank, um, is there a chip tester to test the chips on the chip tester? I've been wondering. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you probably have to buy a second one, I bet. I was going to say, you have to put a second one together and you can test the chips oh on the chips. So you can test the chips. It's like I'm when so you buy a 3D confused. printer and you print a 3D printer. Yes. That's right. Good, good. Yeah. Yes. Right. You Perfect have analogy. Up upgrades for your 3D printer to be able so to. So, you need yes. a retro chip tester to test your retro chip, <laughs> chip tester. I think but so. Now, now you need a re retro chip tester tester to test. Yeah, that's right. right. But what, a, what tests it's that? It's a vicious cycle. It's a what vicious cycle. That? Yeah, it could be a problem. It's a never-ending story. It is. A There's an old big... saying, Chris. You can yes. have everything you want. Yeah. It's, that's a song. <laughs> they're actually going to be they're, they're <laughs> talk, they're talk, there's, there's rumors that they're remaking the never-ending story. Really? With Falcor, that big flying dog-looking thing? Yep, and you know, betray yeah. you and all that good stuff, but not obviously not the original actors. Um, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> just just let it be. Yeah, yeah, that's one to leave alone. I think. I love. No, I, gotta... I think they had like back in the day. I think there was like a total of, like four or five of them anyway. Um, movies. I've only watched the first one. That's the only one the that was worth it. Second one was scary in my book as a kid. Like, I didn't even watch holy. it. Yeah, I, know, I loved the first one though. I cried when you know. The horse died, but yeah, that's and awesome. Spoil the movie. At least it works. <laughs> spoil the movie. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, maybe for some of the years. younger folk in chat, possibly. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, Francois wants to know: Is that your uh, retro PC challenge? The retro ship tester. Yeah. No, no, for Justin. Uh, for Justin. Oh. No, no, it's my new okay. streaming PC. Okay. He was just asking. You have to wait I, another 30 years, and that will be. <laughs> Besides, I bought it last year, so. Okay. I was worried when the, uh, I plugged it in, the lights came on, but uh, there was no text on the screen, but it says, adjust the contrast. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. And that's what it was. Okay. So I, plugged it in, I, I plugged it in I USB it. first. I was like, what the hell? I bought a Mac SE one time where the guy said, that chimes, but there's nothing on the screen, and I just turned the brightness up. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Easy fix, right? There you go. Now, if there's STLs, I could 3D print a case. Like, I don't give a crap if it's Yeah, it, I would be shocked if there weren't. I'm sure there probably is by now, because other people yeah. are probably like, yeah, I'm not spending $50, $50. on a case. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, good, Justin. I'm glad that it, the PC worked out for you. That's that's great. Yeah, so I just ordered the audio input card that I was, well, not wanting to order now, but there's like one on eBay that has the audio cable. It, it's like a card that you have to have the cable for it to be useful. 
yeah. and there was one on eBay that has the cable with it. So oh, nice. I'll be yeah. back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, right. so Justin, your PC needs a sticker. Um, what is it? Windows 10? It's running. I can't tell. Yeah, it's running Windows 10. Okay. So Geek and Spiel makes a sticker in the vein of the design for Windows 98 that says "Design for Windows 10." I bought a few of those to slap on PCs. That's that would be a cool sticker to put on there. Well, well, yeah, Frank, you're, it would you're be really good moving to cover... slow mo. Who? Yeah, it'd be good to Frank. Oh, yeah. But your 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 video is like really slow. It is. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna let Windows install updates. <gasps> That's a never a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a, you're putting 11 on that or 10 it already has 10 on it okay i'm just okay. running updates i've got it i've got it, the windows install done i have nvidia drivers on it although i need to install updated versions hmm. i all i really need to do is get the, the video drivers installed probably go ahead and install obs so that when i get that sound card and, and a microphone i got to get a microphone for that sound card Holy I haven't decided Eight. what microphone to get. A high schooler just squatted 845 pounds. Good golly. A what? Squatting, you know, weightlifting. Oh, yeah. A high school student did 845 pound squat. Wow. Jeez. I'm I'm tired of having trouble with USB devices while streaming, so that's why I'm buying mm -hmm. this audio input card that's <laughs> uh, like a high-end, well, higher-end but used XLR input card because mm -hmm. I'm going to go to an XLR microphone Ooh. Uh, so okay. that my microphone will not be USB. So hopefully the sound will stop cutting out. And actually a lot of my cameras are not on USB. The only camera, I think after that, my webcam that points at my face will still be USB and my two microscopes will still be USB, but at least my table cam is actually connected to a black magic capture card and my video input scaler is connected to another capture card that's internal so like hopefully the the lesser number of usb devices will help improve reliability of devices with obs at least that's the theory and if the hey, theory buddy. gets blown out of the water, I'll just resell the audio input card. <laughs> Here's my boy again. Hey, it will boy. become a regret. It will become a regret. <laughs> and But it's not an just... eBay. No, I bought the card on eBay, so it could be oh, an oops. eBay regret. <laughs> it qualifies. <Yes>. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you need to stop jumping to conclusions. I almost buy everything on eBay, it seems like, these days. Oh, uh, for the record, I'm working on some merch. Mm -hmm. I I sent Retro Tech Chris a sneak peek. Yes, you he, did. He got a good laugh. Um, I will not be selling those on eBay, though. That's that's an obscure hint, but yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, this is going to be not... on your your uh, merch store. Yeah, I, I got to set up a merch store. Okay. We'll, we'll be on the lookout. Yeah, Jack Jack's 68K asking. says, uh, yeah, OB, uh, OBS is generally unhappy about USB devices. Yep. It's generally unhappy in general, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still, it's free. You, get, you know, it's, it's, it's a good product. It's just, you know. Yeah. So, it, Justin, you, is your merch store going to be um, like uh, JDMCS-1? dot com oh, <laughs> uh, no no it will not be that wouldn't be confusing or anything i need to go big screen for the face palm for that one <laughs> oh. I, I had to go there yeah you did no I, it, it's, it's 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 a fact of life yeah it's, it's a moral imperative it is a moral imperative. In fact, Real I might. Genius. Um, oh, such a good movie. In fact, I may not uh, bind it to my one of my domains at first because I may want to, before committing to like putting a domain onto it, I may, like, let them. I, I would like to set it up with a, on print on demand, 
service huh. that will handle everything for me because I don't really have the time or desire to set up a, a, a Woo, WooCommerce store mm. on my own. I made new buttons. Same terrible design, just bigger. Um, but anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I have to go because it's dinner time and I'm eating my salmon. All right. Uh, sounds, I don't blame you. It sounds good. Enjoy. And All right, Adam. Thank, Thank you very much. I okay, have I'll buttons. be on in Florida next week, so I won't be here, but everybody have fun. Florida! Okay. What part? Um, Sunny Isles Beach. No, she's down yes. south. North of Miami. Yeah. Well, See you guys. It, oh, you're, you're in a hub territory. Gotcha. All if right. you're at VCF East, I've got buttons. How many buttons did you buy? Is that like 200 buttons? I bought 200 buttons. Woo! <laughs> I want to play, but I'm not going to You, you want to take a guess at how much it cost me? You'll probably uh, never get thirty-nine dollars times two, ten dollars. Actually, it's uh, less than that, Chris. How'd you get it so cheap? I bought them from uh, Think Twice Buttons. They charge thirty cents a piece. Huh. So it was nice. sixty bucks, and that okay. included shipping. Not bad. I paid thirty-nine for a hundred. Mine are one point seven five or something like that. I guess so. I don't know. But... All right, mine are one and a half inch. So all right, a little, little smaller. So. Yeah, they're a little smaller, but I think uh, the price is right. Uh, the price tracks down. Well, to be honest, I think that's probably a better size. <laughs> These are too too darn big. <laughs> so yeah, mine is nineteen minutes and counting. Oh, and for everyone on my stream that said that they wished I'd put the hat on the buttons, yeah, I, I probably won't order them before VCF East, but I already have a design with the hat on the button. Well, that's cool. good. So if I uh, if I order more buttons, I will order some with the hat my cap on the. So does button. that mean that these two hundred are going to be like limited edition collector items, kind of like when they misprint a dollar bill? No, I'll probably <laughs> still print some without the cap ah, on them too. I see. Oh, well, hats uh, off I also, to you. Yes, yeah, t- uh, I also have a sticker design that's got the cap on it too. So nice. I, I, again, uh, when I go through the stickers I ordered, I'll. I'll probably order some with the cap. Absolutely. I would yeah. expect nothing less. Now, the other designs I have are probably going to go on t-shirts because I'm not sure I can fit them on buttons or stickers that are round. They're kind of... T-shirts. Look at you. Yes. No, he's, he's branching out. Branching out, getting on the brand bandwagon. The brand wagon. Yeah, that's that's what that's I'm good. doing. I'm going to re uh, put a bunch of different stuff on oh, my uh, spring store. So Very cool. Just, uh, yeah. I, uh, I, I printed, uh, I don't have it here. I have it at my other, other room, but, uh, I had a mouse pad. I actually, of all places, there's a place on Amazon. Uh, you can do your own design. You just upload your artwork and you put it on there how you want it. And you pick the color, of your mouse pad, uh, which I, I picked the white one because it's got the big blue background on it. And so anyway, uh, I think it was like, uh, was shipping everything? It was like less than ten dollars. Wow! And it's not nice. bad at all. They did That's... A, I mean, they did an yeah. awesome job on it. And huh. Just anything good you could buy in a store. So I just had my logo put on it. So yeah, neat. Yeah, look. Wait, yeah. you have a logo? <laughs> yeah, you can see it in the background there. And then Thank I'm waiting you. to get my uh, my uh, golf sh- my golf polo shirts. It's, it'll have my mm. logo on it. So yeah. Yeah, I had a custom when so I when I go up. to a VACF Midwest, I'll be sporting that. Wow! You should, get, you should get all the you know, all the retro nerds to sign it for you. <laughs> yeah. You bring one to bring one to have all the retro nerds sign. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So I had a um when I was you know back in the day when I was playing Magic more on the competitive level, going to tournaments and stuff, I had a friend of mine um, make it take a black play mat and um, customize it for me, and I just had to put uh, white and nerdy on it. There you go. Cool. Yep. Weird Al. Weird Al is one of my one of my favorite uh, artists, and he did the song, you know, White and Nerdy. Yeah. Last it's actually last still my ringtone, even though my phone stays on oh. mute. Last year at VCF Midwest, I want to say Ron brought a Marchintosh banner and had everybody sign it. Maybe those two years ago. All that. Yeah. That'd be. I mean, that's a good idea, Dave. I mean, if it is in time to you know yeah. get that in time for a VCF East or whatever Absolutely. you go to or, West or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, just have whoever's there, you know, that you know, sign it. Why not? Put it on your desk and 
it's memories. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's kind of neat. And let, let yeah. Betty have it, you know. It's a, you can call them. <laughs> <laughs> a blankie. There you go. A blankie. Yeah. 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 Well, there you I go. Mean, I mean, right now, there's Bob. There's my desk mat. Nice. And if you see all these, like, white specks, those are actually claw marks. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a oh, purple let me, back, let me, backdrop. Let me make you big. Or, let's see. It's a, yeah, it's a purple backdrop. And if you, uh, like right here, right in there, there's those two little spots right there by my finger. Mm -hmm. Right there. Those are actually claw marks uh -huh. from where the cats have actually, um, you know, just standing on it, running from each other, walking yeah. across, you know, how they claw things. They dig the claws in. I don't care. This, was a, this mat was actually free. I wanted on a, uh, a, a streamer's price. web. A streamer's. Uh, this is from a streamer named Mix Vixen, and uh, right there, here, is her three dogs, just Moads. They have lightsabers, so it says, "May the floof be with you always." Oh, speaking of floof, look at that. Yeah, I can't really see it too much, but there's some cat here from Bob because he's shedding. Time to bust out. What did I do with my? Um... Ah. Swifter. Uh huh. Ah, oh, there, there you go. go. You have there a lot of those. Yep. Oh, I, I go through this, this these little Swifter thingies like crazy in this room. Because I'm, like I said, I like being neat and clean. So I'm always Swiftering this desk right into the trash can, which is right down here. That's yeah. convenient. There you go. Yeah. So I can't stand litter critters and that kind <laughs> of stuff. I, I clean all the time. Nice. It's good. So. Very good. Well, we're on the last drive here, except for the ones in the machine, and it just passed as far as I'm concerned. I actually had to take this one apart and clean the laser out. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to connect back in the two internal drives and give them a little more test, though we probably won't finish today, but that's okay. So we so, got inside we... it for internal drives. Just those two You're going to be wrong? shocked, but two of the, two more of the same thing of the others. I just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you test the floppy? Oh, yeah, floppy works. Um, oh, okay. And I think what's I gave that? these other ones a rudimentary test, but it couldn't hurt to give them a little more thorough <laughs> test. So. What's, yeah, the, we'll uh, what's it got for uh, storage? Um, I think it's got like a 20 gig drive in it right now. I don't even know. I have to check and see. It's whatever, uh, whatever it originally came with uh, when it was given to me. It's so. amazing how much you know the storage differences between then and now yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. Bill but Lewis. Just our for Windows in general. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our friend Bill Lewis, who uh, had the. Uh, we had that blue and white for Dave. Uh, he he gave me a whole box of hard drives, so I've got I, I could swap anything in here at this point. So, but yeah, I'm not. Let's see, maybe I can figure out what's in here. I don't even know. Um, well, we ST... still have uh, the uh, five twelve that you and Justin. Sent oh me. yeah! Oh yeah. nice! Yeah. Oh good. So we 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 we've worked on it a little bit there. Okay. And, uh, oh, good. We, put, we got the little. Uh, Frank printed me the uh, case for the Cache 20, so I put the case oh, together. Nice. So yeah, mm -hmm. 3D printed it, and you can see the lights on it when it turns on. So nice. But yeah, yeah that was... I just touched up a few. I mean, I oh, I redid vintage. the analog board on it, and yeah. uh, the voltages are perfect on it. On, Great. On the, uh, and uh, so yeah, so uh, Frank's found the 800K you floppy come down? drive for me. Nice. And, um, oh, that's what that was for. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. That and was from I, the first and, talk. And I, and I think he uh, asked him when he gets back, but I think he said he had a case for Justin's uh, Mac Plus. So, nice. So, Very so cool. So get Justin's Mac Plus happy. Great. It's tired of not being in, in its clothes, getting it clothed <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, good. Yeah. I'm glad that... Uh... These projects are, uh, people are having fun with them. That's what it's all about. It's good. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah, I like it when, I like it when everything works. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's always good. Plug it in, play with it, and then you put it on the shelf for a month or two and get it back out again and play it right. more. And, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's how I do it too. <laughs> So I, I make a prediction. So when you guys go to that uh, VCF show, um, you'll probably get another compact system. 
and uh, Justin will probably get another Trident card. That's be my guess. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I think I mentioned earlier in the comments that I made friend with an eBay seller, a friends with an eBay seller, and it was basically over. Oh, hey, I've got this part for sale. Okay, great. I've got other parts. Oh, okay. And now it's kind of like, yeah, whenever the seller has compact parts, they write me first. And yeah. Oh, okay. cool. So there might be another machine on the way. Heaven help me. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I took that one out that you sent me. I, I powered it up the other day. It powers up. I was, oh, I good. Was playing, I was playing with it a little bit. But. Excellent. Yeah, they're fun little machines. They really are. And, and a drive still working on it, so that's good. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. They, if it fails, send it back to me, and I'll get it working again. They, they can have a temperament, but uh, yeah. it works great. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Since then, you know, what I ended, I end up, you know, I like getting these things and fixing them, and then sometimes I lose interest. So. I had those extras and at the time, and now I have four extras. So I got to decide what to do with them. So I'm going to give one to Gut Bomb when I see him. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a it's kind of a curse, but uh, it's fun to fix them up and you know pass them on to people that can enjoy them. So that's yeah. I, I I like that. So yeah, it works out pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jay, uh, Gut Bomb, I have one for you. Yeah, I have one for you. Whenever I think you said at some point. Yeah we would uh, be in a proximity where it would make sense. And uh, yeah, I'll have it for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He'll, he'll be in the club now. There you go. Yeah. yeah. He'll be in the, <laughs> yeah. The, the, the Chris Lunderman mailed a compact club. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And even gut bomb since we talked, I think I showed you, I had another one that came in that I thought might even be better for you. So there you go. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. So there was one, somebody selling one and I said, well, if it doesn't sell in a week, let me know and I'll buy it. Famous last words. It's now sitting on the shelf. So. <laughs> uh, Gut Bomb says, thank you. Oh yeah. You betcha. Yeah. You don't have to look far to find these compacts around here. They're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, no yeah, time for Lego. Yeah. So I bet you watch NASCAR today. <laughs> that was on when I was in the gym. They were doing some sort of a, I don't know if it was NASCAR or some sort of a test track. And they had a crash. I'm like, whoa. And mm. the guy was like, yeah, this was just a test and we had a crash. I'm very upset. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, it wasn't even a real... Uh, race. Yeah, it, says, it says, yeah, I certainly did watch NASCAR today. Nice. Yeah. All right. We're going to, we're testing the top drive now. I would test them both at the same time, but I think we'd get way too much bus contention and somehow it's gotten dark in the room. I guess it must be getting close to sunset. So anyway, uh, still daylight here. Yeah, you've got a couple hours left. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it tends to fa favor the monitor, too. So if we do that, then it'll, yeah, there's the brightness, auto brightness adjust or something it's doing. But oh, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, just, I just was notified that it's 61 degrees here in Florida right now. Pretty chilly. Oh, Andy Carn F. F1 today. That's what a gut bomb was watching, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, yep, there yeah. yeah, he said that in chat. <laughs> yep. Sorry, I didn't even notice he did that. It is chilly for Floridians, gut bomb. 61 is no way, 61 degrees is no way chilly. Yes, it is. <laughs> 50 degrees here today, I think. Well, you know, I. I have um, definitely acclimated to the weather down here. You know, been down here 20 plus years. Yeah. And there was a point in time where I would come down here from New England, come down to visit before I was living here, and I'd be wearing shorts and t-shirts in the middle of the winters <laughs> because that's a heat wave coming from Maine or yeah. Boston. <clears throat> now, it is literally, according to my room thing, it's 77 degrees in my nerd cave. 
Oh, well. And that's just, and if I go to the, there's another one of those up there uh, by the printer, and it'll say two to three degrees cooler because yeah. it's not around the computers. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I don't, and it feels normal to me now. It would be a time where I'd be going upstairs because the upstairs is where, on the second floor is where the, oh, the thermostat is and that controls the air, AC up. You turn that sucker down and you get more AC kicking on down here. Yeah. Not anymore. I mean, I'm so used to it now. Yeah. Yeah. I think around around the edges of my house, it's a little cooler. Maybe it's time for new windows. I don't know. You know, this is a, my house is seven years old and it was contractor grade windows. So, you know, <laughs> it might not, they might not be the best, <laughs> but uh, they, they say yeah. though, they're like, replace your windows and you'll save on your heating costs. And I'm yeah, like, you, wait a minute, that would take me like 40 years to recover that, wouldn't it? Because aren't windows expensive? So I'm like, I'll just pay the higher bill, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, once you find out after a couple, you know, after a year or two or whatever, and you see how much you're actually yeah. paying, then you True. can figure it out. Yeah. Which is the beneficial. Yeah, that's but it's point. definitely better to get in the and when you're building the house. Yeah, it's definitely better to get the the high the better insulated windows. Um, yeah, for to sure. Keep cold out, heat in type yeah. thing. For sure. Like, where I, you, where I, are you where are you at, Chris? Where am I at? Yeah, where do you live? Oh, uh, Washington D.C. area. Oh yeah, so you're up north. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. definitely cold. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely when you would definitely want to invest in the insulated windows. We do when that in we, Florida uh, too because we get the hurricane safe mm. windows down here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. They have to be a little more rugged. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Maybe a tough, tough suckers. A little yeah. thicker. When we, uh, when we lived in Pioneer, which is about 30 minutes up the road up in the mountains, when we bought that house years and years ago, um, it had just the cheapest windows because people weren't living in it. It's a huge house, but people uh. just weren't living in it. It's just the aluminum frame just single pane windows those things were all moldy around the yes. frame and everything so i went mm -hmm. and i and and all windows a lot of places in the same room they're different sizes i go why did you do that so of like course. the sliders upstairs we had three different sizes of sliding glass doors yep so when i redid all of them i made them all the same size and mm -hmm. uh because I used to do construction with my dad, so it's no big deal for me. Yeah, but. we have, yeah, with our sliding doors, like this one is just a, a regular sliding door. Then upstairs, we have the double sliding door because it's longer and slides mm -hmm. on both sides. And then the third floor is the same way we're in my brother's room. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we have two different size side doors. Yeah, side so, doors I, so I made them all the same, and I went to triple pane, all low E glass. They were expensive, and oh, this was right. like, uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, 95, 96, 90. We bought the place in 96 and we left in 2016 when we got rid of the house. But about two years after we were in there, that's when we started slowly doing mm -hmm. stuff. But uh, wow, what a difference. Oh, yeah. It made. Just, yep. it, it was so much warmer in the winter and so much cooler in the summer. When yeah. you, you get what you pay for, honestly. It was, mm -hmm. You know, same with the housing. Like when we built, we built the house because we had. You know, the first house, and then the first iteration of the house was built way better. Mm -hmm. um, when we had the house fire, the house was so sealed that it didn't catch fire. It's it, the fire started and went out and smoldered. Uh, so a lot of our damage was from smoke and you know bad chemicals. Um, so we had to you know get everything fixed, and then of course firefighters coming in to make sure it was out. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of water damage from that, but. Um, when we rebuilt the house, the contractor did such a poor job that, you know, that we had to have him come back and redo like the uh, upstairs. We have like a set of windows above the sliding doors, mm -hmm. like little windows. And you can see gaps on the either side where it wasn't fit properly. So there's actually holes going to the outside. Oh, good so grief. we had to come in and redo that. We had to come and redo the ceiling fans because there were issues there. We had to come do the floors. Um, not the floors, but the doors, like the front door. Yeah. I had to come and yeah. re redo it because it was like a gap um, on the bottom that was not because it wasn't, I don't know, the way they do it, it wasn't done right. And it was just a little, you know, like the carpets, like on the stairs, were never tacked down. So they slide off the stairs. Mm -hmm. We had to kick them back. Things like that. It was, it was a, it was a horrible, horribly horrible done job. Yeah. And, um, you know, 
the first of you know like if we were to um quote unquote have the same issue that we had in 2014 when we had to redo the house the house fire this place would probably yeah because it's it's not nearly constructed as well as well as it was yeah. and a gut bomb 77 is too warm for indoors when, you get, when it's 100 and something degrees outside 77 sounds, 77 feels like a blessing Oh, wait, oh, yeah, for sure. Because I know in the summertime, we keep ours. That's a, that's all about 78s where we keep ours. It's just too expensive during the AC. Absolutely. Or AC. Could you imagine uh, Florida? Yeah, see, oh. the retro tech has got 77 as well. Yeah. And um, with, with my comfort zone is personally 74, 75. Um, that's where I like it. But that's where it is outside of my bubble. If I went to yeah. that one over there, it's probably 75. Oh, um right. Right now, right. our our house is sixty six degrees in the house because oh, wow. again, very expensive to run the heat. It's forced air, but PG&E yeah. is crazy expensive. I mean, mm -hmm. we have I have a four hundred dollar month electric bill. Just oh, actually, we, yeah, when I lived in Maine, we had electric heat and we had oil, and um, it got you know with having both, it got it, it was the oil was an expensive thing because you had to fill this humongous thousand gallon tank or what the heck it was. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it lasted the whole winter, <clears throat> excuse me, because you compensated between the two. Yeah. And this is why we would do the roof, um, to you know shovel the roof. And you know, you know, you know Gut Bomb was like, well, "What? You shovel the roof?" I go, "Yeah, we we always shovel the roof because we keep the um, keep the ice from building up and causing issues on the roof." Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you have to do especially that. in this, Maine. This depends on how, especially if you got a pretty flat pitched roof to begin with. Yeah, it wasn't like a lot triangle. Of weight, a lot of weight on the house. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And so we, we got to go ahead and get that taken care of um, to keep it from icing up and then lifting up the shingle, you know, the, the roofing and causing yeah. leaks and whatever else. So, yeah. I mean, it was extra work for us kids when we were young at the time. Yeah. We would shovel the roof. We would do the driveway, shovel the roof, redo the driveway, do the deck, shovel the roof onto the deck, redo the deck. The back side's the only place where you just shovel the roof and let it go because there was mm -hmm. nothing back there but, you know, whatever. So that got so high as far as, you know, the snow stacking up that the dog or Dalmatian mm -hmm. could literally walk from the, the, the um, stack of snow onto the roof. <laughs> we'd be up, yeah, to, we'd be up to shoveling and stuff. Next thing you know, you turn around, there's a dog. Yeah. 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 So anyway, uh, hey. It's uh, the eight hour mark here, Ooh. so we've been doing this for eight hours today. Uh, Let's go another eight hours. Let's do it. Another good Sunday stream. Um, <laughs> and I want to thank everybody that was in and out uh, today. Uh, we had a lot of people here. We had, well, Frank's still here. We had Frank, uh, John, uh, Gut Bomb, Thomas, Ryan, Jason, Garth, Javier, Joe, Trina, Sloopy, Adam, Retrotechy, Nate, and Justin. <laughs> and uh chris so there we go so yeah i want to thank everybody for being here and gg uh, and, and gg so justin <laughs> where, where can where can people find you at today well you can find me future? yeah you can find me behind this z440 workstation you can find me on youtube at jdmcs you can find me on twitter at jdmcs you can find me on Mastodon JDMCS at bitbang.social. You can find me on Blue Sky at JDMCS. You can find me on Threads or Instagram at Justin D. Morgan. Or you can find me at VCF East April 12th through 14th in Wall Township, New Jersey at the InfoAge Science and History Museums. Oh, cool. All right. Nice. And, and Jason, where can people uh, find you at? Uh, well, basically, the only place you're going to find me is probably going to be the good old-fashioned Twitters at Starbuck Tech. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know oh, anything else. Occasionally, when you're not working, right? There you go. When it was yeah, that here, simple. Here, occasionally, yeah. <laughs> when it was that simple. Oh, God, yeah. I don't do anything. I don't have I don't have the need to do what you guys do. I got cats. I got work. You have cats? Beer. No, he's not He's got me. cats, got... he's got work, and he's got cats. And I got magic. <laughs> Untapped lands are why I have trust issues. <laughs> uh, and uh, Chris, where can people find you at? Um, I usually hang out on Twix at RetroTechChris. 
and that's and here. So those are two of the two places. For those who aren't familiar with Twix, it is Twitter combined with X. And Cubicle Nate go. introduced yeah. us to that concept earlier. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's <laughs> the new name. Yeah, love it. And uh, about that. <laughs> I'm waiting for Frank to get back here before we sign off. But uh, anyway, <laughs> but anyway, uh, you can find me here uh, usually every Sunday, uh, and you can also find me on uh, these places here. Uh, Twix, uh, Mastodon, uh, let's see, Blue Sky, MeWe, those places. I usually uh, hang out those, uh, just check what's going on and stuff. That's way too much hey. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, hey, you can support the channel if you want to become a Patreon supporter. Uh, you can join at $1 Whoa. all the way up to $5. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. Just check it out. Uh, but I do occasionally update it, although I've be honest, I've been a little lax lately, but uh, we'll get that taken care of here real soon. And, uh, you know, for your electronic needs, uh, if you need a good multimeter, you can get a Kiwitz KM601 uh, very inexpensively. Uh, go to their website, use the DVAT15 code, and you can save 15% off of any Kiwitz product. Not just one product, but if you get multiple items, you get to take the whole 15% off your whole order. So pretty cool. And uh, they also have uh, all kinds of other things too. So let me just get out. Oh, got to hide this there. Oh, there we go. So anyway, uh, yeah. So I want to, again, thank everybody that's been here today. Uh, Frank is, uh, I don't know where he went to, uh, but uh, hey, we're going to sign, <laughs> sign off. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah. So let me get to the video here. We're going to sign oh. off. So see you guys later. And uh, <laughs> Bye, we'll, everyone. See you, we'll see you uh, next Saturday. Toodles Sunday. Bye. 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 Bye.